Yo, everybody. How's it going? Sorry for the late start. <coughs> Definitely fell asleep on the couch for three hours. That was a thing that definitely happened today. But now it's time for Fortune Cookie. And we're starting with Brave Fencer Musashi Den? Oh, I didn't realize that was actually part of the title. I thought it was stopped at Musashi. Get off my land. Was it good sleep at least? I mean, I could have gone for more. Musashi. The loud sounds aren't still keeping you up. I mean, they've they've slowly died down. Let's do it. I mean, I know you have a weird sleeping schedule, but you need more than three hours of sleep if you stream. No, no. I got the three hours of sleep after the normal seven plus hours of sleep. <clears throat> So I got seven hours of sleep, got up, I was tired all day. Uh, then Reese needed me to do some yard work, so I weed whacked the backyard. Uh, and then after that, showered and then immediately fell back asleep for three hours. There does be no effect. They shall find us out whereabouts soon. So I've got like no energy in me. For the king's absence to attack. <clears throat> Why is the vigil type so large? Does this mean? It is eminently necessary that you perform hero summon. Oh, we can finally meet him, the lovely and handsome brave Fencer Musashi. Princess, please resume your assignment. Mm, 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 Here mm, goes mm. nothing. This is a present from me to you. Look at your left. What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Oh, he's here! Our gracious hero, Brave Kansa Musashi! Mm, I definitely heard Brave Kansa Musashi. This will not do. <clears throat> it must have been too large of a task for the princess. Hey, wait! Like, do you think I'd actually make a mistake? Have you guys seen the real Sir Musashi? No, we, we haven't. haven't. Then maybe the real Sir Musashi is this cute little thing. Cow? What the? Dirty flips in midair before landing what on my feet. What did you say was puny? And why are you guys wearing such stupid costumes? Stupid costumes? Take that back, you, you little turd! Please, princess, so little turd, calmeth down. The name's Musashi, you geezer. Oh, pardon of me. We doth have a request for thou, Sir Musashi. You're not serious, are you? It's too much of a chore for this little lad. If the princess summoneth him, he must not be a credible hero. What do you guys want? I'm like Where at least a two-star, come on! Easy, you know? Can someone get me a palanquin? You've been summoned to save our world, so you can't go back to your world until you save ours. Uh, isn't it just a shame? Uh, oh, uh, and you will remain in this world until the absorbed Sir. Bincho energy Sir, you're drifting away. Come backwards. Back up. What do you mean I have to save this world? And I'll die if that what's it energy disappears? Ha! There doth not be enough time. You must immediately head forth with to Spiral Tower. They would definitely be prowling about the area looking for human. Thus, please take this with you. It's called fusion. Hey, oh, I love Metroid. Pretty cool looking sword. Fusion has surpassingly miraculous powers. When it pierces an enemy, it absorbs and assimilates its abilities. 
Next, it and the ability comes back to you to utilize. It's called assimilate. Assimilate? Sounds cool. Thanks, pal. It'll come in handy. By the way, what's this huge sheet and this note? That's Lumina's sheet. We want you to go to Spiral Tower, which is like right behind the castle. The Sword of Luminescence, Lumina, is on the roof. That note will show you how to get there. Okay, so I need to get Lumina, right? That's right. Our world can have peace when we have Lumina and the Five Scrolls. And if you're the real Musashi, you can get Lumina. We're counting on you, you know? Huh? Ripson? Where's Musashi? He doth be wait, princess. Impatient doth he be. <coughs> he wants to go home and watch TV. Chapter one, the journey begins. Shoot, why do I have to do this? What the heck? I'll get Lumina, and then I'm out of here. Someone said to check the note? I don't know how to bring up a menu. This is the only menu I can bring up. Yeah, someone said there's a menu I'm supposed to be able to bring up, but I can't do anything about that. It's That's the only menu I can bring up. Don't think you can check the note yet? Ah, okay. Also, I was forgetting a raid from... I guess, based on the shuriken, I'm assuming Silver Kazian and fire the machine. Okay. Well, fine. Well, if you want to be fired at so much. There you go. You've been fired at. You're welcome. Thank you for the raid, Kaze. We only just started. We're like <clears throat> 12 minutes live, basically. So, we've got a lot to do tonight. It's fortune cookie night tonight, and I am really fucking tired. <laughs> so, we'll see how tonight goes. It may be an early one. We'll see. A short one, early one, early ending one. We'll see. Oh! Oh, that's cool. I guess that was the move they were talking about. Oh, never mind, they all died too. Okay. Can I not use that yet, I take it, or am I in the wrong mode? Or do they just teach me how to do it later? To assimilate, you need to mash the button. Okay. <clears throat> so I've never played this game before, as it, as it must be aware at this point. There we go. Keep pushing. Is that all I can push? We should be pushing the middle one instead? There we go. We'll try assimilate again. I guess I hope we actually got them. <clears throat> oh god, yeah, okay. Musashi assimilated gunshot. Press the circle button to shoot telekinetic bullets. Can do rapid fire and sweep shots. One shot consumes one BP. Oh Jesus, okay. Seems pretty good though. How do I get back BP though? Is that auto recharge or... Charge also functions as a block. I figured that one as much. 
Jerks, get back here! All right, well, if you want to do it here now, we'd appreciate it. Too far to jump. Hey, I know. I'll use gunshot to hit those logs and. Well, it's a good thing I got gunshot then. Nice. Take some orbs. Can I do anything with this rock? Assume not. Of course, guns solve any problem. Samurais really appreciate the use of guns. Spiral Tower? But where's the tower? Hmm, where's that note I got at the castle? Let's see. The path will not open unless you sacrifice a warrior. Maybe those statues have something to do with it. Still can't open up inventory. I was hoping the laser would do it. Hey, something's under this statue. Give it a stomp. Guess I'll keep running. Give it a stomp. This head still looks very cranky with me, though. Three. That's all four. Goodbye, giant head. Enjoy going to space. If I remember correctly, Gerard was super into this. I think Gerard likes the game, but if I remember correctly, he complained a lot about actually f completing the game. I think actually doing the complete status for this is kind of a headache. Wait, what? I was, oh, for fuck's sake. It's because I'm drifting slightly as I run up here. Yeah, this camera ain't gonna do me any favors. I don't know if I can fall off, and that's also what I'm worried about. A never-ending spiral tower. Turn on the lights. Where is this place? When the guardian flame is blanketed with darkness, a light will lead you above. Whatever. <laughs> eh, whatever. It's only the only thing dictating how I get home, eh? Izzy don't give a fuck.
God, it is weird trying to hit things at this angle, but it looks like it, you sort of auto attack, it seems like, or at least auto lock on, which is very appreciated. Blanketed with darkness. Does it mean to put out that flame? Hmm. Hey, I know. If that bell drops onto the flame, it'll go out. Damn it. Just I was trying to get health too. Stop shooting me. Alright, so now how do I hit the bell? I assume just using my gun. No. Okay, so let's try getting the bigger bullets then. Well, isn't this just gonna be the same ability? Just to make sure. Yeah, it's just gunshot again. Let's see if I can just throw the sword to cut the rope. Because uh, this camera angle ain't gonna give me the best angle on it. Can't cut rope a gun? I tried, the oh. I tried shooting the bell, didn't I? Not the rope. Yeah, we get a high like Scooby and Shaggy at the beginning of live action Scooby Doo. Wow. Oh, there's our giant head friend. Whoa, it's so high up here. Sounds Lots like it's a tower. Time to be scared. Finally, Lumina, your mind. Do 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 do. Dut, dut, dut. Excuse me, carrying your friend. Oh, damn it. Huh? The barrier is lifted when the plate comes into contact with a living being. Excuse me. Okay, let's see here. Hey, try to steal your soul. Knock it off. Misashi simulated stun! Press circle to paralyze the enemy. Consumes four bup. Really? None of you? I hit none of you. There we go. I got the Master Sword. Yeah, but I'm still using the other one. Pissed off the giant head, oh no! God, PS1 games really love the Crash Bandicoot chase scene, huh? They were really big fans of it. Whoa, 
swear I tried to. Oh, that's wait, what? <laughs> what a laugh. How far back? Okay, that's not terrible. That could have been a lot worse than I was really worried it was. Oh god, oh god, this is a little too close for comfort! Oof, okay, done and done. Princess, hey, who are you? <laughs> I'm Rude Trick. Didn't want to read out the rest of that. Musashi. Musashi? <laughs> You're the summoned hero. You're pulling my leg. Now, y'all give me Lumina, won't you? If you do, y'all get this little lady in exchange. Yeah, right. You wish, pal. Let go of the princess. <laughs> Y'all being fooled. Them there flames can't be put it out easily. Shoot, I'm sweating buckets here. What should I do? Like, what are you saying? Use Lumina. Uh, oh, yeah. Lumina rotation, hold the R1 button until the speed gauge is full. Then press the triangle button to do a spinning attack. If successful, you will assail many nearby enemies. Now do a test run. <laughs> I got you now, Rudrick. All right, Lumina. Musashi, just hurry up and bash this hunk of lard. Ugh. <laughs> oh, shucks. Uh. Shut up, you dumb gal. Or else y'all gonna get a licking. See y'all later, Musashi. Oh, have yourself a nice day. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, wait! Whoa! What's that? Holy smokes! Wow, that's huge! Thirst Quencher Empire Steam Knight. Hit the legs. Oh, God. But don't get that close to the legs. Okay, so the steam's doing damage. Can I get close with Lumina and hit that, though? The answer is yes. Yes, I can. Take that. You no longer have a skirt. Oh my god! There we go. I'm gonna take you with me! Oh, that was just... Oh, I thought that was it for the fight. Oh, damn it. Fuck you. Okay, come on, come on. Pick it up, Musashi. That, how does that only do eight damage? Can these block this steam? It's like Oh 
No, I cannot. Okay. Jesus, the steam doesn't need to knock me back that far. Holy fuck. Well, I don't think we're going to win this fight the first time the way this is going. There we go. Pick it up. Beat up more of the castle. Oh my god. Can't. Does this at least have like health? No. Can I? Where am I? There I am. Yep, we're dead. We're so done. Uh, I didn't expect three phases on the first boss fight. Have they heard of easing someone into a game before? Oh my god, the knockback on that steam is obnoxious! I really wish I had the gun ability right now. I'm kind of kicking myself that I only have stun. Why are there suddenly chandeliers falling this time? There wasn't any last time from what I remember. Get out of here, you nonsense. You don't even have stun right now. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You're right, I don't. Musashi, you, you wanna you wanna pick that up, champ? Oh my god! Maybe I got the slash and it's up. Of course it wasn't enough, it was just enough to take the armor off slightly. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I have no idea what to do on this phase. Other than, I guess I'm just waiting. Yep, that's exactly it. Camera, you're not doing me any favors! Jesus Christ, stop pushing me forward! So anytime I go down here to dodge for the jump, the camera actually shoves me upwards into him. So that's why I keep sliding up into damage. So I can't be at the bottom of the screen when he does this move, otherwise the game forces me to take damage. And again, I can't, oh my god, this is pissing me off. And I still don't know how the fuck to dodge that. Am I supposed to just block? No. Every time I try to block, dodge that move, I've somehow, there we go. Come on. Dude, why is this the starting boss? This is stupid. Okay, there we go. We've got 15 HP. We're gonna make this count. Yeah, good job. Good job counting, John. Oh, 
fuck's sake, of course you still got health! Oh, game. Oh, game. Don't you dare do me dirty like this. Oh, thank God! Get the fuck out of here. And most of the city that you destroyed. I wonder where that idiot root trip took the princess. Would you like to save? Yes. Because I would lo love to never do that fight again. Monday, 8.30 a.m. Actually, I probably should stop because I was actually right at a half hour. But uh, let's see what the beginning of the new chapter is. Uh, huh? Where is this place? Sir Musashi, thou hath awakened Hey, geezer. Wait, have we met? <clears throat> I'm Livers, the butler. Who cares about that? Why am I here? We foundeth thou sleeping, after thou defeated Thirst Quencher's abominable roboteth. So we broughteth thou to hither roometh. <sighs> oh, yeah, and that big imbecile with the cape! He kidnapped the princess! That loser! I let him get away! Hey, Geezer, do I have to save the princess to go back to my world? Thou art beeth corrected. However, they will not sitteth around quietly. I'm so happy his portrait is basically from Final Fantasy Tactics. Lumina. Something special about Lumina? I feel like Lumina? that's part of the joke, but yeah. Indeed. Legendary brave fencer Musashi used Lumina, the sword of luminescence. To sealeth away the wizard of darkness. And when it absorbs all the five scrolls, earth, water, fire, wind, and sky, thou doth will. Wait, how does wind not cover sky? Powers. The sword of luminescence, Lumina and the five scrolls. No wonder they want them. So where can I get my hands on the five scrolls? <clears throat> If only our fortune teller, Sia Beaverly, were here, she would know. She ran off with some handsome dude, huh? No, she was kidnapped. What? So the princess is not the only one? Well, actually, there were 40 people at All You Can Eat Palace. Now there are only <laughs> five left. All You Can They've Eat all Palace. sealed within Bincho Fields and scattered in all directions. Bincho Fields? What are they? Are they the Thirst Quencher Empire's doing? Yes, I saw it myself. Everyone was sealed into large green diamonds and then just poof, vanished. I can't believe it. So I guess one of them was the fortune teller, right? So that means I have to save not only the princess, but everyone else too. Sir Musashi, I knew that thou would help with us. Thou mayest break Bincho Fields easily with Lumina. Oh, and these will help thou. Since you received the rescue list, you may look at it in the sub menu. Since you received the sensor watch, it flashes red when you're near a Bincho Field. When if that watch flashes red, a Bincho Field doth nearby. The people whom you save will help you on your journey. Good luck, Sir Musashi. Gridden Village is located at the foot of this castle. Please use it as your base. Grillen Village. Before thou goeth, thou should do some research in the castle's library. Nah, studying sucks. 
I'll go hit the books then. Good luck, Sir Masashi. I forgot to mention it, but this room is yours, so use it as you wish. Please take care on your journey, sir. Sky is synonymous with void, so that's why. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, Sir Musashi, been waiting for you. Who are you? I'm Scribe Shanky. Well, you see, my job for now is to read these books for you. Because you Come can't closer. read. Sir. <laughs> Oh, that's... Oh, that's a lot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's play Shogi! I don't have a clue how to read that. Mm, dear me. A hero who used Lumina, the Sword of Luminescence, to seal away the Wizard of Darkness. Okay. That's all I need. I learned about myself. That's all I need. Oh, was that enough? Yep, very. Yep, very. Well then, you should go down to the village. Well, let's see. It's a shame that the gondola is broken. Oh, oh I know. Use both of your big swords. Lumina and fusion? Oh, yes. You can go along the gondola's ropeway and glide down to the village. This palace must be pretty high up on the mountain. I'll take your advice. Thanks. What should I do? Submenu. Gotta collect all the five scrolls to save the princess. What do we have for items? Nothing. What do we have for armor? Nothing. What do we have for tech? Nothing. We have config. All of that. Clown! Save Stuart, Butler, Clown, Scribe, and Musician A, but wow, that's a lot of people to save. That is a lot. I know they did say 40, but still. <laughs> Doesn't really sink in until you see it. A sail surrounding enemies and break hard objects using Lumina. Level 1 Little Turd. Body, mind, fuzz, and lum, all at level one. I'm going to bed. So what was the deal with the time system in this game? Is it a case where, um, just play with some toys, I guess. Is it a case where, like, you have a time, actual time limit, or is it a case of just the faster you do it, the better your ending is, or rank? No time limit. Some things are open on different days. Ah, okay. We Ow. This is Grillin Village? Let's see what I can find out. But first, I'm kinda hungry. Better eat before I starve. Come to think of it, I haven't had anything since... Uh, I better get some grub first. Alright. Well, now I'll do for this part of Cookie anyways. This was kinda fun though. Little awkward, and again, that boss fight, interesting start to a game. Definitely not easing you in, but uh, fast respawn at least seems to be worth it. Let's go to the cookie proper. It's tough, but it's a good, dumb, fun time. I mean, it definitely seems very tongue-in-cheek, so... 
right, let's go to the cookie. All right, if you guys are new here, here's how this works. We pick five random games from my game collection, and you guys vote on a stream tech link dropped by the bot or some of the mods in chat. However, we also started something doing different this year where we have a situation where viewers can submit game choices as well to be on Cookie if they have enough egg points. And that list is is pretty, pretty chunky, but uh, we've been whittling through it as best we can. So let's add in our viewer choices first before we see what the actual uh, random game choices are going to be. All right. So our games for this round from the viewers are coming from Heroin Mari, Flame Spitter, and Strawberry Cupids. Oh, I've also been reminded we had a 1% rule from Wednesday. Thank you, Bubba, because I had completely forgotten about that. It was actually another viewer's choice, because that's what we did on Wednesday. Uh, Dragonlord354 had a 1% rule for Spyro the Dragon 1 Reignited. For Switch. So we've got that. And we've also got... From Heroin Mari... Uh, da, da, da. Hello Kitty Roller Rescue for the GameCube. Starting off with a banger. Flame Spitter is asking for Snowboard Kids 2 for the N64. And Strawberry Cupids is asking for Castlevania Portrait of Ruin for the DS. Good old Jonathan and Charlotte. So we've got Hello Kitty Roller Rescue, Snowboard Kids 2, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, and Spyro the Dragon 1 Reignited on top of the following five games. Game number one. Silent Hill Downpour for the Xbox 360. Apparently the Series X actually fixes the issues this game had. Like it actually runs a lot smoother. At least I think it was Downpour that had that fix. Game number two. Brain Dead 13 on the Sega Saturn and an FMV uh, reaction time game, kind of like Dragon's Lair. I say FMV, but it's animated, it's a cartoon. Game number three. Sonic Blast for the Game Gear. So, 3D-ish. It's it's not it's not 3D Blast. It's just Sonic Blast. Game number four. It has no fixes. It just runs better because the console can finally handle the jank that is downpour. I know. I thought I heard like they actually added some patches to it for uh for the up upgrade the porting. Because they had to do like a little bit of cleanup, I thought, and it actually fixed the frame rate. I, I've heard the frame rate it runs better, at least. Anyways, game number four. Eminem's Minis Madness for the Game Boy Color. And last but not least, for this first round of cookie. Gauntlet Dark Legacy for the original Xbox. Nice. Good old Blue Valkyrie. The pseudo sequel, I guess, yeah, sequel slash side spin off of uh, Gauntlet Legends. The solid ass list. I forgot to log in. Oops. Logged in. Bot is ready to go. Let's do it to it. All right, you're going to see that poll popping up in the chat here in a moment. Click that link to vote and see what game of these that we're playing next. You can't see them all on screen because I can't. I have it set up not to pan down all the way. But uh, let's see what you all want. Currently in the lead. <laughs> Currently in the lead, we actually have... Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is pretty much the battle I was expecting for the most part. Currently, we have uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, 60, 70 votes, 21%. With Spire of the Dragon Reignited, 73 votes, 19%. It's They're really close together. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, 60 votes, 14%. Hello Kitty Roller Rescue, 41 votes, 9%. Sonic Blast, 38 votes, 8%. Snowboard Kids 2, 32 votes, 7%. 
Brain Dead 13, 29 votes, 6%. Eminem's Mini Madness, 23 votes, 4%. And Silent Hill Downpour, 15 votes, 3%. 488 votes clock so far. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin is leading over Spyro the Dragon 1 Reignited, 122 to 119. It is extremely close between those two. So let's, uh, let's see what wins. This race will take one minute, and when it's done, we know what game we're playing next. If the game in second place is 1% or below, and we're very generous with that 1%, it's like 1.99 or below, uh, it'll get added to the next poll as an extra option. That's how Spyro Reignited showed up here in the first place. And it's trying to make it count right now, because it's actually just barely in the lead, and it's back. Color coding for when we hit the buzzer, yellow is Castlevania, blue is Spyro. Let's see what happens. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin is one of my favorite Castlevanias, but Spyro Reignited is also really solid and loved by a lot of the community. So this is actually a pretty solid fight, and it looks like that's going to be the theme for tonight because it's just bouncing back and forth. Spyro currently in the lead by six votes. 1% rule still in play. And... Spyro takes it, but 1% rule is active. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin gets another chance next round, but there will be eight games again to go against, so we'll see what happens there. Well, not bad, Spyro and Dragon Lord. You just barely missed out on Wednesday, but you ended up winning today. Boss. All right. Let's drop some eggs. We'll go to break. I'll grab some co-coms. I'll stretch to wake up a bit more, and then we'll start playing Spyro 1. Gamer Moody and JT Average, thank you for the gift subs. Everyone else, the list is a little too long to read, but special shout outs to Riku Lover21 for 84, Sith Arc for 84, Toad Link 6 for 80, Hound Flash for 80, Earthshade for 102, Mega Nerd for 82, and Wolf Samurai for 101. Thank you all for hanging out as long as you all have. I greatly appreciate it. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. No one! <laughs> it's the Shuffler. You will give me an- Ah, shit! Are you breaking my knee again? Fantastic. Alright, we're gonna get a break. When we come back, I'll grab some co-coms. We'll be playing Spyro the Dragon 1. The reignited version. See you guys in a bit. Stop breaking your knees. I can't. It's all I know.
Hello. It's quiet. Everybody type as silently as you can. Do not disturb. What's going on? Oh, everyone's being really quiet for some reason in chat, I don't know. It's a sleepy day. Everybody's no, you- I said quiet! <laughs> Stop screaming! <laughs> it's a sleepy day. Everybody's What's up? sleepy. Doing all right. A little tired, otherwise holding up all right. How about you? Uh, pretty much the same. Been watching melee all day. Smash nice. summits happening. Ah, nice. Yeah, and then they pissed me off because <laughs> there was a they 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 vote right uh, like on the sets like they have a poll or like not a poll like a prediction. So everyone puts in their predictions. It was a 99 to 1 percent, and the mods accidentally. <laughs> Uh, pushed out the 1% that won. So everyone who got it right lost points, and it was a lot of people. <laughs> Amazing. It was really funny, though, not gonna lie. <sighs> Wake up. Wake up. I'm very surprised you're streaming full length stream with yesterday. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm low energy partly because of that, but we'll see. We'll see if this oh, ends up being worry. a full length one tonight or not. We already started like a half hour late because I fell asleep on the couch for three hours. Uh, alrighty then. Mr. Joe says, "Hey John, been having a hell of a week now, music-wise, because of My Chemical Romance releasing a song in God knows how many years and being blown away." With the really? New Kendrick? Yeah. Did you not hear about that? No, I didn't. Like That's two days hilarious. ago, they dropped a new song, and I guess they're putting out a new album. That's crazy. And being blown away with a new Kendrick Lamar album. The second to last song near the end of the album uh, almost made me cry. Highly recommend it. I don't think I've actually heard any of Kendrick Lamar's music. I know of him. I don't. I could not name a song by him. It's just not the style of music I listen to, I'm gonna guess. Because again, can't place it. He actually uh, wrote uh, K to the L to the Amar. Uh, it's a real song, actually. Don't look it up. Uh, trust me on this. What is the L? Uh, it stands for L for like Lamar. <laughs> but didn't you just say Lamar after that? So it would be no, it's Amar. Kayla Lamar? No, K L Amar. I heard Lamar too, but I realized that's what you were going for was was a Amar. So yeah. Yeah, fair enough. K L M R. Yeah, Kulmer. Kulmer. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite artist. Bad Chatchbun says yeah. Happy Cookie Night. All Vine branches. Let's go. Cool house is Wario. Chaos Agent says, It's my birthday today, so I decided to donate for a bit of birthday luck. Considering how bad either of our lucks can be, I don't know if this is a good or bad idea. The worst is you'll break even, at least. Happy birthday, Chaos Agent. Queen Chi says, So this is called the Thirst Quencher, and for half of the fight, you're hitting the robot in the crotch. Kappa. Womp womp. And Philip J. Fry says, It's Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my all-rush mixtape. Let's rock. Nocturne intensifies. Let's hop over to Art Block and see what's going on over there, and then let's hop into Spyro 1. Uh, Art Block, pretty small right now, so we'll get through it pretty fast. Oh, again, I keep clicking on Discord instead of OBS. Uh, but Art Block starts right here with this picture from Junko. May 14th marks Koishi Day in the Toho community, so I drew Koishi in a Rosa hoodie that matches her color scheme. Also, Satori. The yellow and green actually not a bad counterbalance. It actually works. Neat. Thank you, Junko. Next up, from Spawns, Combust. It's Rosa and Rosa. 
Seeing everyone draw Rosa with leggings, maybe want to draw my version of Rosa who wears leggings under shorts, because I like leggings under shorts. In fact, while I am typing this, I am wearing leggings under shorts. Nice. But while I was working on this, I decided to put my original Rosa John redesign posted uh, February 10th, 2020 on the Buru when everyone was making less likely to get Nintendo to sue us designs. We succeeded, at least. It's fun to see what has changed and what has stayed the same. Looks good. Nicely done, Spawn. Thank you for the your take on the current design and your old one as well. Next up, horse. From BLT General. I have successfully horsed! Howdy again. I hope everyone is having a great one. This continues the trend of me doing strange pieces with alts. Technically, I had indeed uh, intended... Oh, that's say indeed. I intended to use this idea for Lukajen doing stuff from her recent travels, but then I saw Super Thunder Claps and stole my own idea. And who knows, maybe I'll draw an actual horse for an inverse alt. Anyways, have a good night. Yes, Super Thunder Claps is the May alt of the month. So thank you for the lovely art. Reveal I keep I can't get over that name, dude. I cannot get over that name. <laughs> Next up, speaking of names, the Sass Kickers are here from Jasper the Crab. Guess who's now inspired to also make book titles for the Sass Kickers? Ever since working on Bizzard the Wizard book titles, I've been inspired to do that for other stuff, even with my own characters. So unironically, Bizzard the Wizard saved me from a creative block until further notice. Finally, Bizzard, about that. Bizzard's done some good for the world. I mean, other than the money he raised for charity. Of course, yes. Of it's course. fascinating how far that little like game has come in this community, by the way, because that was just some obscure ass kind of low budget Wii game, and now here we are having like just everyone talking about this game. This game has seen more action in years, dude. It's remember, incredible. I mean, it's not even the name of the game though. Well, it's not. That's remember, the thing. Remember though, like this, this that only happened two months ago. <laughs> yeah. God, it feels way longer. It was than the that, end dude. of February. Scarred. It's only been two months. Dude, what happened to time? <laughs> it's so crazy, man. This doesn't exist. Time, is just, time does not exist. It does not. Unlike Time Thief, who does exist. If he didn't exist, it'd be very sad. Next up from Roto Eve. Tonight I offer some of the more complex pieces I've done Void Master, Twilight Imp, and Ruv. Making an eye patch was much harder than I anticipated by a mile, and making half a face spray was also quite rough. And Imp's eyes were a lot tougher than you'd expect from just looking, but through the though challenging, I'm content with all three. Also, be my hap birth today. No luck taking the code, though, because money, but enjoy still. Happy birthday, Roto Eve! And thank you for more me's. If you are playing Metopia, L4LWPD in the access key slot will actually let you download all these Joniverse me's that uh, Roto Eve's made. Thank you, thank you. Wow! That was the longest two months. Next up, cow. I give you Brave Cow Musashi. Looking different Musashi. in a lot of ways here at this point. <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> I, like the, I like the Breathe Fencer Musashi over there as well, too. I'm going to assume this is like the more... This looks like... Um, shit, what's the name of that series? Samurai uh, Warriors, maybe? Sengoku Basara. It looks more like that oh. kind of style. Maybe? I'll take your word on that one. Either way, thank you, Waluigi. Although I think Musashi in that series, no, I'm thinking of Date, has like six swords. That's Date Masamune, yeah. yeah. Next up, Calgary Flames from Hex Universe. So I didn't think I would make an alt this soon. Saw that surprisingly there wasn't an actual hockey player alt, John. So here it is. You look good in Calgary Red, eh, John? Also, maybe this is why Buff Tom got so strong. I mean, Buff Tom would definitely be an enforcer. He would definitely wreck, wreck the, uh, the ice, but he also would be in the penalty box all the time. Thanks, Hex. Here's hoping the Flames can actually get past round one. For the love of God, please. I have a special designated chair for you. <laughs> the penalty box. The Buff Ton branded penalty box. <laughs> I like what was that picture that was... Box. Okay, so hockey, hockey viewers. I know there's a couple of you here. What was that picture going around? I think it was last week of like four or five guys in the penalty box. Was that Boston? Either way, what the fuck what? happened in that thing? Like, was, Isn't was, that like the whole team? It's like, was it Boston or was it Carolina? It was, it was something like that. Just, a, just everyone was in the penalty box. It was just comical. The Leafs leafed again. Oh, of course. From TBG Hunter, the mysterious and ruthless leader to the communist empire, Lord Donator rules with a cloaked fist, shouting "fools" to his enemies as he pilots, or sorry, plots the total conquest of the TRG Wars world. No one knows his true identity, as no one has seen him without his hood up, but nevertheless, his units will follow his orders to the very end if it means victory. 
Passive ability, generous donation. All captured cities generate 20% more funds thanks to donators call for donations. CO power, imperial cell. <laughs> all captured cities spawn infantry at nine HP and all units attack is increased by 15%. Super CO power, fools! For every 1,000 war funds donator has, his units gain 3.33% more firepower, Jesus. And his CO theme, unsurprisingly, is Sturm's theme. Thank you, TBG. I, I dig the design. Nice touch on this. Hell yeah. Curious to see what his actual, uh, his assistants are gonna be. Yes, it was Boston. Also, they got the boot tonight by the Hurricanes. Well, damn, there you go. And with that, folks, uh, that's our block. I'm, hang on, I wanna go find, <laughs> I wanna go find this picture. Cause again, if you don't watch hockey, it just looks silly as hell. Uh, yes. Yes. Bruins have ill-advised party in penalty box during game two. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> no, we're talking about makes me think of one of my favorite gifts. Actually, I just threw it in the mod chat. This is not the picture I'm looking for, but it's still pretty good because it's just it's just a pile of them in there. It's just just a, a group of them just chilling it. That's only supposed to fit like <laughs> two or three people, so there's just four in there, and the actual guy who controls them getting in and out. Oh, I get some fast food. <laughs> yeah, it's some snacks. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm trying to find the actual picture because it was just they were just all. No, oh, here we go. Found it. It was just them, like, they all crammed into the corner for some reason. At least that's what it looked like. It looked like they were just all trying to hide in the corner, for, like, to just cover up each other from their shame. <laughs> Amazing. I like the comment up here, too. This isn't the Bruins bench. It's the penalty box. <laughs> Dude, this this reminds me of my room at MacFest 2019. It's just cramped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just a con hotel room, really. Yeah. All right. Good time. We're playing Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Here, if you want that photo for yourself, I'll drop it in, in chat. All right. There you go. Uh, the game's loading, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. I can say that with 100% confidence. Good. Because I was getting a little concerned there. I didn't realize Toys for Bob did this one too. Yep. That they did. I, I mean, it makes sense. It looked like it was the same engine. Well, that's why the rumor was that like Toys for Bob was also working on a Spyro Four. Uh, until ah. until the uh, the what did they get? Until moved they to? weren't. Yeah, they got moved to Call of Duty. I'm going to assume because that's what happened to like every studio. That sounds yes. Familiar. It was them and uh, the guys who were making the new Tony Hawk remaster. Got moved to the Call of Duty mines. Oh yeah, someone in chat brings a good point. Still feels weird that now this is going to be a Microsoft IP. Yep. That's that totally right? true. The adventure continues. In the first game. That it does. A new rumor came up yesterday that they're working on a Crash 5 and a rebooted Spyro 4. Eh... If they can actually make Spyro 4 good, then I'll be surprised. <laughs> I forgot this is what we turned our Spyro into. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. Hi, Spyro. Big head, pride glasses. It was all fucking salmonella colored. It's good Spyro. All right, so uh, which Wait, way am salmonella I Salmonella colored, to go? excuse me? I think you meant salmon colored. <laughs> what? Yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that one of the <laughs> one of the symptoms of salmonella is your entire body becoming bright pink. Have you had salmonella before? No, I haven't. Well, I, I'm very thankful it, because I, I'm I'm fine with my skin tone right now. To a new world. <laughs> well, if you ever want to change it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've only saved eight. Okay. See those dergons. Dagrons. Na 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 dagrons. I don't remember Fun, so what we've done. You've done Dark Hollow, and I think you did, uh... Oh, I think you did the first level, too, I want to say. 
You can check your atlas and see which levels you've done. The guidebook? Guidebook, yeah. It's, it's called Atlas on Artisans, some Dark Hollow, Sunny Flight, and Toasty. Oh, right. You went to Sunny Flights, right? <laughs> you went to the fucking flight level. I mean, we 100%ed it. You did. Oops, and I just lost my dragonfly. Or changed the color. We did that one already. That was Sunny Flights. Yep. That's a Ryu in the background, I'm noticing. I need to finally play this game. Like, I, I, I played a little bit of it. Like, my grandma had a PS1 at her house. And every once in a while, I'd go there and play that. But, uh, Seems like this is legit my first proper time playing this, like, the first game. Because really? Because I've, I've played only three on stream. And, no, what's the other one we did on stream? You uh, did four. The fourth one, Enter the Dragonfly, because we cheated yes. and went to the end of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That game is infamous for its uh for its trick. All right, uh, Megatech two four three one kills Rhea with kindness and bullets and says, "Since Roto Eve can't do the birthday luck, then here is my gift to give them luck." Oh, that's super sweet of you, Megatech. Thank you so much. And again, happy birthday to Roto Eve. Here's hoping for some good luck for you. Happy birthday. Roto Eve very surprised and confused in chat. Unsurprisingly, Stony, hey, have you done that one? No, we haven't. You have not. Uh, happy birthday, John. It's not my birthday. I've there's still like half, got like half a year. <laughs> we'll celebrate early. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. Yeah, just you know, you know November 8th, you know, March 14th, basically. Or sorry, May 14th, basically the same. Well, 14 yeah. is almost a multiple of eight. So, I mean, um, happy birthday. <laughs> I mean, there are 12 months in a year after all. In it's 12. some John's birthday. I mean, that's true. That is true. Any John's in chat? Happy birthday. Closer, <laughs> Even closer if it's not your John's birthday, birthday than my birthday. own birthday. That's how close it is. It's closer to Jen's birthday. Both my sister and Electron Jen. Happy birthday to your sister. Yeah, happy birthday to your sister. Again, still not close to her birthday, but closer than mine is. Happy Can you birthday make a phone call for me and tell them that I said happy birthday? <laughs> not calling my sister now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> just answer the phone, happy birthday. What? <laughs> Just hang up. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be like, did you did you forget what my birthday is? is she, that's what she's gonna do. She's like, did you fucking forget my birthday? It's two weeks no, before you. yours. How could you forget? Well, I'm giving you an out here. To say somebody stupid on your stream was saying it, so it's not all the on the blame. Oh wait, no, 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 we're not done here. Oh god. Yeah, maybe she's watching. John's sister, are you watching? No, you watching? she's not watching. If you're well, John's sister in chat, type yes. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the dragonfly spiral. If you are related to John, type yes. We'll, we'll suss you out. He eats butterflies, he stays strong. I knew it! Uh, sure. What? What? Shamrock apparently says that he is my sister. There's a lot of people that are saying that my sister or related to me. Yeah. John, you have such a big family, dude. I'm very surprised. Did you know you are part of my family? All my siblings and I have a name that starts with J, so both you and Jen are my family. That's how it works. Amazing. Thanks, Fury. That's solid logic. Yeah. <laughs> you owe me a lot of gifts, said Albino. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, happy birthday, Albino. <laughs> happy birthday, Albino. Jesus. You knew what you did at the setting you let us call. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, if it wasn't going to be a short stream, we're going to make it one. <laughs> John's just gonna leave, he's just gonna go do something else. This is my stream now, let's let's go guys, gonna play some uh fucking I don't know man, let's just play whatever. Figure it out. Are you the new Proton John? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, his sister will take over. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> just another night, eh, John? Just another night. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Oh, that's how that Not works? That I didn't even know. Trouble, Spyro. Are you related to Proton John? Yes, no, but yes or nope. No, but yes, currently winning. 
I have a lot of family. Oh my god. Well, you don't, but you do. Don't. Yeah, no, but yes. You know what? I think I just realized what it is. John, you're Olive Garden. Because when you're here, you're family. Oh my god, Maniacal. <laughs> fucking really? <laughs> <laughs> so am I the Olive Garden or is the stream Olive Garden? You are I mean, Mr. Olive and your stream is Olive Garden. And this is your garden, Mr. That, that's Olive. That's my clue name is Mr. Olive. Got it. Yes. <laughs> so many chats and where the breadsticks. <laughs> That's true! Where are the breadsticks, John? Unlimited breadsticks, unlimited chat members, Man, unlimited if I, had, if I had unlimited chat members and unlimited breadsticks, that would be impressive. It'd be impressive, and you'd be very full of carbs. Oh, I mean, I'm already pretty full of carbs. That's what my doctor's warning me about. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe After maybe go for a different business plan the than, than owning an olive garden. <laughs> in an actual garden? <laughs> It'll we'll just grow olives in it instead. Artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Bye. Bye. Don't care about your story, old man. Oh, it was scores at the bottom. Uh missing an egg, missing one dragon, and missing half the gems. Are you okay with people pointing out where stuff is, or would you like to figure it out on your own? I'll try to figure it out on my own first, but I'm sure there's stuff I'm gonna miss, because again, no <laughs> real experience with this series. This is basically, like, super blind for me. Mm-hmm, <laughs> which is fair. And you put on sunglasses too, so it's like even more blind than normal. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. You know, it sounds like you need your eyesight improved, and uh, let me tell you, in your garden, you could grow some carrots, which are good for your eyesight. Sure, I do like carrots. They're pretty good. I like some baby carrots especially. Very good snack food. I love that you just ruin sheep in this game. Yeah, right? Spyro just likes murdering everything. Just full of hatred. Something's taunting me. Or is that the dragonfly eating the butterflies? Oh, having not played the game, I think I know the solution to this one. Yes. You know, as an expert. Of course. Oops. No. Spyro, my friend. How that is a paintbrush. Yeah. You bet. For Used the for the biggest canvases. Press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop I like that they kind of diversified the dragons a little bit. Like they're... Yeah. I think I think actually is a pretty solid look that they kind of gave everyone. It is, because in the original game, they all look the same. I think there were like two or three types, but yeah. You know, as the expert on this game who hasn't played it before. Yeah, you the expert, not me, the one who's 100%ed both like original trilogy for each game, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> hey, that's a good question, what do I know? Not like I did a charity block of this series or anything. You know, I keep, like, zoning out and then re-realizing how ridiculous you look. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want cheat codes again for this, by the way? Are you good? I mean, I don't remember the cheat codes. I'm pretty sure, like, someone looked them up. I can grab some. Hang on. I mean, I just like the cosmetics, so... Give you a small head if you want a small head. Hmm. Isn't this is this with big head on already? I can't tell. This is big head. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's see here. We have flat spiral. We have retro style. We have color change. Well, color change we clearly used. Mm hmm. Thief.
You know, think about Olive Garden again. Like, I recall the Sonic movie, uh... They apparently actually wasn't even, like, a real sponsor they got. They just did it. Yeah, they they mentioned Olive Garden all the time because it was, a, like, it started out as a joke. And then, like, the, the head uh, general or whatever, did, like, they just made him increasingly fond of Olive Garden as they were making the movie, I guess. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was hilarious. I'm like, that's something that we would do. <laughs> just, like, come up with a, a stupid scenario and be like, ah, that'll never happen. But then they just went and made it happen. Mm -hmm. I think that's just how, like, movie writing in general goes, is just silly shit like that. Yeah. Like, what if we just kept saying it and it just became real? Okay. <laughs> what if the Scooby-Doo gang got audited? <laughs> just an old stream joke for us. <laughs> Among many other stupid ass things with the Scooby Doo gang. Even older uh, inside joke is the the gritty reboot of Where's Waldo. <laughs> ah yes, where? <laughs> where? Oh my god. Uh okay, so where is the key? Or do I already have it? You do not have it. Where have I not been? There. You were close at one point, but I don't think you realized what to do. And that's, I think, all I'll say. I think I just got, I might have gotten sidetracked when I started chasing after that thief with the egg. Because that's the end of stage over there. Oops. <laughs> oh, by the way, I read that as it was your fault. <laughs> Waldo died 10 years ago. It's time to move on. It was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Waldo! <laughs> I didn't mean to! It's okay, Waldo will forgive you as well as God. Waldo is God, actually. So oh, God's that's dead. why it's so You just said God is dead. Yeah. And Mets killed him. You gotta sorry. It's a tragic you tale we've like... weaved here. No kidding. You, ever, you gotta think about, like, RPG protagonists for a second here. What must it be like for them to kill a god? Like, what must that feeling be like? Relief, because then they can go home and sleep. I guess so, true. yeah. All right, I am on the way sure. on the way back. You'd think they're just like, dude, I was kind of awesome back there, you know? <laughs> I just totally killed that guy. He's my big sword. It was great. Could you have done that? No, nah, it was all me. That's crazy. I'm the hero of this story, <laughs> not you. <laughs> I don't know what I've missed, if anything. I can't jump up on these, so I, and I, so I can't get on this ramp. That's end of stage down there. Oh, wait. Oh. Ooh, sneaky. Yeah. Hey, There's there you go. You found One of the many rude secrets that can be in this game. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god, is there gonna be fifteen left in that chest though? That's the real question. Because if there's not, then we still gotta look around and find the remaining gems. That looks like it. Nope. That was ten. Oh. Well, I am colorblind, so you know. <laughs> oh, what does it do with your ability to count? He couldn't tell what color they were, so he couldn't tell how much they were worth. You know what? That's fair, because they are color based. My mistake. And that is the absolute truth. <clears throat> and not a way to cover the, me just yeah. blindly saying things. If you hit R3, someone said Sparks points to a gem, but. Uh... Uh, press down on the stick to have Sparks point. I am pressing. Did you mean. They meant L3. On the uh, switch stick, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That wasn't in the original game, right? I had to unlock that in some of the games in the original. Uh. This game is just a default. That's super nice. And there's our missing one. Ah. Yeah. 
100% level complete. Hooray! Hooray. We did it! Here's the $20 yeah. gift card to Olive Garden. <laughs> when you're here, you're breadsticks. <laughs> when you're breadsticks, you're family. All makes sense. It was only in two and three, and it was an upgrade that you had to unlock in three. I've always thought about, like, when you're at an Olive Garden, just the I like the power move of just not saying stop when they give you the cheese and just seeing just how long they go for. <laughs> Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> I'm gonna try it at some point. I'm really curious. If they stop themselves, you're like, no, more. Mm. More. Oh, more. <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> Think of like the fucking uh, Star Wars bit with uh, Kylo Ren just saying more a bunch. <laughs> so dumb, I love it. Where have we not been in this world? How many worlds are there in this area? Um, I had an old spreadsheet for this too, actually. We never used it. <laughs> I'm not good at it, you then. I think there should be one more level here you have not gone to. There should be a city level. I can't break this down. I know you're like doesn't tolerant, John. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Um, I don't really have one anymore because I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, I mean that's what I figure. But I figure I may as well ask, like, what was your favorite memory of cheese? My favorite <laughs> memory of cheese. <laughs> you know, like when you could still have it. What? What is the best cheese-based memory you can come up with? <laughs> Looks like I haven't been here. All right. Nope. Town, town Square. Uh having like a good slice of pizza you know what that's fair you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm curious maniacal what's your favorite memory of cheese <laughs> really uh well there was this one time uh i used her to help me uh, beat the final boss of sonic advance 3 is she's a girl i thought cheese was a guy oh wait no the ch i confused with the rabbit uh cream, <laughs> you know my cream is a girl. i thought cheese was a boy <laughs> yeah Look, it's cream and cheese, and her name is Vanilla. Stands for uh, Vanilla Cream Cheese. What? Vanilla's her mom's name, though. Yeah, exactly. You're mixing up, like, three things at the same time without elaborating. <laughs> I know you know them all, you're just not saying them correctly. <laughs> Would you like some Vanilla Cream Cheese, apparently? Would you, John? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, if you weren't guess... lactose intolerant, would you? Yeah. Maybe. John, if you had to, like... Get rid of your lactose intolerance, but you had to lose something else. What would you pick? What? <laughs> Welcome to the Safe system smell. I live without it, and it's great. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get Smell a is good stupid. Look. Useless sense. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I can smell barely smell. Sucks. I don't. Uh, <laughs> it kind of it kind of does yeah, suck. What, like, what can I it? trade for this? Like, can I like trade off like maybe an inch of height? You could if, theoretically. Three inches. Three inches to to lose well, lactose intolerance. Yeah, sure. It has, to be, it has to be equivalent, John. Is three inches like equivalent to like cheese or like uh, yeah, your lactose? <laughs> <sighs> Some great word. I just tonight. want the, the out of context quote is three inches equivalent to cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. He's gone off the deep end. Oh, speaking of deep end, it didn't it didn't glide. Aw. Oh. Man, we're only one game in with both of us, and we're already confused. <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing that's happening, isn't it? Oh, boy. Oh, that did actually cost me a whole life. Shit. Yep. I thought it was just going to cost me a hit. But drowning typically leads to death. Well, I fell in the water earlier, and all I did, all I lost, was like one level of uh, my dragonfly. Uh, so the reason for that's because I was like shallow water. Spyro oh. basically can't touch some water. So, but like that, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? 
Waters you can escape from, you'll just take damage. Waters like that, uh, you can't escape from, you just die, unfortunately. If you owned Olive Garden, would you still sell Italian food? Yes, I love Italian food. I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Proton John, the fever dream live stream. Yeah, that's... Today, I did say I was tired today, so this checks. This tracks. I can't argue that, to be fair. Yeah. Tired usually brings the weirdest shit talked about. I feel that. Some people told me I feel like... What is it? Uh, some people have told me that if I get tired enough, I start like becoming drunk, which is an interesting thing. I know that that is a thing for a lot of people. Oh yeah, I'm the same way. I, I mean, I assume I don't drink, so I wouldn't know. But I mean, like I can infer. I'm not much of a drinker either, which is funny because uh, friends have made fun of me because I decided to do something very smart. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> so next, this 2020, right? Let's say I was inspired by uh, Kion because. Kion always talked about these certain drinks, right? These drinks were called IPAs. Oh. I've never had an IPA. Spyro. I thought it'd be smart to order a double IPA <laughs> as someone who doesn't really drink. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I took and, a uh, sip, he's like, I don't really like this. No, I didn't take a sip. I drank at least like a fourth of it. I'm like, this is too bitter for me. <laughs> uh, I then, of course, was like, maybe I can make this thing like not as bitter. So I put some ice cubes in it. Uh, they made fun of me more I for. I forgot you did that. <laughs> oh maniacal. I mean, an IPA is basically just beer, but yeah, it's like, like a special brew. I've realized over time, I think I like more mixed drinks if I ever do drink, which even then I don't really like drinking too much. Why is that not activating? Man, it's great that I work for a liquor warehouse and I have a ton of wine at home and I nobody drinks it. <laughs> I just give it away to people. <laughs> Someone comes over like, hey, you want some wine here? Take like four bottles. <laughs> See, it's interesting because like you give away wine, which is fascinating to me because you're already full of it. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just say he's a whiner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard meds whine a lot about things. Like what? I don't know. Like, <laughs> you just whining the other day about your channel points being gone. And that was today, actually. <laughs> I wasn't even whining. I said it was hilarious. It's close enough. Hilarious I interpreted it as whining. whining. Like, John, I like how you... uncommitted you were to your own point for a second there, Maniacal. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I, I heard you whine. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can find brilliance in speaking, and I find <laughs> like, I, as long as you I, like go with the flow, you'll eventually strike gold. Gold is subjective. I get his point, though. I get his point. It's just really funny how he's presented it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how it goes. Oh, I, I wouldn't say most of the time that we talk brilliance comes of it, though. Are you sure? I, don't I think know. it's more like a, like a spectacular train wreck that people can't look away from. Like, oh, no, what's happening over there? Oh, I don't like that. Mm. But I'm aware of it, at least. God damn it. Why does it not... I can't glide and hold run at the same time. That is a little weird. You cannot, no. Well, now I gotta go the fucking long way around the entire stage. Although, I guess I can get the egg now. You get eggs all the time, though. But now I can get a dragon egg. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> Did he just juke you? <laughs> Where did he even go? Did he just leave? I think he went straight up. <laughs> he went up, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the theme. So infamous. In this you game. fool! You know, that reminds me of, like, Gilbert Gottfried. Like, I remember seeing the Hollywood Squares clip of him going around after you his fasting. You fool! That one. 
yeah, that's such a good clip. That is a good one. I actually remember <laughs> watching that live because I used to watch Hollywood Squares when I was younger. Oh, nice. You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. At least that version yeah. of Hollywood Squares because there's been a couple. Yeah, this jump like, kind of sucks. Because that wasn't the original version of the of the show. Damn it. That's such a rude turn. Oh, uh, egg. Oh. But now I gotta do the stage all over again. <laughs> mm-hmm. You, you heard him, chat, give him that egg. Now. <laughs> now, please. Do it. So demanding, Jesus. I mean, I just want to help my friend out, you know? Ah, yeah. okay. That, that explains it. Now it all makes sense. Look, John, we're, we're, we got your back, man. Appreciate it. Whether you want us to or not. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is actually like... a threat. <laughs> we're like your secret service. Oh my god, Afro Blade Master, thank you for that egg. Look at your yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What? That's, what I call, that's what I call a fucking support, baby. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. I saved Thor. Ah, oh, dude, his movie's coming out too. At some point. Me, he looks a little older than I remember being in the movies. I was gonna say that's Thor. Yeah, it's Thor. Looks just like Chris Hemsworth. Looks just like that. Like Why does one. he have a vase? Ah, uh, that's where he keeps Loki. His his ashes, at least. <laughs> what happened to Loki? Uh, you know, <laughs> died. I guess. Yeah, you have to watch <laughs> the movies to know. And cremated. I don't, don't know how I feel about West talking about cremation when the well done alert came up, but sure. <laughs> is it true that it's not worth the sub through Google Play? So, uh, if you sub through mobile, it supposedly costs you more. That's what yes. I was told. It costs like a dollar or so more. I think it's the same thing with bits, too, huh? Mm, not with bits. It's the same with Apple's setup, too. Interesting. There's an extra fee for both marketplaces. Yeah, it's five ninety nine, so it's a dollar more to sub on mobile than it is uh, to sub on like your desktop. Mhm. Mm also, I think everything is done in the artisans world now. Yeah, because it said one hundred percent there. All right, so I got two eggs, well, sixteen no. dinosaurs, and eleven spiros. Well, the artisans level itself counts for completion. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's so, like the hub. The hub worlds also have their own completion to them as well. Oh, we're skill. What? I didn't notice these skill points before. Yep. Should I have done these? Are these important? These are optional. I would not count these for 100% personally, but they're little bonus things. All bulls stuck? Oh, am I supposed to, like, head charge into them instead? Oh, never mind. Thought that wouldn't kick in right away. Wait, so this is, does this door open now, or does it always stay shut? That door stays shut. Okay. Is that supposed to be What's-His-Face's castle or something, or what? No. Oh, then what is it? It's just a door. It doesn't really do anything. I think the idea is like, oh, this is where your adventure begins from. I see you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. Thanks, Marco. I mean, it just, it just makes me think, like, what's behind the door? <laughs> Are you ready to go? It's a spooky door because it never opens. Ooh. Not Ooh. original. Door is simply decoration. Okay. Peacekeepers. Ah, Spyro 2 Dude, and 3 I'm... had skill points in the originals, and they give you an epilogue oh. for the games. This was not in the original game. It was in the first game. Got you. Now it makes sense. Now I understand I the message. Could, I thought you could still get those epilogues from just simply 100%ing it. I don't, I don't know how that was tied to skill points. So asking about the proportions. Yeah, that's because big head mode is on.
Ta-da! <laughs> Why is Final Fantasy music playing? Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Goodbye. All right, so 200 gems here, two more dragons, and an egg. Although we're at I time right they... now, so I don't know if we're gonna finish and continue or not. That's your call. Oh, and it's still considered a hub too. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Hub worlds also have their own uh, gems and everything, like I was mentioning earlier. I forget if it was mentioned the first time you played this, but uh, the, the soundtrack for this game was actually done by Stuart Copeland. Name sounds very familiar. Uh, it was a double drummer, check. right? Yes, double checking what he did. He was part of the police. That's what it was. The police. Ah, that's what it was. Skill point I knew it was a notable person. But then uh, also, haha, -ha, Amanda show. Uh. Yes. There's a level in this game that has the same sort of riff as the Amanda show theme. Ah, uh, okay. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar if you listen back to back. Yep. Fire the cannon. Fuck you, rocks. Yeah, take that, you shitty boulder. <laughs> I really need to play this game. I've been saying I'm going to, and then I almost do like several times, and then I don't. Very good time, dude. I really recommend them. I know I love them. Like they're just fun collectathon platformers. There's yeah, three I of can them. see why people like these so much, but uh, I actually planned on continuing this file at some point, and then just never got around to it because you know I'm just like, oh, gotta go play this game now. Mm -hmm. Yo, what game am I playing like this time? As in, like, on your own time, or...? Own time, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, go for it if you want to. Just, just never got around to it, basically. Mm-hmm. Sure it's, we all have several games like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just got done replaying Pokemon X earlier, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, honestly, going back through it, it wasn't too bad. Like, at worst, the characterization is kind of bad at times, but otherwise, I think the game itself is good. It's got good music to it. Um... You know, Pokemon, there's plenty of them in there, so you, there's no really shortage of choices. I was going to say, I haven't I really heard got... anyone talk hey, about Spyro. X or Y as much anymore. Honestly, they still hold up fairly well. Sure I liked them. They're sort of forgettable, but, I mean, butterfly. whenever you've played, like, 12 Pokemon games, it kind of happens, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like if I played it whenever I was younger, I would have appreciated it more. Honestly, playing it now, I think I can kind of appreciate it for like some aspects that are more prevalent in the newer titles. Uh, that just aren't really a thing there. I'm almost got enough treasure to go to the next world, so I can just leave all these dragons alone. Mm -hmm. You good? Ooh, Ice Guy, that's not too bad a level. Like I said, we're not going to see any new levels because we're going to just finish collecting stuff here and then... Well, so I don't know how much progress is to save if I just stop now. But remember all the gems and stuff we've gotten, or is yeah. it going to get cranky? No, I don't remember the gems. You just hit, like, quick game now. It auto-saves fairly often. Oh, that's good. Damn, I need a key. Dr. Shemp. Dr. Shemp. Doctor. Medic. Never actually played TF2, but I always love the characters from it. Oh yeah, no, they're super fun. Well, you F did a great job personal. running. <laughs> Thanks for the egg. Uh oh. Oh, not the poison. Shallow poison, we're fine. 
gunner. Yeah, that's what a gunner should look like. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Calmer voice than I expected for a dude named Gunner who's missing an eye. I assume they redid Spyro's voice lines, because wasn't there like somebody fairly notable who did it the first time? Uh, uh, it was a voice actor for Rocco from Rocker's Modern Life, I, if I recall correctly. In the, in the first one or this one? Uh, just for the first one on the PS1. In this one, it's Tom Kenny, like it was in 2 and 3 in the original. Tom I Ken thought that uh, was Tom Ken Kenny. I'm like, no, nah, there's no way. What am I doing wrong yep. with these things? A lock to it. What do you do then? Does it need two Hit keys? it harder. Not quite, no. There's something you could do with this. Am I supposed to use the cannons? Are you? That means yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to be vague, man. Don't call me out like this. I'll let you discover it. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job on that one, John. Yeah, nice job, man. Proud of you. <laughs> Are there any more hints you don't want to give Maniacal? <laughs> nice. I'm gonna take up the tower. You know, speaking of Rocco, actually, you guys see that he got announced for Nick All Star Brawl? Yeah, alongside yes. Hugh Neutron. Jimmy's not I'm in so the game, glad. but Hugh is. And Jenny, XJ9. Mm hmm. Yeah, th that one surprised me. But I'm like, she I makes a ton like, of sense, though. She's literally a combat right? robot. Yeah. yeah. I was just surprised to see her there, like, based out of relevance. Because I feel I like nobody ever talks about that show anymore. It was a good Not show, really, though. No. I enjoyed it. Like, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. me stopping it. watching cartoons on TV was that, and, like, it was really well done. The Rocks won. Damn I'm it. sorry, John. No, they beat me in the rock war. No. Uh, I'm still missing some gems. Yeah. And I haven't found where to use this key. I thought I've done everything at this point. Shy like I see said, they were all... Uh, like I see was saying, they were all very requested characters, is why they all got in. Rocco was, I guess, the, the surprising one. I'm like, were people really requesting Rocco the way they were Hugh Neutron and XJ9? But apparently so. I mean, that that does surprise me. Rocco is a decent choice just for the cartoon and for the age group that's probably playing the game. But, like, yeah, I feel like Jenny and uh, Hugh make way more sense in a way. It, it's still funny <laughs> yeah, in both sure. cases. Like I, like, I can't believe Hugh got in, and I can't believe he got in before Jimmy did. Cause like I think half like the main characters for their shows aren't even in there. Is Arnold in there yet? No. No. Yeah, Arnold's not, but Helga is. I was talking to somebody uh, the other day, and I'm surprised the Angry Beavers aren't in there. That makes so much sense, huh? That one I think could be a possible rights issue, cause I don't even know if Nick still has the rights to Angry Beavers. I think really? The creator, the creator might have gotten them back. I don't remember. All right, all gems. Interesting. So I remember they, saying, they didn't air the final episode of the show, so I think there was some animosity because of that. Oh, I do remember there's a like some weird history with that show now. There's I don't a remember recording out is, there but... of the actual like lost episode, and it's just it's a fever dream. Yeah, they literally like talked about Wasn't how the, like, the show like super... itself was shutting down. It was very self referential. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and like super cynical. All right, we are twenty percent done. Spyro one. Nice. Wow. Cool. All right, let's go back to the cookie then. All right, Cocoms. You each get to choose a game, and there is that 1% rule for Portrait of Ruin. So let's see what we're playing next. Boss! All right. Uh, what do you guys got? Maniacal, start us off. All right. Uh, I guess there was a game I was playing through recently that I finished not too long ago. That was kind of fun. I'm like, I don't know if you've actually played it on stream. 
Uh, I guess I'll go Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Uh, I don't think we've actually played it on stream. Okay. Good yeah, game. Yeah, I liked it. All right. Meds, what do you got? Um, give me a second. Sure. Just gonna set up the other... The viewer choices in the meanwhile. <clears throat> All right, while Meds is looking, our viewer choices come around. Come to us from Mike Capella. Tiger Brows and Eternal Fire Seal. Mike is asks, is says, let's try this again. The same game I have for game clearing and power trip. Quake 2 for PC. Tiger Browse asks for Deep Rock Galactic on Steam. And Eternal Fire Seal asks for Metal Arms Glitch in the System for PS2. Didn't know I had that for PS2. I thought I had that for GameCube only. Uh, yeah, I think that actually is the case. Oh well, I have it either way. What do you got, Meds? So, I have a question. Okay. If I were to request uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, would you want to do Light versus Dark? Is the online still running for that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Fuck yeah. All right, Hell if I remember how to play the game, but sure. <laughs> I'm sure I can grab a couple people to make a full lobby, too. And All if right. not, then uh, they have computers. Okay. Kid Icarus Uprising for 3DS. All right, our full list so far. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Kid Icarus Uprising, Quake 2, Deep Rock Galactic, Metal Arms Glitch in the System, and the following three games. All right, I, yeah, three games. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Save me Mr. Taco or Mr. Taco for the Switch. I think this is not the... Because there's a this game had a weird setup where... The people who published it wouldn't let them patch it to add more content. So then there was a definitive edition they had to put out after their license expired. There's like a whole weird story about this. This is the pre-updated version. Game number two. Golf. For Game Boy. <coughs> golf. Golf. And why is everyone yelling at me? <laughs> they want you to remember the one percent. Do you mean the first game I said in the list I just read out? <laughs> yeah, that that one. <laughs> Did you remember it, Did guys? Remember it's it? literally the first thing I read on the list. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> just had to make sure. Yeah, we should we should have to check. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> And last but not least, Ridge Racer 64 for N64. Ridge Racer. <laughs> Remember that stupid fucking PS3 reveal? Oh, I still love it. It's Ridge Racer. And then the one guy goes, woo. It's the woo that really <laughs> sells it on that. <laughs> woo. <laughs> All right. We got our games. Let's do it. Let's see what we're playing next. Alright, pulls up. Give it a couple seconds to get some results. And then currently in the lead, we have... Absolutely nothing. Alright. We're free. Stream's over. There we go. Kid Icarus Uprising and... It looks like uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin are going to be fighting out the entire time. So DS versus 3DS. Portrait of Ruin currently in the lead. 91 votes. 27% of the votes. 89 votes for Kid Icarus Uprising. 26%. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, 63 votes, 16%. Deep Rock Galactic, 31 votes, 7%. Golf, 29, Nick, that 30 votes, 6%. Quake 2, 19 votes, 4%. Ridge Racer, 64, 16 votes, 3%. Metal Arms Glitch in the System, 12 votes, 2%. And Saving Mr. Taco. I know it's Taco, I just, I, it's more entertaining to say Taco. 8 votes, 1%. 520 votes clock so far. Portrait of Ruin beats 
Kidderk is up rising currently 173 to 153. Still pretty close. Let's see what happens. Stop! One minute. I actually really want that, uh, that uh, Kidderk Chris if I'm not, oh my God, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Kidderk sounds real fun there, yeah. Problem is, I just do not remember how to play Kid Icarus. So it's just gonna be like, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, th it's a good thing it'd be team based then, at least. Yes, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's why I like Light versus Dark over Free for All, because like being part of a team is fun. All right. Until you become Pit, and then you're like, oh, run away! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this weapon. <laughs> Next up on the on the community choices, we got Mad the Sane, Max Stream three seven nine, and Deep Dragon. A Deep choice. All right, so it looks like right now uh, it is still Portrait of Ruin, but Kid Icarus Uprising is in 1% rule range. So let's see what happens here now. It's behind by five votes. It could still snipe it, but it's... Actually, it's down to two votes now. Red is Castlevania, yellow is Kid Icarus. Oh, it's a tie! Oh my god, it stole it. Yeah, it stole go. it. After the <laughs> buzzer, tied at the buzzer, passed it after it. Kid Icarus Uprising is the winner. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin yet again is a 1% rule for the next round. Cupids, you're getting I'm your points worth stuff. at least. Oh, All right. Well, that's what's next then. So let's drop some eggs. Italian Enzo 22, Captain Joe, Gokai, Afro Blade Master, and Grabobly. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. Shout out to Grab Grabobly gifting a sub to have an egg. My Way Von Karma for 33. Assel, uh, is it or Assel? Assel Adelaide for 29. Cosplayer Dork for 19. Cool Al for 68. Nards of Doom for 57. Penguin Gamer 36 for 9, Albino Shamrock for 63, Random All Ryu for 29, K-Head for 103, Joey Gatorman for 72, Moist Crunchy Potato for 21, uh, YNT Sire, Yin Sire for 3, Game and Ape for 62, The Crazy Crabs, sorry, That Crazy Crabs for 12, and Tridale for 5. alongside uh, Dijon Ketchup for 32. Thanks for seven folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Is there anything in the carton this time? No, wow. Quiet night tonight in, in the eggs. You will yeah. give me an egg nice shot. We're gonna go to break. When we come back, Kid Icarus Uprising on 3DS. See you guys in a bit. I'm gonna need your DS friend code, by the way, John. Uh, I think we both have to put each other's in for the 3DS. Yeah, it's don't. gonna be this. It's gonna be the streaming one, so it's actually gonna be a different code. So I was gonna say you probably already okay. had it, but no, you won't. Uh, sure, let me go. Get no, it. I don't even have your 3DS code in anyway. I don't oh, think. Weird, I thought you did. Either way, let me go get a drink, use the washroom, all that jazz, and I'll give. It, I'll be back with the code. Okie dokie. What's my favorite cheese memory? Uh, whenever Maniacal asked what somebody else's favorite cheese memory was, because what kind of question is that?
childhood cartoon or game you now hate? Does it count if I hated it before? Because I hate the original Paperboy. I'm so bad. That's the one game I will never be good at for some reason. It's such a simple game. I had it on the Sega Genesis, and I am terrible at it. I don't know why. Paperboy is a poorly designed game. I wouldn't go that far. It's not bad. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Oh, I'm no stranger to old games being hard. I regularly play Battletoads. I love Battletoads, but I will never beat Paperboy. <laughs> I've, I've played a little bit of Paperboy, but I remember being bad at it. One memory I have actually is... Paperboy 2, I'm like, okay, nobody's good at this game, right? Because that was on Arcade Pit. And I'm like, I'm gonna give it to the other team. I gave it to the one guy who actually knew Paperboy 2. I'm like, motherfucker, why? <laughs> That's like, incredible. <laughs> it's just like, why? <laughs> what is my luck? <laughs> my guy who hurt you, Paperboy! I thought I made that very clear! <laughs> he threw the paper at Med's head, and then Med's got a terrible, terrible paper cut. He bled for five minutes. Dude, speaking of Battletoads, actually, I still gotta, like, play Arcade. That game looks so fun. Arcade's fun. It, it's unfair, but if you play it without having to spend money, it's a good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I played a little bit of it on, like, a friend's uh, Xbox and their, like, Rare Replay, but that was about it. Yeah. We were talking about doing Battletoads, like, a whole Battletoads thing recently. We gotta, like, actually put that to action. There's a lot of things we've been talking about we gotta put into action, dude. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. But Balto's is one of those. I'd be... Uh, mm, never mind, actually. I don't know if they've messaged you about that yet. You know, I think of a John's, like... Battletoads race, and I wanted to do something similar once, where I wanted to do, like, an Infinite Lives Bubsy race with people. <laughs> but nobody has agreed to it, so... Uh, I wonder <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would take nearly as long either. I mean, wouldn't know. It's just more annoying, I think. I keep pulling for another Battletoads race, but nobody wants to do it because it, everyone knows it would be a race between me and Khead. Yeah, say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you two gotta eventually beat that co-op in Macfest. It's been a bit. Well, I mean, we gotta time. go back. We've That's been true. getting one level farther each year we do it. I say, because I remember you guys getting to, like, what, Klinger Winger? Uh, no, Terra Tubes. That's Klinger Winger is Terra legitimately Tubes. impossible on NTSC consoles. Like, it, it is actually impossible because of how fast the game runs. Mm hmm So, what, then that's just, like, y'all's, like, game clear at that point? Or you can just, Well, like... no, you have to... What you have to do is second player has to get a game over. First player clears the level. Second player comes in on the last level. Ah, Which okay. means we have to have another continue. Mmm, I see, okay. Uh, you'll maybe do it eventually. I don't know, man. That's a hard ask. Because, like, I the thing about know. Battletoads is it's easier one player. Because the second player gets in the way, not because of, like, the combat, but because of, like, the vertical platforming. Like, we, we play the game at different speeds. Mm -hmm. So it makes it so hard to have to sync up with one another. You have to account for each other, basically. Yeah, it's really hard. You cannot skip Klinger Winger. So, yeah, I know you can skip, like, uh, Krokemeyer's Inferno, or... No, no, no. What are the Inferno? Krokemeyer's Inferno. Volkmeyer, yes. Volkmeyer. So, yeah, Volkmeyer you can skip. Uh, snakes you can skip. You can skip the Wookie Hole. Mm -hmm. You can skip the Sarlacc Pit. You can skip Surf City. That's it. <sighs> Disco Inferno. Quacksire Inferno. <laughs> what a different level that would be. Just a bunch of quagsires everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 
Just one looming in the background while everything's on fire. <clears throat> Just... Uh... What a... What a weird Pokemon Quagsire is. It's just this weird, like, blue creature. And I think that's what's so great about it. <laughs> you could say that about, like, every Pokemon, except, like, a different color. I guess so, <laughs> yeah. But, like, Quagsire isn't even an animal. It's just, like, a thing. I don't even know if it's supposed to be based on a real animal. Yes, it is. What, then? <laughs> Tell me. I don't know the, the type <laughs> of animal it is. I'm not an animalologist. That's called a zoologist, I think. No, it's not. It's pronounced zoologist, idiot. There's oh, yeah. Two o. No, a zoologist is an expert on Zoe 101. You're right. Man, will they or won't they? Am I right? I know. I don't know anything about that show. <laughs> I just remember there was like one bit where a character's just like, oh man, uh, it's my time of the year or something. And the other character's like, year? It's the only thing I remember from that show. <laughs> I feel like the next Mario Kart 8 tracks that we're seeing, uh... More tour stuff, for sure. Mm-hmm, more tour stuff. Probably... There's to, there tend to be at least, like, one or two fan favorites for each, like, I guess, pack. Assumedly. We'll see, because we've only had one so far. When is the next pack even dropping? We don't know. I assume sometime yeah. around, like, June. At least, we may see an announcement sometime in June, whenever the next Direct is. Yeah, I have a feeling it'll be on the next Direct for sure. Be like, oh, it's coming out tomorrow or something. I honestly don't care what comes. I, I know I'm going to enjoy it regardless. Same. What, what it's more Mario Kart. Well, then I'm going to sue Nintendo. Good luck. Thank you. I believe in you. Man, people talk about Maple Treeway. I never really liked Maple Treeway, personally. You're stupid. I don't know. It was I don't know. Did you say that? I was never a big fan of it. I never really got the hype. Yeah, it was Canadian. Daisy it Cooper. was all right. <laughs> As a, you live in Canada. You're surrounded by that, like, like maple trees all Mushrooms the time. Mushrooms fall out of trees all the time here. <laughs> do they help you grow bigger? Like, you know, your mushrooms, you grow big and strong? Where do you think Rosa John came from? I went out for a walk one day, came back, and it was just like, oh, shit. Was she, like, <laughs> straight back? Like, you just eat the mushrooms back. off the floor that you find walking. <laughs> oh, boy. It was <laughs> moving towards me. It had eyes, and I had a car with me. <laughs> yeah. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Did you say you had a car with you? Like, you have it on a leash? You're walking your car? <laughs> I was ghost riding the whip. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I see. Man, this isn't the lore I thought happened. <laughs> this is way more interesting. <laughs> All right, Rocky, take your time. <laughs> Crytoxin says, a humorous message. If evolution really works, how come mothers still only have two hands? I feel like spreading some positivity after spending two days picking a bike chain my dad gave me and didn't have the combination for. 10,000 combinations. Oh, my God. Did you succeed? <laughs> Gonna take that as a no, but good luck, Crytoxin. Crazy Crash 546 says, uh, John, answer me this. In the Banjo Kazooie LP, how long did it take Emil to realize that uh, uh, that he completely for foregoed World 3? Uh. I mean, we told him an episode or two ago. What is what is today's episode? Oh, yeah, he just he just went to World 5. Okay. Um, yeah, we told him in... Uh, oh, and in today's episode? We told him in the Mr. Vile episode, too. I think he just ignored us or forgot. 
I am seeing some incredible art pieces so far. <laughs> There's some great stuff. I definitely laughed out loud at one of them. For Queen Nira, uh, since it's hockey night, take a cow. Also, this moment from the Rangers versus Penguins game last night is pure gold as well. Oh no, what happened here? I don't know if I can show this on stream because it's NHL related. I might be able to drop it in chat. Oh, it's a gif, never mind. Alright, that's pretty good. Hang on, let me oh I can't I can't make it bigger, unfortunately, so you're gonna see the the trending topics. I apologize, but it looks like it's pretty clean tonight. But uh this is kinda great. Um Zvanajad looks at the tablet to see his breakaway miss and Creator just throws it away. Just watch this. Like look at the tablet. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Just get it out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit out of here. You don't need that. Get that uh, weak shit out. God, I love playoffs. Playoff hockey's oh. always so entertaining. Thank you, Queen Nero, for that. Frosty the Dragon says, Well, I'm going to try this cow lotto thing. Also, it's my birthday, too, so I'm stealing some luck. Happy birthday, Frosty. A lot of birthdays today. Dragon Pit says, Here, have a birthday, cow. Okay, I know it's not yours or your sister's birthday, but I'm sure it's someone's birthday somewhere. Yeah, it's Frosty's. And a number of other people from tonight. Thank you, Dragon Pit. And Wake Up says, <laughs> God damn it. Wake up! Grab much for a little makeup! How does there's a way to fit this big? Why would you leave the keys on the table? Here you go, create another table! You want to! And so on. That's his. That's his fast and as clear as I can say the lyrics from Chop Suey. What if you just went for pure speed? Didn't care about accuracy. Ah! Done. That was crazy. I know. So impressive. Wow. Serge is going to hire me for the reboot of the van now just for that. They call it System of Damn Speed Edition. <laughs> BML42. Fun fact. Anthony Del Rio and uh, Ali... Yeah, Ali Hillis, the VAs of Pitt and Palatina, respectively, hosted a Q&A stream a few months back for Kid Icarus Uprising's 10th anniversary, where they even mentioned if Nintendo did call them back to voice another Kid Icarus game, they would be more than happy to do it. Hell yeah, they both did a great job. Hell yeah. Cartoxin says, more positivity. The entire 2022 graduating class of a Texas college had their student debt paid off by an anonymous donor. Nice. And oh, wow. Fur1001 says, Cow Lotto? Sure, why not? All right, with that, let's go to Art Block. Art Block starts right here. Oh, Buru was going a little slow for a second there. There we go. Art Block starts right here. Who's my favorite character in Kid Icarus? All. I don't think there's Good any answer. character I hate in that game. No, Pyron was definitely my favorite for a long time, too, but I think... Pyron's incredible. Pyron's so great. Good. Hades is great. Medusa's great. Palutena is great. Pit's great. Pitu's great. Is it Magus is great? I don't I think really there's a character in that game I hate. Maybe. There's some kind of. Oh shit! What's her name? Play the door. little girl that you have to play as in that one chapter for three minutes. Terrible experience. Greedy's probably the character I, I like the least, and even then, I wouldn't really say I hate her. Because she's definitely got some great moments. She's like, a, she's like a 7 while everyone else is like a 12. Yeah, sounds about right. And even then, I think 7's being like a bit too mean-spirited. She's definitely better than that. Uh, Alright, art block. Our block starts here with a dot 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 from Ditto. Trying to come up with a story to go along with Chugga's D&D story to follow up Jonna's D&D story, but so far my head's gone a bit blank, but once I get an idea going, I'll make sure to draw it up. Honestly, I'm only wanting to make uh, Emilius' story so Emil can read these D&D stories with you when he joins up in another Xenoblade stream. I mean, don't force yourself because of that. It's gonna make it not seem as fun for you. Did somebody say Piranha Plant? See, that's why I said Seven's being too low. She's She's got some great moments, even if that's not even in, in Kid Icarus. Thank you, Ditto. And again, don't worry. Just don't force it, and you'll you'll figure it out. Next up, it's a Dagron. 
from Angels in the Window. Since you played Spyro, I wanted to draw you as a dragon. Then I remembered I really cannot draw dragons well, but so I tried anyways. First note, mom is back home. Very tired, but still finally home after two and a half weeks at the hospital. Okay, this is good to hear. Second, on the aspect of names and siblings, both me and my brother have names that start with J. My brother's name is John, in fact. And our last names start with K, so our initials are JK. This means a lot of the time, because of speech text, people will see our initials and think we're just saying just kidding a lot. Oof. Sorry, I can see that happening, though. Thank you, Angels. Appreciate it. Oh, my God. So, yep. Proton Garden, limited soup, salad, and bread grip. <laughs> bread grip. <laughs> bread grip? <laughs> this is the second Olive Garden reference I've made for the stream. <laughs> oh, this kid, there we go. There's the first. It's soup, salad, and limited soup, salad, and bread grip. Finally. From 2020, December 13th? What the fuck were we... Oh, obviously, we're talking about Olive Garden. Oh, we were playing I Am Bread. Oh, that's why. So that's why the bread grip, because I Am uh, Bread has a grip meter. Ah, uh, it all makes uh, sense now. It all makes sense. Thank you, Waluigi, for bringing that back. From River Shore. Ooh, cross-stitch. Give me an egg. This is my first Ooh. post of the Buru. However, I've been a lurker in the community for several years. Since the pandemic, I actually picked up some new slash old hobbies, one being hand embroidery. So I thought of a fun project for myself to embroider some of John's emotes. The first one is the Wesker egg. If you want, you can stop reading here. I'm just going to leave the details about stitches below. I'll read it. The egg is fairly simple. It only has three stitches. The first in the back, uh, the back stitches. This was used to make the outline as well as the words. Second stitch is called a satin stitch. That was the main stitch used and the hair, the body, and the glasses. The final stitch is called a straight stitch. This was used for the whites of the glasses. Cool. I'm excited to see like uh, what you're gonna do for all the other ones too. Thank you, River, and welcome to the Buru. Next up is a bagel from Ebot. Hi, so it's been a couple months. The main reason why I've been away is because I have some pretty bad anxiety when it comes to art. This is a small sketch to try and ease me back into doing art. It's bagel. But in the form of the angry cat no banana meme. It was either this or long cat bagel. I may still do long cat bagel sometime. He is a long cat at times. But yes, when it comes to Xenoblade Chronicles, how are you going to handle spoilers on the Buru? I want to play that game, but I'm probably not going to get around to it for a while. I know you allow some spoilers on the Buru once they show up on stream, so I don't know how you're handling it for Xenoblade. It's going to be the same thing. As long as the event has happened on stream, it is okay. But, at the same time, like... Be careful. Like, if there's some, like, dramatic death scene, for example, maybe don't go ahead and draw that. Stuff like that. Just use discretion, essentially, is what I'm asking for. Use some common sense and discretion. I wonder if they're also maybe asking about, like, you know, people posting spoiler stuff in there when others have not played the games themselves. I mean, that's tricky because, like, I have to go along with the idea of the art community is also watching the streams so they can discuss what has happened on the streams. Mm -hmm. This this is the balance, and the same reason I had issues with balancing out the idea of the YouTube comments. Uh, it's just a case of, like, it's weird to not allow discussing things that we have clearly shown on stream. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the community's for the stream. So if it happened on the stream, then I would assume it's fair game for the community. Yeah, essentially, that's, that's so. my logic. I think that's fair. Uh, I do wish the Buru had a way that you could hide pictures if they had a certain tag, though. I wish it had that feature to save you from that, because then that would work. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. I made a Xenoblade spoiler thread in the egg pack as a result of you starting the game, but it's also discussion for the game itself. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. No, that's entirely fair. We should probably do the same on the on the uh, egg farm, too. But uh, we'll probably do that when the second stream happens on Wednesday. But yeah, for the for the art, for the Buru, is like as long as an event's happen in-game, on stream, I think it's fair game. So if you're worried about skipping spoilers, that's tougher at this point, but I don't know how to police that otherwise. Next up, 404 sound. I joined late and have no idea why Spyro has rainbow glasses, but I sure like it. it it's in the game. It was a cheat code you typed in. Mm-hmm. Can't you exclude tags by going dash whatever the tag is? I don't know for sure on our Buru. I know that's a feature for other Burus. I go with Aerith rule if it hasn't happened, stop. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Like, like if it hasn't happened on stream, then don't. 
but I think that's common sense anyways, because that's literally the same rule we're having with the chat, so. Thank you, 404. Next up is some cheese! From DB! Felt inspired to make this three inches equivalent to cheese. Okay, it's only three <laughs> by two inches, but index cards are only so large. Jesus Christ. Why not try it? Using this picture as example, you would go minus cheese. So do search minus cheese? Like that? No, I don't think that, uh... Well, yay, now you can't see anything. Problem solved. Finally. I think I might have to look into this. forgotten about cheese. Alright, well, we'll figure something out. Either way, next up, from Noir. Scared or pogging breadsticks? Blue Fruit Loop salad. God, no! Stop with the Blue Fruit Loop! <laughs> and soup. From Noir, here at Proton Garden, we have unlimited pogging breadsticks, Blue Fruit Loop salad, and soup. They, they, they do look a little horrified. I definitely think that's more scared than pogging for sure. Jesus. Thanks, Noir. Next up. From X Universe, here's Thor. Ah, yes, Thor, my favorite dragon thunder god from Avengers Reignited. Beautiful. So, what's the context for Blue, Flo Blue Fruit Loops again? Uh, I said I find Brew. Brew. I can't even say it. Blue Fruit Loops disgusting. They make me actually gag and sick. And everyone kept telling me. They don't have any flavor added to them. But I said, no, I, don't, I taste the flavor. So people are like, oh, it must be the blue dye in them, maybe. So maybe I have an allergic reaction to the blue dye they use in Fruit Loops. But every time Fruit Loops, blue Fruit Loops happen, they make me sick, so I can't eat Fruit Loops. I know in, I think in the States, they're a standard flavor and color, but like they aren't in Canada. They're like a special time uh, color up here. So every time that happens, I'm like, yep, not eating Fruit Loops for this uh, this period of time. Real quick, uh, Tomoyo's saying that apparently you can blacklist tags in your account options. Oh, okay. Oh. I can confirm the minus button can work on the Proton Brewer, but only if you're already searching a tag. For example, oh, equals cheese plus minus bagel. Ah, there you go. So yeah, apparently if you go into your, I guess my account in this case, uh, so it's in, is it in, like, my profile? I don't know if I should be showing this on uh, screen. I don't know, they, they shared a direct link to it. I was sharing about the, uh, asking about the Xenoblade Chronicle stuff because I want to see the later stuff blind, but I didn't want to have to race through the game to make sure I see that stuff myself. But I know changing the rules for one game alone might make things too complicated. I think it's too excessive. We have, we have to, unfortunately, make some sacrifices, so... I think it's, as long as this happened on stream, it's fair game to discuss. But, if you can just mute some tags, that may just save you some trouble. So I'm going to check this off stream, because I don't know if there's anything popping up I want you guys to see on the admin account, but we'll, we'll double check. Next up. Alright. I saw this <laughs> on Twitter and had the laugh. So, what's your favorite memory of cheese? <laughs> Maps. So stupid. We all love cheese, even lactose intolerant people who have stopped eating cheese. So what is your favorite cheese memory, Sean? <laughs> God damn it, Lusty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, good I have a good old slice of pizza with that stringy cheese on it. Good shit. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. And the last picture I have here for our blog is Rosa John working at Olive Garden, giving out unlimited breadsticks. Haven't drawn anything for a John stream in a while. Here's Rosa John in an Olive Garden uniform, giving chat and everybody else some breadsticks. Just throwing them away. There's so many of them. It never ends. Thanks, Mel. My God. There's definitely a whole image and I need it. Oh, if you click on Dan's link, like uh, Lusty did his art piece for me. It's Rose on a, bis on a bicycle, on a motorcycle. <laughs> So we're, we're done our block. Let's fucking leave. Uh, what are we even playing next, Kid Icarus? Let me get this up. I'm going to need that uh, friend code still. Get the game set. Let me turn on the switch. 
Oh yeah, should I make the motorcycle drawing the parent post? I mean, you can- you can just... <laughs> you can just have it linked in the comments, Dan. <laughs> uh, give me a second here. Uh... Do we have a full group first before I, uh, start digging into this? I can get a full group for sure. Okay, because I have a couple people in chat asking if they can join as well, too. Um, they'd have to get my friend code and do that whole thing. So, because how many people do we have? Like, we have, like... The game only supports six players, have... right? Yes. yes, only six players. Make sure also to uh, put a Mantis friend code. As that is a thing with uh, with this. Oh, okay. So yeah. Um, meanwhile, I can let me go back into because people showed me what for sure they were talking about with the Buru. While we're getting this set up here, uh, if you go to your to my account and go to options here, there's a the first option here is tag blacklisting. Any post containing a blacklisted tag will be ignored. So type in the tag you don't want to see here. In that case, Xenoblade Chronicles, and it should remove every post from it. So if there's any specific topic you don't want to see in the Buru, it should just, like, make it, like, look like an image is missing. So that's the setting you're looking for there. And you can also default set your uh, your tags here, apparently. Cool. Oh, yeah, what setting for this game do I need? Is it just top screen, really? Yeah, just top screen. Mm -hmm. did, I have, did I ever set I did. It's 3DS top big, I set up, apparently. Oh, That's my, the one! There's my code, apparently, because I did not press the right button to make it disappear. You're going to have to add my friend code, too, if you didn't. Oh, right, because there's no, like, invite system. Cause yeah, I don't not. know why. Ay, 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 hang on. Much love the 3DS. Where, Where is your code? Uh, It's a little farther up. I can post again. Oh, I see it. Okay. Don't you love old friend codes? The only friends great. I have on this account are Tom Fox, Josh Jepson, Josh Jepson, Jepson, and Chugget. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm part of such an exclusive group. Congratulations. Tom, Chugget, and three Joshes. Yep. <clears throat> the Council of Joshes will see you now. <laughs> friends with meds. Wow. wow! Currently playing Kid Icarus Uprising. Who could have seen that coming? I love how, like, whenever you add somebody, it makes you give them a a nickname, and then whenever they actually get added, they're like, okay, they're just this name now. So what you did before is null and void. It makes no sense. Oh. Right, because I don't have spot pass on this one. It's been so long, I don't know if I'm going to even remember how to play this game correctly, but I'll do my best. God, I love the song. I really hope this game makes it onto the, to the Switch, dude. I mean, I wouldn't mind a new entry, but I, again... A remake that controls proper with two twin stick support? I think that would be excellent. That's kind of what I want more, honestly. I wonder how... Did, does anyone know how the game actually sold? Because I think that would justify them doing it. I think it sold pretty well. I'd have to check sales numbers, but I assume it did well. Ninety five point one percent complete. Nice. What random question, John. Mm -hmm. Did you know that plugging any random headphone cable into the bottom of, of a 3DS makes the audio better? I've tried that, and it's been hit or miss. Um, I'll try again here now. Hang on. Like, this should sound a little better here if you uh, do that. 
I accidentally oh, found that out one day. you're actually right. Oh, yeah. No, I, I accidentally found that out whenever I was fiddling around with my 3DS capture card. I don't know why it d does that. My guess is because it lowers the amount of... Or, like, the quality of the audio coming through the speakers since it can't use it anyway. But whenever you plug in headphones, it takes that little extra power to send it to the headphones. That is good quality. weird. Right? There you go. It's I, fun messing I around. I don't think I did that for this year's Sticker Star stream. I think I did it for last year's, and I couldn't remember there being a difference. Oh, there's definitely a difference. Weird. All right. Do I even remember what the fuck... Uh, What's my power portrait currently as? No, nope, that's okay. I don't remember any of these menus. <laughs> Looks like I currently have Pandora's Claws with poison plus two, running speed plus three, and heart bonus plus one. Not and bad, not bad. The powers I have are uh, health recovery level 4, lightweight level 1, increase movement speed and prevent tiring out in exchange for taking more damage when hit. Tiredlessness level 2, run continuously without tiring. Uh, Mega laser and crisis recovery, which is a solo mode only. At least that's my single player stuff. Far away. Actually, let me look at my gear to make sure that's... Yeah, I was going to say, let me know whenever you want me to make the room. As soon as I make the room, the countdown starts. Yeah. Uh, so in my actual abilities, I got Mega Laser level 4, Burn Attack level 2, Attack inflicts a burn sass on a foe, which causes ongoing damage faster than poison. Heavenly Not Light bad. level 3, Unleash a light that hurts approaching enemies, and Explosive Flame sets off a massive explosion. So very, very aggressive power-up setup. I tend to be pretty aggressive, too. But again, I don't fucking remember how to... <laughs> Tom Fock, right. Jepson, Josh Jeps, Josh Jeps, and chug it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get the room up. Okay. Let's do it. Three sets of the same weapon. I probably was just messing around with powers at that point. Oh, yeah, no, the entire difference is this one has no powers. This one has a couple of, What? I can't even see what's on that. No, I'll go with... Oh, yes, I can. I can just do that. What are the ones on this one? Set 2 has uh, trade-off. Use nearly all health to increase all attributes. The duration depends on how much health you have. Splash that off, mass explosion, heavenly light, and reflect barrier. Creates a barrier that reflects shots. Okay. Interesting set that was. You have to remember how to play this game again? Yeah, I do not remember. Okay, starting to come back to me. Just gotta remember how to move the camera. Sweet, we've got Lobby of Six. All right. Also aim with the face buttons if I feel and so inclined. I think that's actually what I started doing after a while was actually just moving with the face buttons. But obviously this, I, is, this is more accurate. For me, I prefer to aim with the ABXY, which I know is not everyone's personal choice, but that's what I just like. That's what I use for and, the longest time. Mm -hmm. All right, so for teams, we got myself, Montaru, and John on Team Light, and then Team Dark is Maniacal, and then two of my friends, uh, Neo King and No Limit. All right, this is going to be interesting. Well, let's go. Ready? Oops. Going to run my Aquarius Blade set here. I run Beam Claws because I'm sick. I have a lot of sets, dude. Mystery like, bonus to Vine Bow. All right, let's go, team. They can't hear me, but I'm sure they'll recognize my movements. <laughs> <laughs> they have a delay, actually, and I think more about it. People at. Oh, hello. 
If you guys haven't played this multiplayer uh, and own this game, do yourself a favor. It's still up, and at least you can get in a lobby with bots. It's so fun. You still occasionally find people online, though. Hello, Mets. Hi. Thanks for backup, Mets. I need to remember how to play this game. This has been a bit. I don't remember how to turn quickly. I thought there was a quick turn in this. Uh, no quick turn. I think you just like flick the stick really fast. Gotcha. I'm down. Yeah. yeah let me try switching the face oh. buttons. Maybe this will be a bit more from what I remember. Oh boy. Maybe, maybe not fighting the turret is the best idea. I will tell you, Neo King is probably the strongest on the other team. So Neo watch King your is back. very good at this game. He has played a lot. Oh, my time. Oh, God, I don't even know what happened there. Okay. Well, I don't actually know how the actually powers that's happening on them. Oh, fuck. Uh, you can use the D-pad. Yes. My, up or down is my question. Down. I think... Hey. Thank you. Oh yeah, up is zoom in, down is how you use it. Ooh! Oof. I am not doing great, man. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, I wish- my power! Spectator, I would totally suggest a league for this. Dude, this would be so fun if we had a league for it. I think it's just too unapproachable now because you can't buy the game, basically. That's, that's true. That's the downside yeah. to it. Yeah. Oh, I can't see shit again! Hey, if you could politely oh. leave me alone! Ow. So I don't know why I agreed to play against a bunch of people that definitely seem to know the game way better than I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, the teams are pretty balanced. They honestly are. Like, you're doing fine, dude. That was a bomb. That was a waste. Oh, nicely done. I met. Jeez! What happened to Pets me? became Pit! Alright, so, so what for happened? anybody who doesn't know, Pit is the golden snitch. You kill the other team's health bar, and then somebody becomes Pit or Dark Pit, and once you kill them, you end the game. Uh, unfortunately, that means uh oh for me. Right, what right is that weapon you have? I don't know. Strong? Good, good weapon. Strong weapon. Oh no! Why can that's not fair? Stop being invincible. Too bad. Where'd you go? I lost him. Oh, there he is. Bye bye. Oh shit! Oh. I need to jump up here. Ow, fuck. Nope. Alright, New, New King is Dark Pit. Ah, crap. It's like the probably the worst person to have become Dark Pit. Well, no, that means he loses his weapon. He gets a new one, so... Oh, oh another thing real quick He's as with well. an unfamiliar when, weapon. When you have a Pit or a Dark Pit, if, like, let's say the people who are who are or aren't Dark Pit die, the Pit loses uh, health. Okay, yeah, so they do it, lose it health. Okay. health bar. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Us as such. I'm gonna kill you. Where'd you go? Lost him. There he is. I ran away. What? Where? Shit! I lost him. See, I'm on Taru. That's not what I'm looking for. There's no way for you to regain health, is there? Uh, nope. just with health well, recovery I mean, food items. On the floor, but. Where are you? Just gonna throw this in the hope and pray. Ow. Oh my gosh, that food almost went away no. right in front of my face. That regained nothing! Yeah, there you are. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Okay, alright. Well, I'll take 
both of you down. No! <laughs> well, that sounds bad. No, I'm tired! Yes! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. No Limit spawned right next to me and shot a mega laser at me! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had an eggplant bomb, I'm like, okay, I just need to wait for them to stop being invincible. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, oh God, it's a weapon. I did he does. decent. Honestly, yeah, you were the you did really good for your score, dude. Well done. I was gonna say you got first place on the team. My hand is absolutely Five cramped kills. from playing this, though. <laughs> yeah, That'll happen <laughs> sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do I feel like using now? Ooh, I'm feeling my arm set. Oh, that's what that does. I forgot what that one did. That's really strong. I'm glad I equipped it. Uh, no, that last round I was using uh, the Aquarius Blade. Do you know if there are any 3DS emulators that are decently good? I, I haven't heard much about 3DS emulation. Oh, John, you can also hold the R button to... Uh... To, to fast turn, I've realized that, yeah. Okay. I just wish you didn't have to use the fucking D-pad if you're using the buttons to switch between stuff. Because yeah. I have to get away from moving. That's the one downside and why it's probably better to use the stylus. Yeah. Right, let's go. Yeah, the stylus is definitely more precise. Uh, be prepared for mega lasers. <laughs> yeah, our group loves mega lasers. <laughs> Start every life with a mega laser. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can do that too. Dude, there are so many people right here. Back off. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn you fuck. Where's everybody? Where's everybody? Ah, oh, revenge. Oh, damn it. So he's actually David. Oh, right. I forgot about fucking fatigue in this game. Yep. Yeah, so collect all three pieces of the daybreak, you get a instant kill laser. It does not. It has, and the main way it works is it has to be three members of your team. Like each yeah. person can get one part, one person can get two parts. One, well, it, the main thing is that whoever gets daybreak part, daybreak parts last, they get they get to operate the laser. They get the fun part. Mhm. Mm there comes the fun part. Alright, nice. I didn't want to find him again. He spawned right in front of me. Can we talk about how good a soundtrack is, by the way? You got an item Everything dodge about this token? Game. I don't remember that. Dodge token just means you automatically dodge. Nice. Okay, they have two parts of the daybreak. Oh, that's bad. A little bit. If you kill them, they drop it. So right now, Maniacal and Neo King have one. Or I guess it'd be Eric. Daybreak is complete. I think I wasted his shit. <laughs> yeah, you missed. He whiffed. Get him. No. Oh, I do not remember the stamina system in this game, though. not doing as hot on this one. I, I, I have killed, like, nobody. Damn it. I'm becoming pit. Pit. Oh, they gave me a staff! Are you serious? Oh, that sucks. What staff is it? Fuck if I remember. I was gonna say, do you expect him to know? I don't even know. <laughs> the, only stuff, the only stuff I really know is a flintlock staff, because it's the main one I use. It does look like a gun, so I'm gonna assume it's flintlock. That's probably flintlock then. God, my dude. Uh oh, I'm tempura. That's not good. 
Ow. Oh my god, I hate this fucking fatigue system! Ow. I'm on a bouncer! Bounce up! Jesus, there we go. Why is Pit so slow? I don't remember him being that slow. Ah, uh, he, he might be slow on your weapon. Rifle. What? Staffs are really slow. Oh, that's probably why then. Oh, hello. And I'm an eggplant. Dead. Dead. Dang. Dang. Well done. Good game, guys. Oh, I love the footlock stuff, because if I get it right, like the right enough distance with my dash attack, I can even kill someone at full health. It's so good. <laughs> I got one kill that whole round. God, my hand is already cramping playing this. Yeah, I did terrible that time. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't do very hotty. Oh my gosh, Maniacal. Yeah, I know, dude. My fucking volcano arm is great if I can get it going. Back to stylus again. Let's try. I'll try my staff. Let's do it. So there's a way to just like quickly swap your uh, controls. What? Like there's a way to quick quickly swap your controls. I'm seeing with John's menu there. Yeah, that's what I'm going through right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, on the pause. I wish I had the uh, the stand on hand to use that, because that definitely would alleviate some pain. But I don't remember where I put yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can send you mine if you want. No, it's here in the house. It's it's in a <laughs> ritual place. It's just I don't remember Yeah, exactly. I can just overnight it real quick. So, if you get knocked into a hole, by the way, that is also instant death, so be wary yep. of that. Your king is in the middle of getting deleted. Ooh, I got you good with that laser. Ow, ow, ow. I'm rock! Oh, <laughs> shit, I just bounce all over the place, dude. <laughs> Gar, goodbye. Ow, 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 ow. Where's the daybreak? You're not allowed to have that, actually. Is it running or is it just sidestepping that tires you out, or is it both? Running. Uh, both. What? Really running and dodging, I should say. Oh, you, like right? dodging. Yeah, they they both tire you out. I thought you meant just like walking. Like walking doesn't tire you out. Also be wary, I don't know if anybody has this ability, but there is a fake death ability. Uh, so make sure, like, if somebody dies, they drop a, a gravestone. Yeah, I actually used that last round. Oh my, oh my gosh, I lost you. The more I play this, the more I'm like, yeah, I remember loving this game, but Jesus Christ, this control scheme sucks ass. It's my daybreak. And you'll die for it! Oh, I saw that. Where'd you go? I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, I saw it. Saw what? Tell me, tell me what you see. I saw you right here. Oh, I... <laughs> Where'd that daybreak piece go? Did you lose it? Got no, I didn't even get a daybreak. Yes, you did. Did I? Yeah, you stole it. Remember when you said that daybreak piece is mine? I did say that, yes, but I have selective <laughs> memory. Yeah, we've noticed. Bad. Go away, please. <laughs> Shit. No. Oh, that's oh! why I couldn't see because I was turned to stone, too. 
It's a daybreak over there. Oh. Oh, I wanted that grenade. Shit. Oh. Shit. Much well, harder to think about this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why am I tired now? Why are we both tired? Oh, that was perfect. You got tired in the middle of that? Yes. Oh, there's three people around me. <laughs> oh, Maniacal's Dark Pit. How's this club? I hear that music. Go away, go away. <laughs> okay, I, I did. I did. Are you happy now? Not really, actually. I oh my gosh, their whole team is over here. Uh oh. Where the fuck? Guys, they have better defense than us. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I mean, you say that, but I can uh -huh. definitely see Maniacal standing right in front of me. Yeah, and uh, what about it? Ow. Out. Oh shit, come on game. Ah, fuck. I saw that! Where'd you go? You're here somewhere! There you are! <laughs> Alright, that's fine. He's, he's a touch away from death. No, I'm not. Where are you at? Oh, my Laser! God. Wouldn't that have been cool if that killed though? Nope. Where'd he go? I lost him. Holy shit! Oh, there he is! See, you don't see anything. Fuck. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh my god, that actually hurts to play. Fuck. I got too used to the bigger 3DSs, so I'm playing on the small model. Oh, oh yeah. That'll do it, dude. You did really good in that game, though. Yeah, you got the kill and everything. Yeah. You know the one I sent you? Yeah, Pop, I, I haven't set it up yet, though. I actually found it when I was doing the storage cleaning. But it's a Katsu Kitty model, which means I have to do the whole rigmarole for that. Oh, Katsu Kitty. Yeah. Uh... But he's right. I should just move over to that at this point, because I keep complaining about the size of this thing half the time. Hmm. Let's go. That's an HDMI-based capture card, right? Go bow. Uh, I don't think it is. I think it just uses its own special app that has, like, a code requirement, from what I remember. Oh, interesting. Light versus Dark Moon. Oh, wow. 7% voted for Light Side on that prediction, and they got a lot of eggs out of that. Almost 14 eggs out of it. Good! Every, everyone Have they faith! Put in. Faith well, is look, good. Look, the re I get the reason for it. Kind of, like, um... Uh, Dark Team's kind of proved their point at this point, especially with how bad I played in that second game, but... Yeah, but you've been first on our team in both the other games. Yes. Not oh this game, gosh, though. I, I think every even game it. is my bad game. Ow. Boom Spear? Ow, Boom Spear. Boom Shakalaka. Boom Spear is actually really good. It, that's the one that creates a big tornado, right? No, that's the one that you throw the spear and it goes boom. Oh, okay, gotcha. Glad you it is, it that is for in the me. name. I mean, it, yes. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, got this. Oh, fuck, this is a bad time for this. Dude, I couldn't get off the freaking ledge! I would've killed you! God, I hate this control scheme. Switching back to buttons, because it's just killing my hands. Gosh. Nice. Yeah, I think we're losing the bomb. There's so much going on, I can't tell half the time when I'm actually doing something of value. <laughs> There's a lot happening in this game. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that to kill. Oh, how did that whiff? Damn it. Here we 
Here we come and pit! Uh oh. I got another This is a hard one too, because there's not a lot of places to hide. You can go on top of the tower, but you know, good luck staying up there for too long. I'm getting kills now, but it's a little late. <laughs> They were so strong that first half of the game. Dang. Every time I'm in pit, I'm in fucking using a fucking staff. They give you the staff again? That's the worst. Oh. Thank you. I'm, I'm an idiot. I just blew up an explosion gravestone in front of myself. <laughs> oh yeah, you can shoot the gravestones and they explode, if you didn't know. I did not, thank you. But that would explain also where I've been getting some damage from. Take that. Yeah, it, it'll still hurt you, but it it hurts them pretty bad if you can get them. Why is it not using my laser? I have a missability, fuck off, meds. <laughs> so did I. Oh, you're not allowed to have that. John is on a rampage. I'm That's trying really to, helpful, at least. Where's Neo? Can go. He's up there. He turned invisible. No, he didn't. Just kidding. I lied. In your daybreak. Okay, no, he did. He oh, he's warping. That's what's happening. Run. Why? That's not. Stop. Keep running. Jesus Christ, we're dead. Dang it. Dang. Uh, we we caught up though. You guys are. I wouldn't really call that catching up. He had full health. Oh, I, I mean, did you see the round. health bar whenever we, uh, whenever you first became Pit? They had a lot of health. Nick got that one. And I got Guardian Orbit Towers. <laughs> Dude, I <they> suck. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I got food! If we're playing this again, I'm playing only one more because my hand fucking hurts playing this. I was gonna say it's up to you, man. All right, they left. Or no, they're back. Never mind. I don't have them there. I think they're just swapping out. Oh. Yeah, they were swapping. I think. Uh, one last set then, I guess. Let's go. Got my claws. So one more. Yeah, we'll do one more. Okay, cool. sounds good. Because I don't get to play this very often. Mm hmm. It's a real fun game, but I also understand the strain on your hands for it. Oh, this map. Yeah, maybe okay. if you get the other DS set up, we can uh, try it again, and hopefully it'll be a little easier. I mean, I just mm -hmm. think this game, the control scheme that they kind of were forced with, is not good for what they wanted. This is why I want this on, like, a Switch, because this with, like, this twin would, sticks would this be This would play excellent. fantastically with, you know, two sticks. A bit, or, like, even, like, a Splatoon-style control. Something a bit more natural I think the than like, ti style like is a, what would go a monster on a cross or claw setup. Yeah. I'm honestly one of the outliers. I I really like how it controls because it allows for like really quick camera movements. But I mean, you have to be built to be able to handle the 3DS like that. So I get where the complaints come in. I mean, like when I was I, when I was playing this when it was new, sure, because like I was actually somewhat used to it. But also, yeah, <laughs> Tar was how many years you, ago at this point? <laughs> oh, you could uh, I think it came out 2011. Is that daybreak? Is that you, John? I've got a daybreak. Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Wait, please. <laughs> Mega laser to your face off the grind rail. <laughs> It's the worst because you can't even move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta take it. But now, like, on Meta Stream, we would play this for, like, hours sometimes. Just have whole, like, nights get dedicated to it. And it was, it, it's super fun. Like, when we never really actually do those. <laughs> the worst night I could think of recently was the night where everybody's, like, circle pads broke because a lot of our rubbers came off our circle pads like, the Jesus, last time we did it. Jesus, really? Yeah, my, my 3DS actually uh, is missing a lot of its rubber. What, ironically, has actually made the circle pad better. Yeah, actually, my, my rubber fell off. Like, the glue just wore out under it. I, I have the circle mine. pad somewhere. And I was looking for, like, replacement circle pads. But I, uh, 
those are kind of hard to find, like actual ones, because a lot of the ones that you find that are aftermarket are like smaller. Oh, That's I'm so weird. glad you did not see that. John, you were next to a daybreak, dude. <laughs> like, quickly stole that from you. Uh, I have no idea. I could not see it. I was kind of busy with everything else. Mm hmm. Oh, that's rude! That's rude! Stop being mean! Oh, it's been tempurad. About to fillet him. He's invincible. I can't fillet him. It's a bill man. God, what just happened? Oh my god! Oh, there goes my part. Don't do that, you moron. Okay. Oh, fuck! No, I need that. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> there was a black <laughs> hole on the field. It got us. This is so close, dude. Where'd he go? Ah. Huh. Okay, I got Neo King. Dude, why did you throw it that way, you idiot? What's this thing? I am stuck dodging. Why did it not drop my item? I use so cut. happening. I am hit. Ow. Okay, I might be able to use Boy. this. Hey. And nope, not quite. One more for our team. There we go. Dark pit's in. on pit pit you suck you threw that at the completely wrong angle you idiot i had a trap for him with an x-bomb but he whiffed oh god ow <laughs> this fucking whirlwind there we go He's almost dead. Oh, Although so like, am I. Almost you guys dead. Are like actually bad even right now. Song. <laughs> where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Most of the time, we're not gonna see the lava stage because, like, in the lava stage, you can just knock someone off and just they just die instantly. Yeah. That includes the pits too. You're back in, coach. There we go. I to can't glide. run for very much longer. We need to end this now. Your meds. No, 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 no! Come on! You get your whitely little He's ass back here. He's almost dead! Get him! Please! He's just riding, riding the rails! He's riding the rails! Where is he? <laughs> get him! Oh, he need help! Yes. <laughs> oh, he was so close. That was so close! Oof. Got it. Oh. That was so close, dude. That was such a good ender. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. What a game. That was a good one. Man, honestly, John, you're doing great for your points, dude. Like, legitimately. Yeah. You're top of the team for the most part. Uh, it's because I have a good setup to go back to. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, though, my hand is absolutely killing me, though. I feel you. It was fun games, though. Ironically, yeah. the capture card has like a little like panel on the back that makes it a little bit like thicker, and that actually makes it better overall for holding and right? playing this. Defeat a hundred opponents in together mode. <laughs> you did it. Power interference level three. I guess I was pretty close on that then. So let's see. I got all the first card done. The second card I'm missing twenty three. And the final card, I'm missing more than half. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because the, the fucking Final Cards shit like, destroy 220 enemies and clear this chapter on Intensity 9. Clear this yeah. chapter using a bow, Intensity 9. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a thing. The Hades treasure hunts kind of sucks, dude. They're, they're, they're really annoying, some of those. One of the worst Although ones I, I think, think I... is... Oh, go ahead. I, I was going to say, one of the worst ones I can think of is I think there's one that's like, do the entire Lightning Chariot chapter, uh, like, you know, on 9.0 which is long, <laughs> so, you know, don't mess up. Wasn't there a little stand for 3DS that could be used for this game? Yes, they did come with one. That was to alleviate the hand cramps that eventually come from playing this. Oh, God, you have to be chapters like getting hits. That's a thing, too. Hades board has a clear all stages on nine. God, I fucking... I want to say I know somebody who's done everything. I think I, Led I has thought Emil did everything game. for his LP. Oh, I did he? I don't know. Everything, did he? I thought he did. I thought he came pretty damn close if he didn't. I never got to finish it. It's been a I'm while. A bad fan. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. saying he did not. He didn't. No, never mind. Okay. Yeah, because that would be a grind to do that for the entire playthrough. All right, let's go to the cookie. Oh, my, oh, my hand recovers. Wrong one. Boss! Uh, This is round three, right? I do believe. Yes. Okay. One percent rule again back in play. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Strawberry Cupid's getting their money's worth. Uh, Meds, that was your choice, right? So you're sitting out this round. Yes. Maniacal, what do you got? Um. Hmm. Get back to me. Okay. Me, I, I'll think about something. Let me get back. Right, viewer that. choices this time around. Mad the same. Max Stream three seven nine and Deef Dragon. Mad the Sane asks for Freedom Planet 2. If it's not released yet, Freedom Planet 1 with voices. Well, I don't know why you thought well, in well. four months Freedom Planet 1 would come out. Or Freedom Planet 2, but yeah. Freedom Planet 1 on Steam. <laughs> that was a brave that was a brave call on that one, Mad. Max Stream 379 has asked for Kirby Mass Attack for the DS. And Deef Dragon, unsurprisingly, has asked for Outer Wilds. Also on Steam. Got anything, Michael? Uh, yeah, sure. So, I figure why not go for a game that has a very fun multiplayer to it that sometimes can be a little broken, but I think is still legitimately really fun. So I'm going to ask for Team Sonic Racing on the Switch. Okay. <laughs> Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, Team Sonic Racing, Freedom Planet 1, Kirby Mass Attack, and the Outer... Or sorry, Outer Wilds. No the there. Uh, on top of the following three games. Game number one. Street Fighter 2010, the final fight for the NES. Starring a character neither from Street Fighter or Final Fight. Although technically they say it's Ken. Game number two. Ha! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Zelda the Wand of Gamelon for the CDI. Oh, I still have to compete against that. <laughs> and last but not least. Space Invaders for the Game Boy Color. Let's go! Space Invaders Game Boy Color! That's what I'm talking about. I mean, let's, let's be real. We know what's happening, but I've been surprised before. Let's see what's happening. Chat. Imagine, one of the most broken fucking Switch games you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, was the bot not set up for that one? Uh, must have turned off the bot settings. Okay, that's weird. Well, in that case... Hmm, my wrist is all grindy and chunky now. Good, good. Good. Currently in the lead. Oh, wow, actually, it is not Wanda Gamelon. It's currently Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. It is still trying. Still trying. Really? Passionate huh. fan base. 
125 no votes, 35% of the vote. Zelda the Wanna Gamble on in second place, though. 104 votes, 27% of the vote. Team Sonic Racing, 68 votes, 17%. Kirby Mass Attack, 25 and 6%. Freedom Planet, 23 and 5%. Outer Wilds, 15 and 3%. Space Invaders, 12 votes and 2%. And Street Fighter 2010, The Final Fight, 5 votes, 1%. 466 votes clock so far. 185 votes for Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. 136 for Zelda The Wanted Gamelon. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'm surprised the support on Castlevania. I, will, I mean, to be fair, like I've said, it is my favorite of the DS Castlevanias. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but I will admit, I am impressed that it's pulled off, not only has it pulled off two 1% rules in a row, that it is beating the Wand of Gamelon of all I mean, games. You, did you do Wand of Gamelon for game clearing? Yes. Maybe that's why? Maybe, but that was also, we're talking, like, we're talking two years ago at least, that was the alphabet years. I suppose so. Yeah, that's when you learn how to like. That's it. That's when you learn your alphabet. That makes it sound like you were a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> it was my alphabet years. I really wanted to do the alphabet right then. My God, you two. All right, two hundred four to one fifty-six. The gap's actually increased. So not even a one percent rule for Wanda Gamelon. This is very, very clearly a win for Castlevania: Portrait of Ruin. There you go. All right, mm -hmm. handedly won it over. Let's, I guess we already got the DS out, so this makes it easy. Castlevania's up next. Boss. I just want to point out, uh, I saw my file when I was closing the game out, that my completion rate is 96.9%. Nice. Happy Proud Hero Chow and Gokai Orange, thank you for... <laughs> I just saw the account Gokai gave this up to. My rubber broke. Uh, Portal Beard for 28. Fur, 1001 for 7. Dawn of Fire for 57. Looking at Legend for 42. It's Andrew for 38. Happy Powered Hero Chow for 41. Uh, Alright, Isania or Ishania? Ishnia for 27, and James KT for 39. Thanks for seven, folks. Your, I almost said survey. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Okay, there we go. Some actual eggs in the cart now. From Gokai, same voice actor, Kid Icarus edition. Welcome to my underworld, pretty fat. You too, pretty valentine. So this little angel took down Big Bad Medusa all by himself. What an accomplishment. Goodness, you should put this on your resume. Don't you just love the name? Come, Quat. <laughs> it's what I named my Pekingese. Come, Quat? No, silly. That would be redundant. Just Quat. Let me guess. When I call him, <laughs> I feel fruity all over. Wow. Wow. He was in that's Leisure Suit Larry of all games. Damn. Yeah, that's voice acting for you, dude. And Cole with Cheesy Moment. Skip to 32. Cole, did I see an oven? Did you forget we're not doing food eggs anymore? Bullshit. We're gonna break when we come back. When we come back, we'll be playing Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. I'll see you guys in a bit. Shaking my head right now.
So, chat, you guys got any questions for us? Why is milk so good? Uh, so that's an interesting thing, actually, with milk, because... Um, apparently your body isn't always, like, so accepting of it. Like, apparently it's natural, like... What is it? Uh... <sighs> what is it, like... After a while, like, apparently it's natural for, like, people to forget, like... Uh, I forget, what am I trying to say here? It, it's some weird stuff with, like, milk and lactose and all that. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Thank you. For that expert analysis! I don't know, dude, I'm blanking real hard. All I know is that there's some kind of study where, we're like, uh... Apparently your body is supposed to not actually like milk after a while. And apparently lactose intolerance is normal. But that isn't always the case for some people. It's weird. Also, Limit. <laughs> yeah, so... Limit reminded me, uh... Yeah, I got Cosmos in Xenoblade 2 early. Uh... The other day. Th thanks, Major Mooch, for that one. <laughs> give me that... Give me that luck. Oh, favorite show you've seen recently. So I've actually been going through Breaking Bad as of recently with some friends. We got to season three, episode three last night, actually. Uh, IFT is the name of the episode for those who know the series. Uh, it's it's been great so far. I've been really enjoying it. I've not seen the show before. I've seen the second half of the show. Why only the second half? Because that's what I walked in on, and then I just sat down, and then I'm like, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen almost exactly the back half of the show. Mm-hmm. So I also know, like, Better Call Saul is a thing right now as well, uh, the, that TV show. Uh, which is, like, I guess, same universe, which I'll probably go through that eventually as well with friends. Just, you know, a lot to catch up on. I guess I've also been watching Spy X Family. Uh, I think there's a new episode out today, actually, I've not watched yet. Uh, but I've also been going through that. That's about all I've been going through as of recently. Yes, I have seen Bad. That is it. You saw Bad when it was still intact. Yes. Mm. Bad. The Michael Jackson album right next to the, uh... <laughs> Right next to the Weird Al album, even worse. <laughs> Dude, those are great viewing experiences, let me tell you. <laughs> you pop it into a DVD player and you see the thing bounce back and forth while you hear some good music? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, honestly, Spike's family is just really wholesome. That's why I've liked it a lot so far. It's the first anime I've really been kind of going through weekly in a very long time. The last thing I can think of that I was doing that with was part six of JoJo before Netflix was like, hey, what if we would just release 12 episodes like once a year? I'm sure that's a great idea. Thanks, Netflix. Now, like part six already had issues before with people. <laughs> Which is a shame because part six of JoJo is honestly pretty good. I think it just needed a good anime adaptation. And it's a... Uh, it's an adaptation. I um, barely watch shows anymore. I don't have the attention span. Me too. I feel that. Alright. Cupo says, forgot to throw in my birthday bits for luck yesterday, so I'm a yoink more of that luck. Happy belated birthday, Cupo. Hopefully it was a good one. 
BML42 says, As the resident Kid Icarus guy, I have to be the one to say it. When KRS Uprising was finished developing, the main team behind the game disbanded very shortly after. And if that isn't worse, the game's original source code was also lost to time. Meaning, if someone wanted to make another game like Uprising, they would have to start from absolute zero. Which may not be worth it financially for Nintendo, especially if Sakurai refuses to work on it, given his track record with sequels. Okay, didn't know about the lost source code. That is an actual problem. Yeah, I knew Sora but... disbanded. We, that was that's been well known. Like Sora, the, Sora the company exists in the Smash credits, basically just as Sakurai. Yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah, no, not did not know about this lost source code. Games can be rebuilt after losing their source code. Examples being Final Fantasy IX, Kingdom yeah. Hearts One. No, I could have sworn Nine lost its source code too. Did it? I knew Eight did. Eight for sure lost its source code, and that's why they had to remake it, but I swear 9 lost its source code, too. Someone else said Kingdom Hearts maybe. 1 had the same thing happen, so maybe it's just Square yes. just has an issue with this. StarCraft, Warcraft 3, apparently. Spyro? Jesus. Really? Spyro? Huh. Yeah, that's why, like, the 9 uh, re-releases have, like, such a different menu to them. Phazon Farmer says, So Proton Uprising League when? Kappa? Oh my god, I don't think my wrist can handle it. I'm not paying for carpal tunnel coverage for everyone else either. Bleach Bummer says, So had a day at work today. Almost lost my water bottle twice and my debit card once during different times at work. Love how much living in an area that can get over 100 degrees can kill your brain sometimes, but it's all good in the end. Uh, check, check if it's okay to see on stream. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. So, uh, Bleach Bummer runs a, a Pokemon Poke Showdown, uh, like, league as well in our community, and, uh, talking about opening it up as well to followers, not just subs, just like all the other servers are. So, yeah, we can do that if you want, Bleach. Uh, and Xander the Goose says, I just woke up, what I miss? Uh, what do we play tonight? Kid Icarus Uprising, Spyro 1 Reignited... Brave Fencer Musashi. Was that all we've played so far tonight? Because we're about to start yeah. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Yeah, this is our fourth, fourth game of the game. night. Okay. So that's what you missed. Let's hop over to Art Block, which has only got four pieces in it, so it should go pretty smooth. And we're starting... God damn it, I did it again. Uh, and it should start... I keep clicking on Discord instead of clicking on OBS. I don't know why. They're both round icons, but one is black with a red dot on it. Oh, and one is purple with a red dot on it. They both have red dots, and that's what's getting my peripheral vision. Now it makes sense. Either way. Here's a candle. Yankee candle. Memory of cheese. <laughs> Abby Miller. For some reason, memory of cheese sounded like a Yankee candle sent to me, so I quickly threw together a fake one. Remember your cheese. I hate how yellow it is. <laughs> it's cheese. What do you expect? I mean, yes, I get that, but also, I don't know. It's an off putting about it. I'm Thor. Thor and Spyro just reminded me of his cameo in Aladdin and the King of Thieves. I'm Thor. You're Thor? Well, it hurts. As a kid, I didn't get the joke. P.S. Best joke. This is brought to you by Sand. It's everywhere. Get used to it. That's a good one, too. Thank you, Mike. I, I, I gotta watch that movie, actually. I'm, I'm curious cool. about it. I haven't seen that one since I was a kid. Happy birthday and graduation. 19 years and 2022 class. You did it. From Nightmare. Tomorrow is my birthday and two weeks from now I'll graduate. The good news is we are uh, in a no blue fruit loops allowed zone. So happy fun May month to me. Happy, happy, I would say birthday for a second there. Uh, happy birthday tomorrow, and happy graduation in two weeks. Thank you, Nightmare. The last picture I got here is a beautiful Photoshop of Josh is everyone. Josh is everywhere and everyone. This is the good place made by great men. Here, all things are possible. All can be Josh. Seeing John's 3DS, I present to you the Council of Jepson. I put way too much effort in this. Thanks, thanks Transquenter, for all the Joshes. I like the Josh in the bottom right. I think it's supposed to be Cable, so it's just like a bit of his eye is missing for like the cybernetic eye. At least I think that's, oh, yeah, that I cable? Mean, that's, that's the kind of look. I think they're all supposed to be Reed Richards. Isn't that the whole bit? Is it? I don't remember. I don't know. Comics too well, admittedly. All right, there we go. 
Oh, yeah. So which screen does Portrait of Ruin use? Is it the bottom screen or top screen? I have not played the game, unfortunately, so I wouldn't know. I want to at some point. It does. Oh, I'm seeing bottom and top. I know it uses, like, one's the map and one is the game, but I forget. Because I know Aria was the bottom screen because you did all the touchscreen stuff. I forget if they kept the same thing for this one. I'm seeing do you do any gameplay. touching stuff? No, not in this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's just jump over to tall 3DS and... Or it could not show up. Where's... what? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Did I say Arya? Shit, I meant Dawn of Sorrow, sorry. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. I know it's got an animated cutscene, let's just wait a second for the load. Oh baby, I'm excited. Behold. Whip, dodge, spell. Stare. Jump. I love just the graveyard picture on the top. <laughs> well, because, like, yeah, we got two screens. We got to do something with the other one. Was yeah, this... but, like, why that? <laughs> Was this the same animation studio that did this stuff for, like, Shadows of Valentia and Three Houses? It almost looks like that same style. I can see it. No idea. Obviously, this is over a decade. Like, this is, like, what, 2008? Probably sooner than that, or like later than that. 2006. That's a crazy cutscene for DS. Oh yeah, yeah no, no they, all three of them had one of these. It was great. Uh, let me let's jump to this screen, and then. A second. Is it gonna let me cut this again? Oh, I will. Okay, good. Come on, you can do it. No, god damn it. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna have the like. Oh, I know exactly rig. what happened. Yeah, we're gonna have to jerry rig this. Ah, I see. And then we'll put a DS top screen. Let's crop that. Drop that down here. This is how little we've been using the 3DS lately. Like, literally, we have not needed to do this. Normally, this is like been done and like ready to go but we've needed the 3ds so little recently this has not happened john do you have source alignment snapping on yes i do and i but i override it by holding down control ah okay i didn't know you could do that that's good to know because sometimes i like it sometimes i don't it yeah. depends on what i'm doing with it it's gonna look a little sloppy but i just like i have an actual overlay for it i just haven't turned it on like it's like that's how little i only added 3ds top big for the sticker star stream that's how little we use the 3DS on stream. All right. Let's see. Here is my completed file. Here's Batman's file. Uh, here's... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So yeah. This, yeah. John loans his copy to Batman sometimes. Yeah, he's only, ah, he see. didn't play much of the game, though. He's only got 3.4% done of Sisters mode. So I mean, he's John a busy guy. Jonathan Sisters. Richeter mode. <laughs> Richeter mode, I see. Start a new one. I like the idea of, <laughs> of you loaning it not to Bruce Wayne, but to Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play regular mode. He actually just gives it to Robin. Robin gets born in the Batcave. Enter your name. What is your name? Stream. Just so I know what Great his name. files for. 
Okay, so we have to draw an emblem for our file. There's, there's a bunch oh. of pre-built ones, which is what the bat was. So these are the ones they give you that are pre-built. Oh, that's cool. You want me to draw the egg? Guys, it's me. I don't know if I can do that. I'll try. Let's do it. Gotta draw it. Got this. Ah, I see. You have started with the shell. A great first impression. Impression? What? Your egg is looking a little lopsided. Oh, right. You, you, I don't think you can do uh, multiple colors. It all has to be one color. Oh, right. I, I remember this now. Shit. Forgot about that. Well, you can at least make the sunglasses. Can you? I have to use the eraser. Yeah, just erase. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, duh. It's okay. You can say I'm a genius. You actually well, we found my sunglasses recently. But we can't do the hair, unfortunately. That's the trade-off. Yeah. What's that? Like, like I was like cleaning some stuff around recently because we're gonna be uh, moving some stuff around here soon. And uh, what is it? I couldn't find like my five pairs of sunglasses, but I just I finally found them the other day. Five pairs? Yeah, I have five pairs of sunglasses. What other? How did you <laughs> lose five pairs of sunglasses? Well, I found them again, so now like. Uh, Did you I, lose I mean, them individually or all at the same time? I kept them all in the same place, apparently. I just couldn't find them for a while. There you go. Someone, someone suggested line art the hair. There we go. We got it. Yo, he's got a... Uh, he's got a pompadour. Whatever guy. that thing is. Pompadour. <laughs> he's got a, a thing, you know. You want to put dithering on the hair? You're asking for a little bit much here from me, guys, but I'll do my best. There we okay, go. so now I have to give him a sick tattoo. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> Make it like the Mario tribal tattoo. 1944. <laughs> the world is in chaos. The Second World War has claimed millions of lives, leveled cities, destroyed nations. The souls chaos. of the war dead, war's dead blanket the planet, lost, hurt, and angry. Their anguish summons an accursed castle to legend. It has appeared many times throughout history, bringing with it evil and darkness. The castle of Dracula, the lord of evil. It arrives in man's darkest hour to push us over the brink into ruin. And possibly ah, he said the thing. Oops, hang on, there's alerts. I just realized that is in the wrong spot because of all the fucking around we're doing there. Is this the most depressing intro to a Castlevania? Because I feel like this would be up there, huh? It's pretty up there. Eh? Yo, it's Coconut Head from Nights of Classified. That whip has been sent no, back in time. There's no mistaking it. You're Jonathan Morris. Good eye. And you are. Ah, forgive me. I'm Vincent Doran. By order of the church, I've been awaiting you. To think that the master of the legendary vampire killer would come here. A blessing indeed. Too bad he can't actually use it. Ah! Charlotte! Can't you even pretend to play along for once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. What? Are you suggesting that whip is a fake then? It's true, I can't use the vampire killer. This whip wasn't actually passed down through my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula. And that family is related to the Morris family by blood. Been doing your research, huh? Unfortunately, the fact is, we're not the true successors. No problem, though. I've won every battle till now without the whip. Not one loss. Lucky you have me to help you. Yes, I was wondering about that, and you are. Well, excuse me. If you're from the church, then remember this. I'm Charlotte Alin. Charlotte. I've heard that name before. Charlotte. Oh, you must be the great magician everyone's been talking about. <laughs> great, you say? Unbelievable to think that she was a mere child. Arr! Oh, well, I mean, such a lovely young lady. You heard that, Jonathan? He called me lovely. Ugh. Aww. So anyways, Vincent, you had some business with me? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I do. I have been ordered to assist you in your quest. I brought potions with me, but, well, well, what? It's a matter of economics. You want us to pay you, right? Uh, well, if you insist. Sure, no problem. I think we can take care of that. I couldn't care less. More importantly, the castle. Is that really Dracula's castle? No one has seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it is indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it, this castle's pu pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine it's anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I study in the books. 
Sounds like fun. Come on, better get going then. Charlotte, right with you. Be careful, I'll search for a safe place. I'll meet you inside, Godspeed. Okay, I gotta learn the important buttons. Where's the important button? Oh, I can't do it yet, can I? I need an item for that, don't I? Shit. Charlotte has a cute design, I will say. Like her expressions. Entrance. What a what a jaunt of a walk cycle this guy has. He's got a very powerful walk. Do, 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 do. Cube! Switch main player character with X. Now the important oh, cool. thing happens. Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! Jonathan! Charlotte! Jonathan! Call cube. Call partner with A. Press A again to send partner away. So. As you've seen, we can. I can't get the bridge open on my own. Maybe there were two of us. Try pressing A to call your partner. Maybe Charlotte will be heavy enough to open this for me. <laughs> she was! She's gonna kill me! Hooray! Yay. Oh, cool! So, you can switch between the two. Obviously, uh, Jonathan's your standard Belmont. Charlotte! Charlotte is a witch, but uh, she doesn't have any spells at the moment, unfortunately. So, I have a book. <laughs> He's wacky with the book! Yeah, that's it. That's all she's got right now, so. Yeah, no magic at all. Let's find some. But also, yeah, we can work together, so we can summon the AI, and uh, the AIs... There we go, I think that's actually what we wanted to give her. Tome of Arms, and Encyclopedia of Weaponry. So this wep this should actually do some damage. Yeah, so now it summons a sword, so now she's actually, like, a threat. Oh, okay. cool. And we've got a short sword, so we can switch off Vampire Killer to go to a different weapon if we want. So can the AI get hurt when they're out? Yes, but the way it works instead is like her damage goes to the MP meter, and when the MP meter's empty, she disappears. Okay. okay. But you can also, there's spells you can do, there's tag team moves and stuff like that, but obviously we need to get pretty far in the game to unlock those. So is it that way when you're separated two, or do you like have two separate health meters? Uh, when we're, when it's, oh shit. Oh, it's a beastie. When it's just one of us, we both share the same health meter. Okay. Okay. Beef jerky. We win! You. He's all gross. All that for a knife! A throwing knife used by hunters. Press up and Y to use. Consumes MP on use. So Jonathan, while he is a Morris, not a Belmont, he gets access to an absolutely ridiculous amount of uh, sub-weapons. Like, and like okay. uh, it's like almost comical how many he gets access to. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, there we go, that weapon there. There we go, so now that's that's my actual MP using move now, is just throwing two knives. Cool. Dude, they had, like, when I went to the game store recently around here, they had uh, some of the DS Castlevanias, like, they had Order of Ecclesia, but they were over 100 bucks, I'm like, fucking hell, man. Yeah, no, they're all <laughs> expensive now, which is a bummer, because there's no real other way yeah. to play them. There's not, no, which is a shame. Wait, cute, call partner with down and A to have partner stand still on a spot. Yeah, hi Wang, it was over 100 bucks. Fucking, they had a ghost trick for 200. I'm like, god damn. Oh, wait, I I'm glad I got that game when it was $10, because holy crap, that game shot up. Yeah. Like the year after I bought it. I need another move to actually take advantage of that move. Yeah, Ghost Trick, I think, is one of the more expensive games on the DS. Mm hmm. Save our game, which heals us up to. It just makes me think, man, I wish I got these games I saw them years ago for like 20, 30, 40 bucks. Instead of just you know, right. waiting too long and just now it's like, oh well, guess I'm not uh, playing these legally. <laughs> because otherwise I'm going to be out of a lot of money. Able to show off their special pose? You mean just holding up? 
What do you mean, like the tag team one? So I can't remember how that one works. I think I think I need the ability for that. Well, not bad, huh? Oh, hang on. Well, not bad, huh? That's Charlotte's pose. If you wait long enough. The beta type of pose. Got yeah. It. I forgot about these. That's pretty funny. There we go. I was thinking about this the wrong way. Oh! That's cool. That's cool! There we go. First spell, Raging Fire, Fire Burst of Flame. Raging Fire. I like so, that a lot. So she can also charge up spells too to more powerful forms. So you basically have two gameplay styles. Jonathan. Interesting. This game seems sick. This yeah, is no honestly, kidding. out of the three DS ones, is my favorite. They they did a lot of cool stuff with this. Uh, there's some weird decisions in it, though. Like, so, I guess not weird, but just for reference's sake, this is actually a sequel to the Genesis Castlevania game. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, uh, Bloodlines? Yes, this is a sequel to Bloodlines of all games. Because we're playing as uh, John Morris's son, uh, and I think Charlotte doesn't really have any connection family-wise other than being a friend. But there are other, there are multiple references to that game in this one. Also, for note, um, I don't know what they, what was up with the design for Dracula they gave him in this game, but I have, uh, lovingly dubbed him Mariachi Dracula because it is a very loud... <laughs> Very loud suit that kind of resembles like what a mariachi performer would be wearing. <laughs> That's incredible. Go. There's more points. Hola, Victor. It is me, Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty on point. All right, I'm glad I'm at least remembering that correctly. Someone else saying, "Oh my God, is look him up. He's beautiful." We need to see. Yeah, it. Yeah, the the hang on, let me let me look up. Uh... Hola, me llamo Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> let me see if I can find don't, the actual suit because everything I'm seeing is. Oh, you know what? Actually, this image is perfect. I thought there was a better shot of him somewhere I could get, but image in your tab. Carmen, me amor. <laughs> Dude, I went through Punch Out Weed like a couple weeks back. That game was great. Oh my god, that oh is incredible. Gosh. <laughs> it's that just man the thing. right amount of loud. The cape is gigantic, and the color scheme is just, just mwah, beautiful. That is a beautiful. That is a fucking mariachi, dude. Holy shit. I need some trumpets now. That man needs a fucking sombrero, some trumpets. He needs a little posse. Oh, that is incredible. That's beautiful, fantastic. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, here we go. Montar actually sent me. Uh... Oh my god. Here, here, yeah, here's a full body look of it, too. I haven't seen this one, actually. Oh, I'm seeing someone in chat talking about, like, a mariachi arranger on Bloody Tears. I need that so badly now. I think he looks a bit more mariachi in the actual sprite than he does in this actual artwork, but yeah, you get you get the point across. It's just it's just the right amount of loud. Mm hmm. It's just the right amount of loud. Oh, the freaking cuffs, man. All right, what what are we up to here? Ah! Something's here. It's not human. A monster? No, wait, I sense no evil from him. Ah, you can sense me. Who are you? A ghost, as you can see. Ghosts have no need for names. Impossible, somehow he retained his consciousness after dying. It must be the castle's magic. I don't know about you, but he sure seems shady to me. Think what you will, it's your choice. However, can you truly destroy me with a whip you can't even use? Only one way to find out! Wait, hold on! How do you know he can't use the vampire killer? Huh? 
I found it very odd to find a ghost not controlled by the power of Dracula's castle. A smart girl compared to this foolish boy. Just before I died, I cast a magic barrier on myself, binding my soul to this place. I'm free from the castle's control, but I'm trapped here. But a paranormal entity like you can easily be affected by magic. Casting a barrier that repels the castle's power is impossible, even for me. Just, who are you? My name is meaningless, but I suppose you need to call me something. Very well, call me Wind. Oh my god, I forgot they fucking named him that. <laughs> Wind. Uh, Mr. Wind. Just Wind is fine. Alright, Wind, what are you doing here? Didn't you hear him? He's trapped here, remember? I understand that, but is he, if he truly has this much power, he could use other methods besides just finding his spirit here. My, 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 you really are a bright little girl, aren't you? Stop treating me like a child! My name is Charlotte. I understand, and who is this boy? Who are you calling a boy? It's Jonathan, Jonathan Morris. Hmm, the reason I'm here, simply put, is regret. I will not rest until the lord of this castle is vanquished. I thought it would lend assistance to those who wish to defeat him. But if you can't move from here, what do you intend to do? In spirit form, I am able to grant items and techniques I once possessed in life. I think they'll be of great help to you. In that case, please help us. No, I've been able to do fine without any of his help so far, so why don't you just... Right, so far. But this is Dracula's castle. Maybe you could use that whip, it won't help you when you die. Don't you remember your father? Enough about my father! Just leave this to me, okay? My father's dead. Forget him. <laughs> sorry, but still... No, wait. I'm sorry. Guess that got a little overdramatic there. You might be right, Charlotte. Wind, perhaps we could use your help. Would you help us? If you can complete the tasks I give, only then will I help you. Jonathan's 18, Charlotte is 17, apparently. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, one main part of the story is figuring out who Wind actually is, and I'm not gonna say who it is for spoilers, but yeah, like the story surprisingly ties together more than I expected. Okay. But he, his main job here is he gives you missions to do, and these missions will get you extra items, will get you extra abilities, and actually for speedrunning has a pretty broken glitch you can do. Ooh. The priest should have some useful things for you in the next room. Get the potion and the map. Deal. Let's go, Charlotte. So I'm reminded of like the mission system that was in uh, Bloodstained uh, with that. Oh, Charlotte, 16. Okay. Oh, well, well. Welcome back. Huh. So you're selling your potions here? There aren't many now, but my stock will increase little by little. For a price, right? Yes, I'm afraid so, Master Jonathan. Don't try anything shifty and don't even try to lie. Still, it is true that rural churches are short on money, or so they say. Uh, thank you, you're lifesavers. Anyways, please have a look. I'll make you a deal. All right, let's get the map. I love the voice clips. A bunch of stuff we can get here. Would you like the master ring for two hundred thousand gold? We have a couple weapons we can buy here too: shuriken, dart, rock riot. I think rock riot. I remember being somewhat decent. That sounds done. cool. The game wants me to buy potions for a mission, so I'm going to do that now. Put items on display for shop. Oh, I forgot about all this. Thank you. Oh, interesting. I think uh, shop mode was something like you could put items in your file for sale, and other people playing the game could come buy them if they were missing specific things that you got as drops that they couldn't get. I think it worked like that. Lizard tail received. Slide into narrow spaces with down and B. Now you should be able to advance deeper into the castle. If you complete the task I'll give you, I shall teach you even more, including magic skills. May be able to entrust you with other items in the future as well. Sounds good to me. Oh, one more thing regarding this castle's lord. Y you mean Dracula, right? I've read books about him. Dracula isn't this castle's lord. What do you mean? That's why they call this Dracula's castle. It is indeed Dracula's castle. However, this castle's lord is a vampire by the name of Brawner. I've heard nothing about that. As one would expect, his identity has been kept secret for years, after all. 
He infuses magic into paintings to increase his power. You'll undoubtedly come across his paintings in this castle. Search for these paintings. He's using the paintings to make the castle's power his, isn't he? Still, he isn't Dracula after all, so we're safe for now. Be careful, his power grows stronger by the minute. No problem. We won't let you be tied down here for long, that's a promise. Trust us, Jonathan might seem unreliable, but he'd never break a promise. <laughs> that's reassuring. <laughs> Very well, best of luck to you. All right then, let's go find those paintings, and I'm gonna go yell at Charlotte later. All right, so now we can slide. Ooh. And now we've also got this shortcut here we can use. I love the little shimmy you do whenever you're switching directions. It's pretty great. Oh, you mean, oh yeah, like the, gotta turn around. Yeah, Charlotte. yeah they both have it. Now I can slide. I think I roll two of them on like a slope. Yeah, there you go. You roll down steps. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's cool, but it's gotta hurt. Just casually falling down the steps. No big deal. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, just, oh! Oh God! Oh, oh, my oh, my ankle! Oh no! To quote Tony Hawk's Underground. Oh my knee! <laughs> Out of curiosity, have you guys ever fallen down a set of stairs before? Yep. <laughs> okay, have you, and do you have a story behind it? I don't, actually. I'm sorry, there's no stories. Please try again later. <laughs> <laughs> try again later. Oh, okay, hey, remember I'll, that told us about- try again next MAGFest. We'll we found a, we found a <laughs> painting right away. Don't don't push him down the stairs at MAGFest, please. That would hurt. <laughs> this painting, its power is incredible. Must be one of those paintings. Without a doubt. Hmm. I've got it. Care to share? This painting's function. Bronner's using it to control the power of this castle. Well, then let's hurry up and rip it to shreds. Impossible. Anything we do will be pointless. From what I can tell, based on the theory of curse amplification, this picture is a multi layer quantum space barrier. Kind of a paranormal huh. phenomenon. Uh, okay. And what's that mean in human language? Uh, in short, think of it as a series of walls that surround the magic controlling Dracula's castle. The painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll regenerate. It's unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? I'll align my magic with the painting so we can enter it. That'll be the best way to circumvent the castle's magic. The risk is quite high, though. No problem. Come on, what do we have to lose? Okay, then. Here we go. So it's, uh, it's Mario 64. Oh. Awesome. Cool. So we're in the painting now. The will of the artist is embodied here. So this time around in this Castlevania game, you're not just in the castle. In the castle are these warps to other worlds, these paintings, the portraits of ruin. So now we're in the city of Haze because of that. This is just Mario 64, what the hell, dude? <laughs> this is really cool though. There's like, oh, there's like all their maps to it too? Hell yeah. Yeah, all separate maps. Uh, each map has like its own warp points, its own like completion rating, stuff like that. I believe actually getting full completion for this game is actually getting a thousand percent map completion. Wow. Jeez. They really Man, like numbers. numbers. You can flammers. Yeah, now you can see kind of you can you can kind of tell why I like this game so much out of the DS ones because it's just it's a very chunky game. There's so much to it. No kidding. Yeah, I can see the appeal. It's really interesting in like the the mechanics too. Yeah. Like that's what grabbed me first is like being able to use both people at the same time and swap to your needs. And basically, have like several different gameplay styles at the same time. Yeah. A curdle. A plain long dress. Which offers more protection than whatever she's currently wearing. After beating this game like three times trying to get the thousand percent, I finally looked up maps to find all the hidden rooms on GameFAQs. But yes, this game is so good. 
Yeah, like I said, um, I used to say Ecclesia was actually my favorite for a while, but I think I think thinking about it longer, I, Portrait's probably the one that I like the most. There's just Portrait something about it that just was really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Portrait is probably the game of the DS Castlevanias I think I hear the most positive about. And I guess the flip side, I think I hear the most negative about um, Dawn of Sorrow, but I think people still like it. It's just, of the three, I feel like it's the one people like the least. Yeah, I don't like Dawn as much as I like Aria. Dawn's issues are just, like, small things like, oh, hey, there's a couple required, like, grinds, or at least if you get bad luck, you'll have to do a required grind. Um, there's the touchscreen spells, which I'm just not a fan of in general. Just like little little things that that hold it back. Mm -hmm. And also, it was honestly, it was kind of a story that didn't need a sequel, so it felt a little forced and ham-fisted and kind of negated the whole thing. But Dawn's best thing is the uh, the side mode they put in. The uh, the Julius mode in Dawn of Sorrow is fantastic. What did I just get? Was that Defense plus one. Hey. Leather corsets. In down by one, but defense up by one. Don had the issue where the luck stat is also glitched and doesn't function the way it's intended. Yeah, but Aria had the exact same issue. Wait, does it just not work or what? I it's, believe so. Um, it's like, yeah, the value doesn't quite work right. I forget what it is exactly. What game was That's that? That's kind of annoying. There was this other game member that had sort of a similar issue where, like, one of the stats just plain doesn't work. I forget what game that was, though. Oh, bad, bad. Which, I guess, could be a lot of things, really, but yeah. I know in Gen 1 oh, Pokemon, right. there were several dude, things if you that attack, I forgot about this guy. I gotta show you this guy here. This is great. Charlie, I'm gonna send you away for a second. If you just show up to him as Jonathan, uh, he just attacks you properly like a normal enemy. But if you show up as Charlotte instead... <laughs> that was a great scream! Don't reject me! Can you hear him saying, I love you, don't reject me? Don't reject me. <laughs> so if you attack him, does he attack back or does he just take it? He, he does hurt you if you if he drops the rose, but while the rose is out, he can't hurt you. <laughs> oh no. I Ow. love that death scream! <laughs> <laughs> Propose to you and you burn him to death. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the agony in his voice that his lover has rejected him. No, this game, like I said, this game's just got so much weird charm to it. I just love it so much. Charlotte, I'll do anything for you. I'd, ac I'd actually debated if I was going to do another Castlevania DS playthrough, or a Castlevania playthrough on YouTube, it was going to be this over Dawn. But I think enough people want to see the actual ending to the storyline with Soma that I might have to go back to that. <laughs> but I don't know. But I just wanted to. I just. I just like this one in general more. It seems cool. Yeah. yeah I'm down for more of your YouTube stuff. I mean, I mean yeah, I'm, on, I'm on a YouTube <laughs> break right now. I don't know when I'm coming back, but like I've given Time <laughs> Thief some stuff to edit. Uh, I don't know how far along he is on it. I haven't checked the, oops, the server in a bit, but. Uh, but hopefully soon. Just take your time with it. Main thing. And I got here Claymore. This is a super heavy sword. Isn't Ooh. This? Yep, based on that damage increase. Yep. Nice. I think what the other thing I'm liking about this game as well, I'm seeing is just all the stuff that just is moving around. Like, just as you step around, there's like cans falling over. Oh yeah, no, they they did a really good job with this. There's a, like a lot of little things. You could tell they used the more powerful DS hardware. Oh, it's time, baby. Uh, Here we confused. go. So what another major mechanic in this game 
is tag team moves. Rush, a basic combination where oh, both partners yes. take turns attacking. You press up and X Ooh. to use, consumes MP on use. So now, when my when my magic meter's glowing. Oh, that's Oh, sick. super move, nice. Yeah, so that is another thing that you can have on your equipment screen here. Like there's tag team moves and stuff like that. There's a bunch of good stuff there. I thought there was a fucking breakable floor down there. God damn it. I knew my memory was not lying to me. There it is. Oh, student witch. Oh, baby. God. Paper airplane! Not terribly intimidating, but just might put someone's <laughs> eye out. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when Jonathan gets a shit ton of sub weapons. That's funny. That's so dumb. There's so, so many. He literally gets a cream pie later. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think you can buy one of each of these. I Obviously, it's not very powerful because it's a paper airplane. But it, it rules. I just love that it's even an option. Oh, right. I have to open this and then drop the money in there from that. And then it brings up the next from the food item. There we go. Wheat roll. Fun fact, the cream pie is a dark element weapon. Yes, that's entirely true. I forgot about that. That's <laughs> funny. Amazing. Oh, we already had that one. Shit. Um, I forget how you even pick what money it is, or it's just random, but yeah. I wish you could pick I wish you could pick the money that just drops out of things. Just like break a vase, I'm gonna get $100 out of this. Oh yeah. Here's the bartender. And make <laughs> us a drink. I love him. Oh, that's so good. He's leaving, he's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game's incredible, dude. Cream pie, a throwing oh, weapon aimed at the enemy's face for psychological damage. <laughs> dude, this game is so good so far, I'm loving this. All right, hang on, I'm... Giant cream pie. Oh, dude, that oh thing is so gosh. good. Hang on, I need to heal some poison. This actually gonna kill me, but I'm not careful. Uh, I don't have a... any of those. Crap. Does poison not go away naturally? It does go away eventually, it's just gonna take a bit. Okay. Yeah, you just have to heal a ton. As you can see, he's not doing much damage, but, you know, I'm, I'm throwing cream pies. And most sub-weapons can be leveled up if memory serves me, too, so... I wish you Uh... I forget how you can check that, though. There's a way to do that. What's up that talk menu? Talk to your partner. If something's oh. troubling you, it's important that we talk. I can handle things myself. I prefer it that way. Just Let's just both do our best. <laughs> is it guys? Me. Okay. There. Yeah, you're right. That's totally what it is. Yeah, so every ability has a master grade to it that will make it mm -hmm. more powerful when it actually gets used enough. So it has to get, I think, either experience from killing, or it might just be kills, period. So we've got oh, one ex man. master point with the paper airplane, one with the cream pie, and one with the knife. I believe, yeah, so jo Jonathan gets 29 sub-weapons, and the rest That's of these crazy. should be spells that uh, Charlotte gets. And then these these white ones are the, the team combos. So there's 81 things total that can change how we play. Okay. That's crazy. I love options. Man. Sub weapons need to get at least one hit in on the enemy to gain the experience. Ah, that's what it is. Well, let's let's test it then. Yeah, well, if I stop pressing my button. Yeah, 
That is correct. Okay, well, that's pretty forgiving for a level up then. Yeah. It would be way more annoying if you had to kill them with it. Yeah. So does the Stop paper airplane grind is why I do not like this game. Sorry, because it takes a long time to get mastery. Oh, yeah, if you getting mastery for everything, it takes forever. Is there a reason to outside of just doing it? Not really, no. Not from what okay. I remember, anyways. But, and there's also an item you can get that will increase the mastery you get per kill, so. Oh, that's good. So That's what that super expensive ring was. Mm -hmm. Ah. So if the paper airplane gets leveled up enough, does it eventually become like a paper fighter jet? I, I don't remember what it does. <laughs> it just starts shooting bullets. Yeah, dude, paper bullets. <laughs> I don't think it's anything like that, sadly. <laughs> Nice, got some sandals. Yo, nice. Comfy looking sandals, made a letter. And if you get a little cold, you gotta put those sandals on, warm them up. It becomes the Parodius Paper Airplane. Oh, does it? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Jugers confirmed it comes Koitsu from Parodius. Oh, that's cool. That's funny. The problem is, of course, you need to remember to keep using your sub weapons, which means you're using up your magic, which means like you're less likely to be able to keep Charlotte in the game if you're using, playing with Jonathan and vice versa. Yeah. So it's just it's just finding that balance for how you're playing. Mm hmm. Bit of a grind is what it sounds like to get like everything leveled up. I mean, as long as you're just like doing this, you're fine for the most part. Mm hmm. I think some guys might not be worth much. I think, like, zombies might not even be worth anything. But I'm not 100% sure on that one. I can see that, since you can just endlessly grind them. I mean, theoretically speaking, couldn't you, the couldn't you like, grind everything in this game by going in and out of rooms? Oh, no, they were worth something. I got 12 cream pie points. I right guess, now. yeah. Makes sense. Leather whip. <laughs> that scream is so good, dude. I'm reminded of the the armor nice and bloodstained going e. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Man, I never I was finished like... that game. I gotta go back because I think I was pretty close. It's a good time. I remember I beat the Switch version, but then I got a Steam version due to like someone giving out a code for it. I remember redeeming it, and uh, I played a bit of it, but I never finished it because my play was 100 percent it actually on the Steam version because one thing ran better and looked nicer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly just trying to find a save point so we can go to the cookie, but I keep. Have you found a save point yet? Like oh, at I, all? I, I, not in this zone. Okay. Which is something to be a bit concerned about, but I think there's a couple paths I didn't even end up taking, so. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll probably do it. Here. Uh, Good thing there's one right here! Yep. How'd you know? Uh, I guess, but then I saw the room that you were in, and I'm like, oh, this is definitely like a, a save roomy type area, like where it presents you two paths. Yeah, my card. You see. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I was supposed to hit it with a projectile. That might be my favorite Castlevania walk cycle. It, it's so over the top and goofy. Stay. That works. Try to keep up, Jonathan. <laughs> Charlotte, slow down. Uh, I can't uh, keep up. I'm loving the animations on like monsters in this game too. There we go. Now I can just summon them to instantly cast a spell and stuff like that. Ah, oh, neat. And same if we're if we're her. I can now summon Jonathan to throw cream pies. 
Dude, a dedicated pie button, finally. Yeah, so I like I love this game. I think it's great. Uh, but that's time. I could boot up the other file to see what sub weapons I have to show off some of the crazier stuff. Or I can just go to the cookie. I'm not sure how people feel on that. Because I don't remember what exactly I have on my finished file. Please do show us, show us, show us. Man. You've seen the wackiest already. Yeah, I believe most of them are just pretty normal after that. More or less what you expect. you got your standard Castlevania ones, and you've got like a bunch of like, oh, this is kind of a neat idea ones. Game experience may change during online play. Let's see. I have the Bible equipped. All right. Our team spell. That's great. Oh. Oh, I have speed up on uh, as the, the summon spell. That makes sense, I guess. Uh. Oh, oh I, have Jeff, I have Jeff Thousand Blades. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, that's cool. It's like Richter's, uh... Item crash. It's uh, Richter's uh, dagger item crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else do I have here for sub-weapons? Let's see. Knife, axe, cross, holy water, bible, javelin, ricochet rock, boomerang, buaka knife, uh, yagyu shuriken, regular shuriken, discus, kunimitsu, paper airplane. I'll, yeah, let's see the upgraded paper airplane. Nice. Ha! <laughs> Kunai, cream pie, I have upgrade as well. Just doesn't look any different, unfortunately. I think it just does like a Dang. damage when it hits differently. I was hoping it was like three times bigger. Dart, uh, grenade, steel ball, stone wall, offensive form, taunt, rampage. Oh, actually, rampage is pretty good. Guess the fury. Oh, that's that's sick. I like that. <laughs> Haunt. Does Come that on, do jump. anything? It, it, or is uh, it draws just a enemy taunt? attention uh, towards you, oh, so if okay. you have other players there, you can help with that. Offensive ah. Strength up, that makes sense. A defensive stationary so stance passive force like... family, so defense up. It's literally a block. Okay. I have a, take a literal grenade. <laughs> that explosion! Steel ball. Goes nowhere. I mean, I you throw a, a steel damage. ball. I'll give it a shot. Or a blast. What is this one? Come back right, with was, the video. That was pretty good. Oh, that's cool. And a rocket slash. Dash the enemy and perform a quick lightning slash. I think I, yeah, I must still be missing some at this point. Let me look at the guy here quickly. No, 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 no. Yeah, I am missing one. I'm missing number 17. Oh, I'm missing like three on my file here. Never mind. And then Charlotte's got a bunch of spells. I'm missing a few still, too. Greatest five. Oh, that's the one she has equipped. Oh, hang on, I need MP again. Yeah, I saw juice in there. Yep. Warriors, revive! I'm surprised Leon's in there of all of them. That's cool. 
But yeah, no, honestly, super fun game. I highly recommend it if you're into these Castlevania games. Let's go with the cookie. Let's get one last game in tonight, shall we? Uh, oop, close that, and then let's go to the cookie. No carryover this time. No one percent rule and get ge uh, gex. Jesus Christ, meds <laughs> is back <laughs> in. I'm tired. You can tell. Yeah. All right. Boss. I put final round with a question mark. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last one, but I've been surprised before. All righty then. Meds, what do you got? I have no idea. Monica, what do you got? Uh, I'll stick. I'll stick with Team Sonic Racing just to go for some more multiplayer stuff tonight. Uh, the Switch one, but yeah. All right, our viewer choices this time around come to us from. Uh, oh, I hang on, I forgot to tuck out those last three. The viewer choices right come come from me, <laughs> Zebra Rick, and Rising Sun. Finally got to yours. Yeah, only four months later. Some guy named Proton John asked for Ninja Gaiden for the NES. I forget why I put this in here. I think it was poking fun at Deef at the time. <laughs> I, I think it's because you realized that you could put one yourself in. I, you know so what? I, you I think that's it. I think because... Oh, I think it was because someone was asking why can mods put theirs in. I'm like, man, anyone can. I can put mine in. And then I did it. <laughs> yeah, you put in another one, right? Yeah, I have unlimited points. I can put in as many as I want. Uh, Zebra Rick has asked for Forza Horizon 5 for the Xbox Series X. And Rising Sun 98 has asked for Pajama Sam 1. No need to hide when it's dark outside. Mmm. For Steam. All right. Meds, what do you got? Oh, I got nothing. I'll abstain. Double down on Sonic. All right. I'll take your option out. Let's see what we got instead. Game number one. Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition on Steam. God, I missed that game. Unreal. Game number two. Crisis. Wow, apparently it really wants shooters. Crisis 2 Maximum <laughs> Edition on Steam. And last but not least... Ogre Battle 1 on PlayStation <laughs> 1. It is technically an RPG, but it's technically a taxes game. I'll allow it. Fight it out. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll have seven options on this one. Yeah, no. No, Tactics Ogre is the pure turn-based strategy. Ogre Battle itself is an RPG slash tactics game. I'll, I'll allow it. All right, let's see why the bot didn't work last time. It says it should work. There we go, yep, it's working this time. All right. Ah! Currently in the lead. As we see all the votes start trickling in. Ninja Guidance in the lead. <laughs> I had a feeling. 22 votes, 27% of the vote. Team Sonic Racing in second place, 36 votes, 20%. Pajama Sam, no need to hide when it's dark outside, 48 votes, 21%. Ogre Battle, 28 votes, 11%. Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition, 20 votes, 7%. Forza Horizon 5, surprisingly low, 13 votes, 4%. And Crisis 2, Maximum Edition, 2 votes, 0.61%. 335 votes clock so far. Ninja Gaiden for the NES leads 113 to 90 over Team Sonic Racing. Let's put a minute on and see what happens, I guess. Stop! Guys, think. More races. More chances that Channel Point wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if this wins and it's your pick, is it a whatever Saturday? I mean, I'd, 
it's not much of whatever Saturday if we just picked one game and then I play it for the half hour and that's it. So Ironically, Ninja Sonic. Gaiden's probably short enough if I skip the cutscenes, we could get another game in. We can just do Team Sonic Racing, clearly. i <laughs> <laughs> staying for the rest of the voting, we don't need it. <laughs> 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 It's a it's a whatever day it was you selected the game. I mean that was I'm pretty sure that happened on a cookie night, so it would have been a Saturday regardless. I did it! I I won a cookie! Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go play Ninja Gaiden. Well, I'm very tired, so this is gonna go fantastically. I have a feeling this is why it won, it's because I'm, I sound so fucking tired. All right, let's drop some eggs. <sighs> I don't get a choice next cookie, ah shit. Y2K890 for 44, McClarkley, McClarkey official for 14, and Mono Food for 20. Thanks for subbing you three, your eggs tonight. I think there's just the one in the carton, but it's still one for you. I'm gonna close all these pictures of Dracula I have loaded, apparently. Oh no, there's two here. Sly Guy sends in, you will give me a portrait of ruin. You will give me an- Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan. Good, good. That is the, that is the experience of portrait of ruin. And Montaru with, did someone say egg? You will give me- Piranha plant? Did someone say piranha plant? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's stuff like that's why I like Verity, but it's it's not as much as like, say, Pyron or Hades or or anyone else, really. All right, we're going to get a break, to break when we come back. Ninja Gaiden. Why not? See you guys in a bit. Now, the real question is am I lazy enough to just use the switch or am I actually going to pull out my cartridge? The suspense is killing me. What sh what should I do? Should I should I open the box and pull out the cartridge? <laughs> pull it. Exactly. <laughs> Questions have we not answered? That's a great question. How's my week? Busy. No, it kind of always is. you like to annoy John? What do you think we've been showing you for the past three or four hours? So that's uh, pretty accurate. <laughs> it's a uh, slowed down a little bit, but we're still we're still in the uh, annoy John day. Like it's, it's like annoy Squidward day. So they imagine <laughs> that John is like, you know, not Squidward. Mission music have a title? I would assume so. 
It's probably just called intermission. Popsky would know. I don't. I am not Popsky, or am I? Make a song right now. Okay. Live. Do -do 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 -do. This is my song. There, you happy? Thank you. I appreciate the claps. You're welcome. Now, if only I had my audio set up to, like, have an incredible delay so it was just constant clapping. your experience with Castlevania overall? I've played the first one and Aria of Sorrow, and I think that's it. I've played Aria, I've played um, Harmony of Dissonance, I've played Dracula X, and I've played Something at Night, and that's about it. Show's series finale that made you cry. I ain't got no tears. For me, it was Sonic Underground because I never got to see the true ending of it. <laughs> they never found their mother. They never found her. They remember the they song title lied. They lied to me, dude. They I made a ever. vow. Do you guys not understand? Their mother was never found. Vows don't mean shit, man. <laughs> a good one off the cuff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can have my dumbass humor and it sometimes shines. Sometimes it just kind of fizzles out like poo, like poo, but you know, whatever. Does poo fizzle? I hope not. How Does many your... pop rocks are you eating? Does poo fizzle? That's a terrible question you just asked me. You're the one who presented the idea. You are the one who making it worse. <laughs> this is the this is the topic we we're on tonight. Apparently, let's move on. <laughs> Where do people even go to find an actual exorcist? I've always wondered about that. I'm sure you can Google it. I guess so. You know, actually, let me, let me hang on a second. Where do I find <laughs> an exorcist? That is a bad question to ask. Oh, I can actually request an exorcism? This is the thing I can do? Oh, man. Why are you looking this up on stream? Because I was curious. I, I, I'm legitimately wondering now, like, how you just order an exorcism. What do you exorcism? need it for? I don't need it. I'm just wondering, like, if I can order one. Apparently, I can just order an exorcism online. <laughs> do they deliver it? I don't know. Let me look, hang on. Let me look, go into this page. I'm curious now. Do uh, you have to leave a tip? I don't know. It looks like you just have to call someone and they come to your house. I guess, like, the movie. This is really fascinating, actually. <laughs> The, what's that one service called? Favor? Just what? call it a favor. Is that a thing? Yeah, like you can make them go to the grocery store for you or something. Like you can do, I think, anything. And they'll I've, go do it for you. I've never heard of this service. Wow. No, not Fiverr. Favor. Like, ask somebody to do a favor. Is that actually what's like how it's spelled yeah though? like it's it's a 
they did like a bunch of food stuff, but like I, I'm pretty sure you can make them go to the grocery store for you or something. That that's like stuff way beyond me. I will never use that in my entire life. One because I don't care about smartphones, and two I'll just go to the store. Man, I'm finding favor like F I V E R R. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. No. Fiber fa is a different thing. What is favor? How, how is it spelled? It's like it sounds. Hang on, okay. Favor business. Favor delivery? Is that what you're, you're referring yeah. to? Okay. This is, a, this is a Texas thing I'm seeing. Is it only Texas? Maybe? I've heard actually. of it before in other is, places. No, this, this is apparently a Texas only thing. Once again. Okay, well, I mean, I'm glad you're still in Texas. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now buy a favor for an exorcism. Once again, we're discussing things that are only in Texas when we're both on CoCom. <laughs> well, John's not here to reel it in. That's true, you're right. Yeah, it's a fucking Canadian bastard. No, he's not even from Texas. He can't get no favors. Exactly. <laughs> you... No favors, no no water burger up there. No uh cowboys, maybe. Did you call it water burger? What it, what? What do you mean, what? No H-E-B, no Bucky's. Spell yeah, it! We worship a beaver down here. Y you can't just f gloss over that fact. What fact? That you just said water burger. That's how people say it. That's not how it's spelled! Yeah, but it's said differently. No, it's not! Yeah, it is. You know, no! Are, yeah, yes it is, because there are people out there who have He's like right, no he's not! No. <laughs> There's no zero R's. What the hell did I come back to? Maniacal doesn't know how to spell. I know how to spell, it's just that it's said differently than it's spelled. It's not said differently! <laughs> yes, it's I said what a burger! It's water burger. It's no, it's not! <laughs> it is! It is not! Sorry, Maniacal, it is the word what. W-H-A-T. Then why do people say Whataburger? Because they're stupid! Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> L I am a Texan! I live in Dallas! Yes, and I live in Houston, your point? My point is that our IQ is generally smarter than yours. <laughs> really? Wow. I don't know what I think you're- that might be a fact. I don't know, I'm about to load that up right now. Hang on a second. There's some hesitation on that. <laughs> no, wait, we did look this up one time. I think you were at the bottom. Oh, because right. it was me, you, and Neo King with Dallas, San Antonio, and Houston. I think Dallas was closer to the top. Hang on, hang on. What do we look this up as? Like, Houston? I don't like, know. Smartest places in Texas. Uh. Okay, I'm seeing. Smartest Texas places. Yeah. So you looked up. Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm looking for the dumb list. That, that might actually save me some time. <laughs> I'm looking for the dumb list! Jesus. Why is Alamo on here? Alamo's not a fucking city. It's a building. It still exists. <laughs> they want you to remember it. So. That's true. They all died. They weren't very smart to stay there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I remembered it. <laughs> I kind of forget about the Alamo sometimes, admittedly. <laughs> That's the one thing! The yeah, one Texas thing! That you not do that. Remember the Alamo! Okay, I get they say remember the Alamo, but I've had zero reason in my life to even remember this building. Like, I don't even know. Okay, actual question. What happened at the Alamo for people to say remember the Alamo? Because I it don't know. It was a massacre! Was it? Yes, it was during the Texas Revolution! Isn't that where, they like, all David died, Crockett there. died? Isn't that, like, the whole, yes. like, his last stand? Yeah. That's a, that's why you remember the Alamo, so you remember what happened to drive you to win. What? Hang on what do you second. mean what? <laughs> no, I'm thinking about this now. Like, was it what was the revolution? Was that like Mexican independence? Was that what it was? Yes, Mexico seceded from Texas. No. That's. 
they're like, we're tired of you. <laughs> Fake Texan detect everyone's questioning your Texas. Look, I'm Texas is like just where I live, man. <laughs> John, do something. I can't. The cartridge needs to be cleaned. <laughs> I'm at their mercy. We told you we were gonna take over. This is this is the takeover. We we're here to yeehaw and I I wanted to use the any the NES because I actually changed the NES we're using. So I wanted to test test out my new toy, and then of oh, course the Ninja Gaiden cartridge is fucking dirty and needs to be cleaned. Um, so I actually got a, was it an analog mini NT Noir ages ago? Oh, And okay. never actually set it up in the, uh, in the thing, because we were using the AVS for so long. And the AVS has been, for the most part, dependable. But, um, last, or it was this week, I was trying to play, test a game called Bandit, or no, Destiny of an Emperor for the NES. And for some reason it kept glitching. So I was like, okay, every, every time I load a file, it glitches, and it's always in the same spot, so maybe it's the oh. ABS. So I pulled out the NT and tried it. Same spot! Oh. On both systems. I gave them a thorough clean, and then I got one of them on the ABS to get past that spot. Or, sorry, on the NT, but not the ABS. So it's this weird situation, I'm like, okay, this doing this erased all the files on here. But on one of these two clone systems, it works, but not the other. This is really weird. Yeah. Either way, uh, I'll let the cart dry, and then we'll test it out again. If I can't get it to load, I'll just slap on the Switch version. All right. Elicitor says, Speaking of lost source codes, the entire source code and assets for the unreleased PSP version of Duke Nukem Critical Mass game was found in the Library of Congress. Moving image oh. section during regular archival work. Incredible. How in the world? Really? And like, I think, because that this happened, what, a couple months ago? And then a couple weeks ago, the 2001 version of Duke Nukem Forever was found. Yeah. Huh. Neat. So, uh, for, for reference, the game is called Duke Nukem Critical Mass. You know that GIF that's up there in the top middle that keeps zooming in on Duke Nukem's crotch? That's from the E3 trailer for that game. So, oh, uh, the PSP version of Duke Nukem wasn't finished, but apparently the source code and assets were found for it, so it's in some playable form. And yeah, and Duke Nukem Forever's original 2001 build, at least I think that was the original build, uh, was found and is playable. It's 90% playable, apparently. I know Juker's playing it on his stream tomorrow. But uh, apparently, people have been saying it actually is way better than the game we got. Like, they're saying... I mean... I, the word I heard was, like, if this had come out back in 2001, it would have been praised. So, uh, yeah. Apparently it wasn't a lot found, of it was actually leaked. Ahead. Randy's been sitting on it for years. Oh, wow. Amazing. Uh, Vale Leaf says, so I was checking Mac Logger and didn't see Blooming Chaos 2. Did you decide not to pick it up? Either way, cow. What? Did you ask me to pick up Blooming Chaos 2? Uh, hang on. Uh, this might have been forgotten if you did pay for it. Toho, oh, Toho Blooming Chaos 2. You did ask for that. How long ago was that, Vale? Because I don't remember that. My apologies if I did miss it. I'll go pick it up right now. Yes, I agree. Maniacal is not allowed to say yeehaw anymore. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's because he didn't remember the Alamo, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's the, the one requirement. Is it? Since when? Since the Alamo! <laughs> and when was that? Can you tell me? Like... 18 something you, you can't even tell me you can't even tell me what it is and you're getting on Can my you case tell me? 1838 good job your fingers work fast huh 
Huh? No, I just looked at the I just looked at the chat actually. All right, sorry about that, Veil Leaf. I just picked it up. I'll slap it in the backlog right now before I forget. I like how like the poll says who knows more about Texas. John has 19 votes. I have zero. Mens has two. <laughs> I don't know shit about Texas. <laughs> Can you tell me about uh, the, our... Uh, so we have a uh, local legend of sorts. Uh, he's known for his uh, conquest of... <laughs> I know uh, what you're saying! He know, he's known for his conquest of uh, buildings as well as cars. He He's he's fought a few cars, actually. He, he, he'll actually bite like a junkyard dog. Uh, Jim Adler? With his Jim. legendary sledgehammer. Jim Adler? Oh, the that's that dude's from Texas? I thought he was from New York. Jim Adler, the Texas hammer. The Texas hammer, hammer baby. Oh my god. Who oh, I'm thinking of Jim the Hammer Shapiro. That's what I was thinking of. I think that's New York. But yeah, no, J Jim Adler the Texas Hammer. That's the dude that like isn't stands in front of like semi trucks and shit like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's meaner things. than a junkyard dog. Oh my god. I've I've been close to his building before. Like we drove by it one time. I should you know, I think that thing was actually shaped like a hammer. This man is like a there fucking cartoon villain. There was a uh there was a, it was a craft beer company. They actually just went defunct, um, called Legal Draft. That uh, they were made up of lawyers, and they had a product called the Texas Hammer. And like that had, they, it, it can't not be a coincidence. All right. Well, while we're enjoying remembering the Texas Hammer, let's go to our block for a minute here. From Ailita, Jonathan, <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Donkey. <laughs> Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan. Thanks, Ailita. <laughs> Next up, ooh, from Jax. Our own Jonathan Wheeler as Jonathan Morris. The fact that they use your spelling of Jonathan just makes it better. Enjoy. I mean, it's, it's the standard nice. spelling as far as I'm aware, but there we go. Chat is confirmed. Apparently, 70% have voted that I know more about Texas than either of Meds or Maniacal. 107 <laughs> votes for me, 24 votes for Meds, 7 for Maniacal. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Seven people believe in me, and I'm one of them. I've been in Texas twice in my life, I think. Maybe three times. Really? Yeah. Bob, nice. I, think all, I think all times are for SGC. Unless we're counting airports, then I think it's like double that. Thank you, Jax. Next up, oh god, the claw grip. Yep, that's it, that's me. The claw grip. Kid Icarus on the top, and Castlevania on the bottom. <laughs> From Neo King, I haven't done a John shop in like a million fucking years, and playing Kid Icarus Uprising for that many years will cause your hands to be spooky-ass rigamortized crab hands. And finally, once that happens, it will be time for crab. By the way, GG great matches, homie. Thanks, Neo King. Jesus. <laughs> that That's definitely him, all right? <laughs> yeah, the absolute monster that was playing that earlier. Good lord. Are you like one of the dancing lobsters from the Amanda show, by chance? <laughs> Are you saying that the Neo King? Because he's the one with the hands? No, you, because you're the one playing the game. Oh, but I am, well, no, I'm not a dancing lobster. I never grew up with Amanda show. That's fair. You played Spyro. That's close enough. You can still be that's a dancing not the lobster. Same thing. <laughs> Look, Stuart Copeland did the theme for the Amanda show, like how you were playing Spyro 1 earlier. Oh, Jesus. From Mel. It's the transitive property. From a quick work in progress of Waluigi dressed as Dracula from Castlevania Portrait of Ruin since it was played in tonight's fortune cookie. May finish soon. Thank you for Mariachi Waluigi. Thank that's you, That's so Mel. sick. All right. And that's our block. Uh, so Man. here's... Let's see how this works. So... No, that's wrong screen. Man, people are so fucking talented here, by the way. Like, goddamn. All right. So, um, I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try it. Hopefully, I put it in the right, the right slot. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, it works. There we go. Nice. What is your take on DS games using the bottom screen as the main screen over the top? Uh, DS games? I didn't mind. 3DS! It was always weird because the top screen was wider. But DS games, I guess, had the lower quality because of the touch screen, so, eh. 
This fucking intro was ruined for me. Thanks, Smite. <laughs> <laughs> Bubsy will never win the management. Did you know Bubsy signs his tweets on Twitter? <laughs> I forgot that was one of the ones he used to post. All right, am I doing a run with cutscenes or without? Jat, what do you guys want? Let's run a poll. I miss John being on pit. I mean, I if I signed up for pit, it's like signups now, so that's the only reason. Yes. Oh, someone's got it. I know me and Meds have been trying to get on again recently, but no luck, sadly. A lot of people signing up. Let's see. Oh, it's actually pretty close for with and without. Hang on. Uh, I do have poll view on here. I got Twitter, Twitch poll. Cutscenes. It's actually pretty much 50-50 right now between for yay and nay. Yay, very slightly ahead. That's what I try to do for the most part, Kion, is try and like, get new people on or just people I've not been on with before. Yay, no, yay for cutscenes, nay for without. Currently, yay, as in cutscenes, is winning 81 to 78. Why is this poll like three minutes long? Yeah, I don't know why this is three minutes long. He's going to loop through this intro at least one more time now. <laughs> is that a default timer? I thought default timer was two minutes. Oh, no, that's predictions, I think. Or does prediction just keep giving you the same one that you already had it set to? I forget. Default was like two minutes. Oh, baby, we tied uh, You thing. know what? I don't even think they're trying to actually, like, decide anymore. I think they're just trying to do the 50-50 split. Let's see the archaeologist, Walter Smith. Very generic name. I will get my revenge. I just realized, I think there's an unused cutscene on the back of the box. So I have this boxed, and uh, one of the screens in the back says, no one can beat me. I don't remember him saying that in the oh. game, unless that's during the Jakeo fight. It's not a the big jump fight. at the end there. Unless that's Ishtar at the end. 51% for yay, 125 to 121. So we're doing cutscene run, all right. All right. I want to play this at some point. I also know this game is like notoriously difficult. It's not that bad until like the ending, whenever it just kind of gets bullshit. Mm hmm. Which game? This game? Yeah. 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 I mean, they, they it's really just dying at the, at the boss. End. All those game, all these games get bullshit at the end. Ninja yeah. Three has it a little bit worse because I think there's a lot more like mess up points in that one. But and obviously the the fact that you take more damage in the North American version and the limited continues, but. Uh, yeah. No, I think one is the easiest, other than World 6. Two, actually, yeah. two might be the most fair overall, simply because of the ability to, of the Shadow Clones. Mm-hmm. Shadow Clones also, I mean, honestly, honestly, a lot my of biggest problem with the game is, like, you, you, like, you die in part of the stage, you start at that part of the stage. You get to the boss and die, you have to redo the entire section. Mm. Like, it makes zero sense. It does require some strategic dying, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it chill Q&A Ninja Gaiden time? I mean, I'm down for chill Q&A. Oh my god, you just like ruined that guy. Yeah. Like this is this is essentially me getting to test out the uh, the the NT mini right now. And that's gonna that this fucks with me now. <laughs> 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 this fucks with me now. All chat. Let me see how does this look better? I mean it doesn't mean it was that much different. Who's there? Just a girl. Get out of here. I will, but first, gun. What the? That's so wrong now. 
right? It's, it's incorrect. I, I I have ruined that for a number of people. I am not not surprised. <laughs> Where am I? I see the anesthetic is wearing off. That was definitely loaded in my gun and not a bullet. Who are you? And why am I still fully fully in my ninja garb? Make so much noise. I got a favor to ask of you. Now that I've shot you, take this and escape. There's no time. Blah, 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 blah. My lips don't move when I talk. How come yours do? <laughs> Didn't you try to kill me? Blah, 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 and that's it. Good luck. I like that that's the actual conversation that they had, just pop, 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 and you're like, how are you doing that? <laughs> Why do your lips move when you talk? It's an NES it. game, that's not supposed to happen. When it comes to Ninja Gaiden, I've always wondered, like, if I'd be more into, like, the 3D ones over, like, the 2D ones. I mean, the 3D ones are their own thing, but there's a lot more games, I feel, to... There's a lot more games in your wheelhouse, maybe, that I feel would make you a bit more into the those Ninja Gaiden games, the 3D ones. Because, like, I know you mm -hmm. like Bayonetta, and I know you've played some Devil May Cry, you know you like Ninja Gaiden Rising. Ninja Gaiden, god damn it. Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> I'm Ninja fucking Gaiden tired, man. I'm gonna be goofing on a lot of shit right now unintentionally, sorry. Yeah, that's all good. I've, I've only played Bayonetta 1 admittedly, but yeah. So, I mean, if you like those like kind of games, then you'll like Ninja Gaiden. It's just faster paced. Mm-hmm. But there's an actual block button, which is a big deal. That's right. nice. It's the memes, Ryu. <laughs> uh, well, now we clearly make it. We have to make a Ryu with Senator Armstrong now. Clearly. I I kind of want this game now, like Metal Gear Rising, but like with Ninja Gaiden stuff. Really, I just kind of want more Metal Gear Rising. Cause that game is stupid, but in a fun way. I actually bought it again on Steam because I had just played the 360 version in the past. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? This is a easier, faster way to load it up and play it. And I might just play it again sometime. <laughs> nice. Didn't people not like that game whenever it came out? Rising? Did they not? Yeah. I I thought people liked it because it was basically a platinum game. The I can't remember. I remember some people complaining. The original like, version of the game, game I remember when it came out, or like when they saw the trailer, was like super slow and it looked really awkward as fuck. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Like the original trailer is very slow and it specifically is about like riding, like cutting uh, a watermelon. And mm -hmm. it's just like, it had like a, a slightly different name. I'm trying to remember what it was. Because Revengeance wasn't added. That was a That was later. Oh, so yeah, people are saying because it wasn't a stealth game, people were criticizing oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it. it was a pure action game. Like, pure action fans yeah. were super happy, but, like, yeah, n there's, like, next to no stealth in that game. People say yeah, I was going to say that game, I feel like it's had a turnaround, because, like, whenever people talk about that game, it's pretty positive. Oh, hmm. yeah, it was called Metal Gear Solid Rising. That's what it was. Okay. I'm uh, reminded of... I'm reminded of, like, when Pokemon Legends Arceus was first shown off, like, in the first trailer, people were like, oh, man, the FPS is kind of on the lower end. And then it came out, it's like, oh, actually, no, this game is fantastic, actually. Like, I mean, people I are still complaining about the FPS, to be fair, but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, and whenever it, it came out, I feel like that was the most positive that anyone has been about a Pokemon game in a long time. Dude, well, I love because most, that game. like, the core internet conglomerate of Pokemon fans is not happy. Yeah. Yeah, but who cares about them? <laughs> <laughs> who cares about the internet? So I, if I like the game, that's all I care about, and I fucking loved it, so whatever. Fuck what they think. <laughs> I, my own enjoyment is what I care about at the, at the end of the day. Yeah, well, I'm gonna ruin it for you now. Okay, you can try. <laughs> Are the Flames gonna win tomorrow? Totally don't need to know for gambling-related reasons. Is it a home game or an away game? If it's a home game, probably. If it's an away game, 50-50 coin toss. I feel like it's, my gut check is saying Dallas probably has this. It's a home game. Nice. Well, then, yeah, it might be Flames. Man, I kind of wish sometimes I was more into sports, because it seems like it's such a fun, like, thing to get invested in, like, with people. 
Like, I've had friends try to get me into, like, football and stuff, but I just... I don't know, dude. That was something I ended up following. The most into sports I was was whenever I worked in a restaurant, so they were just on the TV, and I, like, sort of kept up with them just because mm-hmm. I it was around me. But, I mean, I- now that I'm out of it, I don't care at all. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think of this, too. Might have been some heat as well from games changing tone, because DMC Devil May Cry also came out around that time, too. And that was... Uh, oh, oh, I didn't yeah, even think of that. Yeah, that could be a thing. Yeah, I will no, s- that's fair. I will say, I've actually played that game, and if you can get past, like, the changes to, like, Dante and all them, and, like, some of the story stuff, the game is still really fun. Like, the gameplay is great. DMC was good. the same year. There you go. See, yeah, I didn't that, mind DMC that it. much. Like, there were some complaints about it. Like, no lock-on button I thought was really weird. Oh, right. It didn't have a lock-on. Yeah, that, that was, was literally weird. one of the things they added in, like, the definitive edition. The director's cut was a lock-on button. Yeah. Well, she could have played that one, but that's not on Steam, actually. It's just the initial release. Really? Yeah. yeah that's if weird. you want to play the definitive, you got to play, like, you got to play it on, like, your PS4 or, like, your yeah. Xbox One or something. That's really weird. Yeah, it is, but oh well, not much you can do about that. Yeah, I think the big Except things I remember it. them, like the game ran at 30 FPS, which bugged people. Um, the no- lack of lock on, and just like the fact that they kept dunking on Dante's classic design the entire time in the game, or at least in a, a number guess- of points. I feel like they only did it like once or twice. I would say my biggest complaint for me, like with the initial release was there are these color-coded enemies that you could only hurt with like certain color-coded weapons mm. that to me was kind of dumb i'm not gonna lie but that I apparently mean, is i fixed. think a and... number of the games have done something like that where like a specific weapon will be the one that does the actual damage but usually they don't go that hard on it yeah that game did it a lot well, i think to be fair i think heavenly sword the game that they had done before that did something similar. I remember there being like, it was like weapon weight was a big thing in Emily Sword, but it's been so long I might be misremembering that. Interesting. Also, I didn't realize they did Heavenly Sword. Yeah, that was, um, oh shit, what's the name of the student? Ninja Theory. Yeah, that was, that mm-hmm. was their big title that made them get the license in the first place from Capcom, was the fact that they did Ninja Sword. And then they did, uh, Uncharted Journey of the West? Uninvited Journey of the West? What was it called? Someone will remember it. They did a couple beat up, beat em ups like that. You are blazing through this game, man. Dr. Smith, no. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Thank you. Thank you, WWK. Yeah, it was basically, Enslaved Odyssey of the West was, I think, a, a futuristic, like, post-apocalyptic take on the Sun Wukong story. Ah, oh, neat. Well, may I say apocalyptic, but it was in a jungle, at least the parts I may remember. Jungle with robots being the enemies. That's the Those are the flashes I can remember of the game. I never actually played it. Yes, that sounds right. Okay. It was post-apocalyptic. Okay, never mind. I did actually remember that. They kind of had that stuff in Heavenly Sword because certain enemies were very fast, so you couldn't use the heavy attack, or other enemies were very strong, so you couldn't use your fast attack. But there was never really an outright denial on what weapon you could use. It just gets a lot harder if you use the wrong weapon. I mean, that's more so what Devil May Cry is like. Like, like you can use, like, Nevin in Devil May Cry 3, but, like, an enemy might be too fast to get around it or, like, too armored, stuff like that. Nevin was the guitar, right? Yeah, the guitar that turns into a scythe. Yeah. It's a short game, and I found it to be an alright hack. And I heard it was like supposed to be longer. Like, Yeah, someone in chat says it was an unfinished game, which I think I heard something similar to that, too. How long is that game, even? I think it's also hmm. one of their shortest. Uh, Nine hours? I wouldn't really call that short. I think Heavenly Sword was shorter than that. Yeah, Heavy Sword is shorter. It's seven hours. Have you played it at all? Heavenly Sword, I have. Enslaved, no. Okay. 
What did, wait, actually, what came up here? When I typed in Enslaved, two things came up. The game and Enslaved Odyssey of the West Pigsy's Perfect 10 DLC. What the fuck is that? Set prior to the events of Enslaved, Pigsy current, uh, currently lives a solitary life in the scrapyard with his only companion, a small flying robot named Truffles. Due to his loneliness, Pigsy decides to build himself a friend. Okay, that's the DLC, apparently. It takes, I think I saw four hours to complete? Yeah, three to four hours. I've heard that Delve My Cry 2 is bad, earnestly asking why. Um, rumor was that it wasn't supposed to be a Ninja Gaiden game, but really it was a different team. Um, it's a case where, like, it's just not interesting. Dante doesn't really have, like, a super bombastic personality. He's actually very deadpan. Uh, the gameplay also was a little weird in that, like, it's one of the first time guns was actually very helpful in the game. Like, you could defeat basically mm -hmm. any enemy in the gun with guns, but you were just mashing the button. So you could just stand away from an enemy. They probably wouldn't lock on you if you were far away enough, and you could just shoot them to death with Ebony and Ivory. Like, it, it was just, like, if you want to turn into a mash fest and not, like, a combo fest, you could just do that. Yeah, Neo King was saying, like, there's no head dev for combat. I, say, I would trust him on. Uh, oh, Devil May Cry Neo King stuff. knows a lot about that stuff. What did what, what did Neo King say? There was no like lead combat designer. Oh, there was no head developer, and the combat was unbalanced to the, to the change of how you do the input with the sword and the base guns being the most fucking broken thing in the game. Also, it's really fucking boring story and map wise. I from what I remember, like I never finished the game. I, it's the only Devil May Cry. Well, I say that, but I haven't finished five yet either. Uh, out of the oh, original. You gotta well, here's the funny thing. Uh, I think it might be coming up on Game Clearing soon. It might. Ooh, uh, yeah. But, um... What was I gonna say? Fuck, I forgot. Um, yeah, no, like, the most interesting thing I remember of 2 was the partner character, because they didn't have Trish. It was Lucia instead. Yep. She actually had, like, a pretty neat design. Game. I liked her design a lot, but she's, she's considered non-canon, I guess. Well... Two is barely considered canon, but I guess it is canon, so I guess she is too. But she she's not in the the crew with everyone else at this point. I think like this is a at the beginning of Devil May Cry Five. There's like a little encyclopedia that tells you like to get you like caught up with like the story and all that. I think yeah. for two, it's just like one page Shit. long. Ooh, that was just a bad start for four one. She is canon. All right. Well, yeah. No, uh, from what I remember, there's like a little video you can watch of. Of like, a, of like, here's the plot of all the games. And I remember 2 specifically being just very quick and very short. Like, it almost might not have been there, like, that short. Oh my god. I think they actually go what more What is happening? Anime. Birds. I remember the anime was actually one of my first exposures oh, to Devil okay. May Cry, and it was, yeah. it was pretty cool. The second, oh. I, the second I made that jump, I knew I'd fucked up. Oh boy, I haven't gotten a game over this early in a long time. Fucking birds, man. So I get, I'm like, you can. He didn't even spawn this time! Man, fuck off. This fucking game. Alright, now to proceed to do the rest of the game without dying somehow, probably just to make up for it, which would be hilarious. Man, this song is underrated. This is actually my favorite song in the game. Everyone goes really? to. What's it called? Is it four five? No. Uh, four, three four two. Four two? Yeah, that one. That's ever that's the go-to for everyone, but I like this one better. I mean that four two is Ryu's theme, basically. Yeah. Did they make a There's joke some... that DMC two wasn't actually Dante? Like someone stole his sword and was pretending to be him? Yes, they made that joke for a while. Amazing. People were pointing out earlier, Devil May Cry 2 Dante is also the one they threw into Shimigami Tensei 3. Yeah. Yeah, this is like Unbridled Determination, I think is the name of the track. Unbreakable, I think. Unbreakable right? Determination. Oh, something like that. Right, yeah. this track. So this is this is considered Ryu's theme. Good track.
Hello, I gotta admit, this is, I think this is one of the few songs that I actually like the, the trilogy, the SNES version, because I think they do it with xylophones. <laughs> Xylophones, oh, yeah? interesting. Well, I guess the, the 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 SNES MIDI equivalent of xylophones. Here, I'll right. I'll, I'll I'll play it for you here in a second. All right. Bird, get out of here. <laughs> Fly away, bird. You are not wanted here today, bird. Oh great, I'm in the ninja spawn now. Uh -oh. Dude, that spot sucks. Yep. Good job getting out of it. Oh wait, tornado already? Wait. Wow, wow. I'm why am I blanking on shit right now, dude? I don't know why, but take back to like earlier when you mentioned like, oh man, you like these kind of games. I'm like, have I even talked about that that much? Or I guess I was just. I, I, I thought you maybe... had brought them up in the past. Ninja I guess so. Yeah, that's, that might have been it. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy OST. There we go. SNES Trilogy full soundtrack. Oh wow, that's yeah. Oh, that was oh my god. Thanks, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> To be fair, that sound is actually in the fucking SNES game, and it is that fucking obnoxiously loud, so sorry about that. Good morning, chat. <laughs> I just don't know why the fuck I don't know why the volume was full volume. Like, I listen to YouTube stuff all the time, and it's always at minimum volume. I don't know why. Sorry. Uh where is it? Four two. But you can already hear like the different instruments in this version here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think the different. drums really add a lot. Yeah. Ooh, I'm down with those uh, synth horns. I like I like the horns they use. That's one thing I like about it. Here we go. This this is the track we just heard too. This is four two. Oh my god! It just has xylophone. <laughs> I think it's a marimba, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, anyway, I wish I knew instruments better sometimes. But yeah, it's still, it sounds good. Da, 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 da. God, this is such a different feel to this track. Very. It came like Kid Ninja Gaiden. Just fucking <laughs> Ryu hanging out with it's, Naruto over here. It's very goofy. I like it. I'll just I'll just leave this playing here while we're going through this because we've heard this track. It's just the mystery track in the background here now. Yeah. Alright. I remember the rest of the song as being kind of whatever. Yeah, there's one I really like, and I'm trying to remember which one it is. It's I think it's the bat the boss theme might be the one I really liked. Because it well, I am a I'm a sucker for a brass section in a song, basically. So if it's got a, like a good yeah. board section, I'm I'm down. And for some reason, for the boss theme in this one, they added that. Let me see if I can... Which boss theme is that? Is it this one? A soccer for a brass section is me with the Gen 3 Pokemon soundtrack. That's not the one. Dun, 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 death. This one? Yeah. Ooh, this sounds sick. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. This is way better. Oh, for the spin kick dudes. Normally, I tend to like the NES versions of songs over the SNES versions, but this song won me over. Yeah, so there's like occasional ones in the trilogy soundtrack that are actually pretty neat. But for the most part, I do prefer the NES soundtrack as well. Just every now and then, there's just I'm like, yeah, no, I can go for this version. Done. Jesus, dude, I dude. forget how fast that shreds bosses. It's ridiculous. This is the reason they didn't bring it back for any of the other games. <laughs> no kidding. You have come a long way to bring me the demon statue. Now give it to me. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Do you know what you're saying? Ryu! Sword. <laughs> you, you coward! How did you catch an FBI agent anyways? <laughs> Don't give it to him! Now put down the demon statue on the floor and back up. Slightly to the left. Slightly to the left. 
Forward a Moment. little bit. Nice work. I guess this is goodbye. Have a nice day. So dumb as shit. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Take the girl away. She's going to be a sacrifice. <laughs> Ha ha ha, it's mine. Tonight is the night of rebirth, which comes only once every 700 years. Why is he Mickey Mouse? This world will soon be mine. Ha ha ha, Disney is all powerful. <laughs> Act five, which, what's the track for five one? <laughs> They'll oh, pay for this. this. Oh yeah, what this is the this is the SNES version of this one. Ah, oh, dude, why this, it, not, this it, soundtrack is so good. Is I don't I, I'm not super into this version of it. It's this one sounds messy. You don't like the fart horns? No, it's it's the fart horn specifically that lose me on it. As much as like a brass section, man, you can mess up a brass section very easily. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, and then meanwhile, the actual version. Man, the, the better drums do really help the pacing of the songs, though. I don't like them better overall, but the drums are nice. The drums for the, the SNES ones? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's the one good thing they got out of it, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Good dodge, good dodge, well done. Dude, I love being on that magic pixel where you kill the enemy and they come back immediately. That's actually the worst dude I hated. <laughs> it's <was laughs> great, but I hate it so much. <laughs> it happens so often in Ninja Gaiden. For me, like, I think another example that I like is when so much stuff is on the screen and enemy despawns, like that one, like, air blower dude at the end of Air Man stage in Mega Man 2. Cause I swear there's one, that, there's one guy who just always despawns on me and it's great. Put on SNES Ryu Alert. Uh, yeah, sure. Hang on. That is. Da, 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 da. I mean, this is this is the new act jingle. Uh, this nice. Is... Oh, yeah. This is the version that should be playing right now, actually. I do like the focus on the flute on this version. It's very yeah. heroic sounding, I'd say. I mean, it makes sense for opening track. Mm-hmm. Shit, should I grab that? Someone actually wanted to hear the uh, the version of the song that plays that normally during the Ryu alert. You can oh. just do that? Yeah, it's way easier than the actual thing they want you to do. Yeah, the actual thing they want you to do is stupid. I looked away for like two seconds. I missed it. <laughs> it's the one where I clip through the ceiling. It's just way easier. Okay. I like how that bird hits you at the top, so Ryu was kind of like... He was just kind of backwards climbing up yeah, that like, turned around ladder. Yeah, he on the ladder. Um, is this the one you're looking for? No, this is death. This is the one. This should be the alert. <laughs> they really like the marimba, man. A little bit of a different vibe. Can we use this one for an alert? <laughs> I mean, we could just put the SNES version of the cutscene in there. Yeah. More the variations. Ninety-nine dollar alert. But then we need, but then we need like a SNES version of the uh, of the <laughs> Lonely Man theme. That's true. There's some SNES sound fonts we can use to put in there. I got a couple. Yeah, Meds, you make it. <laughs> just use the horn. <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> What do you want? Just one kidding, sorry. <laughs> Jesus, hang on. Let me turn you up, Camille. You're a little quiet. For a variant of the of the Ryu alert. Not the one where Beefaroo shouts Ryu, but the one where Beefaroo gets shot with I don't fucking know what. Also, I'm back to making curse. Bye! Goodbye. Camille. What yeah. did she <laughs> Oh, right, you're so close to living. Uh, I mean, if I can get the moths, I'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Cutscenes recharge your health. I am moth. You will never get past me. My grab range is impeccable. <laughs> then I must defeat you! You are as bold as your father. But he is a much better swordsman. You know my father? Come and fight, young Hayabusa. And then they fought. Yeah, so that isn't it big. if you die on this boss, you have to redo the entire fifth act for some reason? Mm, no, you're back at the beginning of 5-3. Okay, so okay. Five, three, it's the thing that happens in the next world. It's world six that has the issue. I swear it happened on this one too. It because might. I didn't know you could just brute force it. No, I'm pretty sure you can do you no, I think it's five three you get put back to. I'm trying to remember how this one sounds on the SNES too. Both of these. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. All right, here's the moth cutscene. Dude, this was great! Again, the drums really add to this one. Yeah. I like it. for as long as it did, though. <laughs> Alright, and the next one should be the cutscene for when you're finding out your father's still alive. Not as good in my mind. Oh, ooh, what's going on? Not as much. Yeah, I hate yeah. that jump. Uh, what's the track we're listening to for getting a 6 1? Evading the enemy. Oh, yeah, I hate what they did with this version. Oh, yeah. yeah it sounds crazy, nothing like the original track. Yeah, I had to think about it to figure out what it was. Oh, this like these do with the jetpacks. <laughs> yeah, fucking jetpack ninjas. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Yeah, no. Lucky bounce! Fuck! Oh. oh. My favorite thing in this game is whenever you fall in a pit and then it doesn't kill you, it like wraps you to the top and then it kills you. Oh yeah, no, those are rare, but man, when they happen, they're pretty entertaining. Wait, so you just get like falling to the ceiling and then still fall down? It, yeah, it screen wraps and then kills you. So Amazing. a secret about <laughs> NES games in general is that um, 
they don't actually stop you at the left or right. They actually warp you to the other side. All NES games have this thing. Shit, I okay. forgot to spin anymore. Um, so Mega Man does it. Ninja Gaiden does it. Mario can even do it. It used to be if you got to the left side of the screen, you went to the right. If you went to the bottom, you went to the top, etc. So they actually have to set up like that's why kill planes exist specifically to prevent that from happening and making the game look really. Oh, awkward. okay. Interesting. So they didn't really even have to program a screen wrap. It just happened. Yeah. That's weird. But cool. I'm not sure why it happens. If it's just the way they program the NES or what. But it is... It is a thing that apparently, if you play around with NES dev, is, that is kind of well known. Yes, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus, that effect happens naturally. There's a game that I completely forgot even does that, but yeah, sure enough. Yeah, you're right. Same with uh, Mario Bros. for NES, for that matter. Like, the non-super version. Yeah, oh, more, like, more like arcade one. The arcade Mario Bros., yeah. Yeah. The most amount of time I put into that one, I think, was through uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Uh, it had Mario Bros. as an inclusion to it. All right, here we I go. I put a good amount of time into it. The hallway. The hallway. Yeah, this one's great. There we go. Despawning that enemy is practically needed. If you get a, a good yeah. like, shuriken throw, you can get them too, but it's just way easier just to despawn them. Mm -hmm. my health. Oh, if I'm not careful, it's not going to be good enough. There we go. Fire. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Here's hoping for a good set of boss fights. Although I'm gonna die here because I have no health left. And good Kratos idea. Probably gonna take me out. Oh, he missed. Probably good idea. That guy didn't miss though. Get out of here. All right, bye, Green Ninja. Oh fuck! <laughs> he didn't miss that time. The Green Ninja was reborn as a phoenix. From the ashes he rose. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? It's, you go after him, because he gives you enough room to land on the platform, then you can take the bird, because he's off his position. Take him out there, get the time freeze. I love those crazy skull head guys. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're funny. The ones that just right. like, haha. -ha they like open their mouth and bounce around or like or you mean the guys are just like crammed together that like guy the, or that guy there oh yeah the, yeah the oh, that guy's head. so goofy i love him nice uh, not a clean climb though which means they can yeah oh just get in the door just get in the door Alright, let's you see how this goes. This far. <laughs> <laughs> Even you cannot defeat the Mast Disney. What? <laughs> Our was not killed, he's been turned into the Mast Devil. Wow. No! That's right. Your father's been forced to work at our theme park. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> use. They made him turn into Goofy. <laughs> he thinks only of killing you and hugging you and get, <laughs> making you buy keychains and pins. Gotta think clearly, even though the camera keeps panning in front of me and distracting me. The 
I'm thinking of Ryu fighting a guy in a goofy costume now. <laughs> <laughs> All the <laughs> all the visitors running away screaming. <laughs> it's the masked devil. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm doing this back because I think I'm supposed to do the sword first and then the fire at the end. Just gotta wait for the fireballs to despawn and I can just go ahead and do this. Dad's free. Yay. Congratulations, you're unemployed. Did you mention a cutscene where no one can beep said no one can beep me earlier? Apparently I was wrong. Apparently that is unused after all. Or was that just the one with the father that happened earlier and I just somehow have space on it because I'm so fucking tired? Arg, he's awake! Gorsh for you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, my mascot costume will save me. Father! I, my god, he it's really made is goofy. Felt. What? It's like, he really is goofy. He took the he took the blow for him, just like in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> your day has come, Jekio! Oh, here we go. How am I gonna... This is the one I gotta make sure I don't botch. Good luck. Oh, I forgot about this fight. How could you forget about the worst fight in the game? It's uh, because I was like, wow, you did that last one really easily. Oh, yeah, because that last fight is I... the easy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta destroy that orb. I might try and beat Ninja Gaiden at some point. It is on, like, the NES Online. Yeah. I, I would recommend okay. save states when you get to these last oh, I bosses. I probably will, yeah. I, I mean, like, normally I'm not one to save state, but, I mean, if the game's gonna cheat you by removing your progress that much after dying to oh, specifically fuck. the boss, then I'm like, you know what, that's okay. Yeah, like, I beat Castlevania 1 during the go. last year, I remember I used save states, like, every so often, but I try not to use them, like, oh, a lot, you know? You? Oh, no. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> Hang on. I'll, let, let's just. You guys have heard me play this oh. enough. I can mute the game. <laughs> oh my god. Very well done. He did it. Pop made Lonely Man and SNES synth so we can use it for a SNES alert now. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Popsky. Enjoy POE. <laughs> no, the moon's gone. Smite, you're raiding. Now that I'm at the last boss of Ninja Gaiden. Oh, right. This is weird thing afterwards. I mean, this is the demon that they tell you about in the story. Yeah. I thought, oh, thought Jakia was the final boss, but I guess not. Nope, it's the shrimp baby. I'm Love playing shrimp. bad. Come on, get out of here, Tail. There we go. Oh, I see. Destroy the tail, make the fight easier. Well, yeah, because otherwise the tail's gonna keep damaging you when you're jumping towards the heart. There we go. Done. Nice. Shrimp, baby. Is that H.R. Giger? Am I? It, it's based off their art. Yeah, you walked in just as we beat Ninja Gaiden. Nice, but who's the monster beside him? <laughs> That's his dad. He just got he just got off a shift at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let me take any bathroom breaks for you. Unfortunately it killed him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Father Mission complete. And now we blow up a building. Is that Cinderella's castle? Yeah, dude. 
if you look closely to the side, you can see uh, the prince jumping out, like in Cinderella <laughs> 3. So is Ryu Max from the Goofy movie? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu's really into Powerline, man. <laughs> Ryu just wants to go to the Powerline concert when his dad won't let him. <laughs> Son, the costume smelled so badly of sweat and piss. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even mine. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu is Sora. He's got the right hair color. Just needs some spike in there. We detected the explosion from the satellite. Job well done. You are to kill Ryu Hayabusa, the guy that has very clearly been hard to kill up to this point. What? Kill Ryu? He's right in front of me. He's in the listening on the call. I just love how happy he is. He's like, I'll get you for this, Foster. Hee hee hee. I am currently planning your demise. <laughs> Ryu, you! I got two kinds of payment. The first I have already received. The second I don't get till the third game! Ah. <laughs> What's the payment you have already received? It was finding my dad. Why did you think I didn't know what it was? I forgot she smiles when he says that. Oh my god, that's what it was. I was I gonna never, make a joke too. I never noticed she smiles when he says that. I don't even know your name. It's such a way with words. Irene, Irene Lou. And now we'll be together through both series. The sun is rising, everything is so bright now. The darkness is finally over. Now there will never be darkness again for planet Earth. We've defeated the moon and nighttime. <laughs> In another few hours, the sun will rise. There you go. We beat Ninja Gaiden. Just in time Yay. to go to bed. <laughs> Too bad the sun's up now. There was literally no build-up or development for this love plot. What? It's an NES game for starters. And secondly, they shot each other. She shot him. That was it. That's the love plot. <laughs> you yeah, shoot you, a you man, shoot then he, he falls madly in love with you if he survives the bullet. That's how it works. <laughs> it's kind of risky, but when it works, it's incredible. <laughs> it can get you in legal trouble, usually. We defeated darkness. Now the world will be burned by perpetual light. <laughs> Was that how Alive asked you how it met? Yes. <laughs> that is exactly how it happened. Dude, it was crazy, actually. Oh, yeah. I just saw them both with guns. I was like, wow. This is how they do this. People are reminding me. There's a whole Bon Jovi song about it. Shot through the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Mm hmm? Were you just standing there? You did this to me! <laughs> Is he yelling that at Bon Jovi or at Irene? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why did you make the song? <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Bon Jovi! I, I, I you did ruined this everything! Because of you! <laughs> you did this to me! You have ruined my life! Thank you for playing, and see you next! Tecmo. See you next. Well, it's only fair. Smite was here. Beat the game. Let's run the 8-bit countermeasures.
Smite, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it, dude. We are ramping up for the evening, though. We're gonna be doing Art Block and then getting the hell out of Dodge. All right, so all we got left for the evening, let's talk about the schedule for the week. Monday sees us continuing Ape Escape 1 for the PlayStation 1. I don't think we're gonna finish it, but we'll get extremely close. I love that game, dude. I wish I could be around for that. Tuesday, um, there's no stream planned, but I may be over at Laughing Boy's stream playing some Mario Golf. We'll see. We'll see on that. Depends on how I'm feeling. I have been pushing myself a bit too hard lately. I may have to back out just because I'm, again, pushing myself a little too hard. Uh, Wednesday is going to be the continuation of Xenoblade Chronicles. We just got nice. to the beginning of Chapter 3, so we'll be starting off there. Thursday's Top Down Perspective. Friday, nothing going on for me. And Saturday next week is regular fortune cookie. So for the most part, regular schedule. Was there ever a show based on Ninja Gaiden? It feels like there would have been a good animated one. There is an OVA for Ninja Gaiden. I don't oh, really? know if it was ever translated, but I think it takes... I think it's based off of... Oh. Does it take place between 1 and 2? I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure that's actually where they established that uh, Ryu is a curio shop owner, I think, is in that. Uh, let's see here. Ninja Gaiden OVA. Legend of the Ninja Dragon Sword was an OVA sequel to Classic Games from 91, taking place after the defeat of the demon in Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh, it takes place after stars 2. Then. Ryu. Yeah, stars Ryu, who's living in New York alongside Irene running a curio shop. Okay, so yeah, that is where they established that, that lore for him. Okay, so that takes... Oh, wow. If that takes place after 2, then it's actually the end of the NES uh, saga. Because uh, chronologically, 3 happens before... Yeah, it goes... The order of chronological is 1, 3, 2. And then, uh, I guess the OVA. And then I forget how far ahead the modern trilogy is? But I think the modern trilogy is considered the same time frame. It's, like, weird. Some of them are alongside each other. Some are before, after. It's a fucking mess. I think they, they might as well be considered different. But Irene is in the modern trilogy. Quick question, what's the word limit for donos? Uh, character limit is like 255 characters, I think? Some 240, something like that? Some people get around it with a twit longer, but I only like I only read so much of those, so don't go don't go crazy, basically. When is wow, Cash Cookie so Top 20? Uh, not currently planned. We don't know when. Uh, we'll I'll message the guys to figure that out soon. Likely will happen beginning of June. Is that all you have left for uh bonus stuff just the yeah. top 20 the only bonus stream left is top 20 because we've already done sticker star we've already started xenoblade and then that, the rest is just going to happen throughout the year uh we've done the first half of fortune cookie or the chaos cookie so yeah that's it cool we call it the modern trilogy but modern ninja gaiden was released as far from og ninja gaiden as modern ninja gaiden is from today that is true but, I mean, I guess 3D Ninja Gaiden is the better descriptor, but yeah. Alright, where were we? Uh, Bleach Bummer says, As always, thanks, John, for letting me host this tournament. Sent you the invite for it to add to the Twitch commands for your followers to join. If you have questions, I'll answer in the morning. For now, night. Thank you, Bleach. I'll make sure that gets added in for next stream. Existential Joker for 44 months. This one's going out to you. Thanks for subbing. I, I've got some notes on eggs here. i got to double check here first before I actually play the egg sounds. What did they say? Ah, okay. Camille sends in... Castlevania, I put too much work into this and fixed something edition, because there was another version that was missing something here. Oh, boy. Alright. What we got? No problem. Come on, what do we have to lose? Okay, then. Here we go. I'm gonna get... I know what this is. So, it's, uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> Not quite what I expected from that. <laughs> Get the first cross. 
All right. Let's quickly get set up for Art Block, because I believe we're caught up on everything else. Nice. We are. All right. Art Block starts right here. With That's Nasu Blue's posting yeah. of EDF Beefaroo. Beef is go! Did I say EDF? I meant, sorry, uh, EBA. Uh, AKA. Same thing. <laughs> very different game. The very different games, but man, I would love a crossover. I mean, to be fair, the EBA do save the world from maybe not. Oh, wait. Yes, it was aliens in, in, uh, in Elite Beat Agents. It wasn't an asteroid. So, yeah, actually, technically, they both work. Huh. Anyways, aka Beefru in a style inspired by Elite Beat Agents, inspired by someone asking if we had a Beefru cheerleader emote. Not sure why my brain went to Elite Beat Agents, but at least I got to put him in a bow tie. I like the spiked hair, the cowlick. Nice, nicely done, Nasu. Hell yeah. <laughs> what if they did the Elite Beat Agents, like, with the EDF song? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> what? Say I can't remember how From any alien <laughs> attack. <laughs> oh, he's so good, dude. I love that. Cheer to this song. Next up, oh my god. How dare you? From Rux and, uh, oh, Kiki Lin. There we go. I thought it was Killikin. It's Kiki Lin. From Rux and Kiki Lin. I, my god, I'm tired. John. Mood. Rux and Kiki Lin. There we go. We got it. Late to the punch, but Rosa John crossed with velvet cotton candy alt color from them's fighting herds would be cute. I totally forgot my password to my OG handle. Oh no. Thank you, Rux and though. This came out super cute. Look at that look. Hell yeah. Like the stomping ice, throwing the icicles, and just... How dare you as you get slapped in the face. Nice touch. That's meanwhile, cool. Meanwhile, somewhere Popsky's very furious. Also, maybe I shouldn't have slapped myself on my uh, blood withdrawn bruise. That was probably not smart. Oh. Oops. You all right, at least? Oh, it's, it's like, from a blood test. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. No, it's just fine. That, that, that bruise healed a while ago. It's just, it takes a bit for the bruise to fade, so... It's a little mm -hmm. red. That's I it. I get you. Bizzard the Wizard and the Unlimited Breadworks. <laughs> <laughs> How did that old meme go? <laughs> Shoving breadsticks into my purse? Don't test Busy boy. He has unlimited space under his cloak for those unlimited breadsticks. Also taking... Talking of cheese makes me makes me issue a heads up. Cheezerd the Wizard is coming. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Jasper, for the unlimited breadsticks. Next up, cream pie. Emotional damage from Rocket Toros. Of course, because when I think of emotional and psychological trauma, I think of cream pies. Been a while since I posted here, but since it's my birthday, at least where I am, happy birthday, Toros. I thought I might post this lovely picture of the student witch sampling a taste of Jonathan's cream pie. It's true, his cooking sucks ass. It's true. Who knows, if all goes well, I might be able to even draw this week's stream into one large art post by next week. Oh, thank you, Toros. Hopefully things are going good. You think of cream pies? It's referring to Castlevania earlier, for those who were, might not have been here for it. Uh, like the ones from the Donkey Kong Country television series. Yeah. I'll jump around here. I'm going to drop a last. We'll jump ahead here to... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> from, from Corel Leo. I don't do good rushed art. I'm sorry. Mariachi Dracula. Playing a trumpet and suffocating while doing so. Source girlfriend who plays and I tried and failed once. <laughs> this was fun. Thank you, Leo, for Mariachi Dracula. It's beautiful. That's so good. I love it so much, man. <laughs> Jesus. All right, jumping back to the draw pile here from Kyupo and obviously the draw pile crew. So welcome to draw pile 122, the support pile for you, Diptez. Our penguin friend has some uh, medical issues happening recently, and he's currently recovering. We decided to do this as a little get well penguin friend. Dragon Tamer, Phantom uh, Aegis, Gaspent, Loving Soccer Cat, Private Butter Nitro, Captain Zeno, Noir, Nasu, Gabri, Ailita, Roto, Entity Girl, Rhyme, Disillusion, Major Mooch, Elegant Raven, and Ink Stains. Dragon Tamer says, The penguins hold up a sign. They are doing the best they can with how small they are. Phantom, something feels off. Maybe it's the hat. Gaspent, I heard the penguins had a Metal Gear, so I gave them something to surpass Metal Gear. Hope you get better. Soccer Cat, a little pangu drawing for my pangu friend. Hope you're doing okay, buddy. Private Butter, offering a new pangu. Captain Zeno, King John 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 has come to send you Diptez a message. Hopefully the recovery goes well for you. Nitro, it's time for the penguins to support their leader. Little do they know that means more work. Get well soon, you Diptez. Gabri, Colonel Van Gar is now a penguin, but that won't stop him from chewing out his disappointing subordinates. Ailita, good pangu do much good work. Deserve much good rest, and then a future trip to New Jersey so I can give good hugs. 
Noir, Penguin Pog. Roto, I caught fish for the penguin. Entity, get well soon, oh penguin overlord. Rhyme, Yudi, I drew my plushies for you. Gray one is named Penguini. Ah, oh, Penguini. And pink one is Peng... Pengu... I thought that said Pengucci for a second. Uh, Pengusin. Wishing for good help. This illusion. In good times and bad, Bifu always came through with tender love and support, especially for best penguin. Hope you all... Hope you feel better, you did. Nasu, drawing Yudi as a scientist with few inside jokes. Hope things go well for you, penguin friend and elegant raven. Yudiptes deserves the best and all the love. So here's a drawing of him all regal since he's her favorite penguin overlord. Also, thank you, Mom Kidark, for taking one for the team as a temporary contact. Here we go. Penguin on a string. Penguin got a mech. Penguins freaked out. Someone's waving hi. Someone's stealing weed. <laughs> it definitely looked like weed for a second there, but it's fish. <laughs> it's a big box of weed for you, Diptes. Penguins both. got the heart. Speedfaroo's got a heart. Support you, Diptes, with the pangu. John, John, John's got a, a well soon hammer. I don't know if that's usually what hammers are used for. <laughs> the get well soon hammer, <laughs> finally. <laughs> they hit you till you're healthy. <laughs> Penguins everywhere. <laughs> How long have you been in the force? 40 so, seconds. 44 seconds. If I have to suffer CGA, then so do you. <laughs> Jesus. All the penguins for dip test. Buddy, I hope you're doing better. Hopefully things are going all right for you. If you guys want to join in on the drop piles, these tend to happen most Saturdays, especially during Fortune Cookie. Uh, enter the art Discord if you want to hang out there. We also have a number of Discords now. It's gotten a little crazy at times. But we have the Discord for subs, so if you've got a sub, you can connect your Twitch account to your Discord account to join in there. There's also the Art Discord, which is exclamation Art Discord, a link there. There's the... Jesus. The Pokemon Unite League just got added yesterday. That's exclamation Unite or P-U-L. Um, the Splatoon League should be exclamation League for Splatoon 2. The finals for that's coming up soon, too. And uh, we did also have the Rocket League League. I don't actually remember what command we used for that. Was that just... Was that P-U-L or was that just Rocket League? Uh... Or Pop's just dropping a link there. I thought we actually had a like a, a bot command for that one, too. But it's not Rocket or Rocket League, so... P-R-L? Didn't have one yet. Oh, okay, well, we'll make sure that gets added, too, then. And we also have the, the Pokemon Showdown that uh, Bleach Bummer's been running for us as well. So yeah, we have, there's a lot of server options if you want to hang out with people and enjoy a lot of games. All right. We'll do a refresh check, but I'm pretty sure that's that. Yep. We're done so. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm out of steam. I need to go rest. What's our raid message? Mariachi I think Dracula. it would be fun Three. to Three ask about what cheese. somebody. Memories <laughs> of say, cheese. Memories of ask, cheese. What is your favorite good. cheese memory? <laughs> memory of cheese might be the winner. I'm, I mean that that's real good. Let's see who's live. Oh my god. You need rest. <laughs> I should not have done two full link streams back to back. I usually need a day to break. Uh, ooh, Ferret is playing Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, let's watch Ferret blow some shit. Go tell Ferret Bomb about memories of cheese y'all have. Uh, some SPL 1x6s. Go radial on those. He's gonna make a big Only rocket fine. to explode. And we do want to try to make this a... There we go. Automated. So we can actually send it back. Even if nobody's on board, we can actually send it out or send it back. And Proton John, thank you so much for the raid, my man. 
How are you doing? What was John playing tonight? The, the reaction. Just the, oh god, him Memories again. Of <laughs> this this <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what that could be related to. In any case, we are playing some Kirby. I don't, I don't think he's gonna guess. Don't try too hard. I don't even remember what game it was. Uh, right, we were Spyro. Spyro. Space. Yeah. Who is there <laughs> Spyro tonight? Uh, is it Fortune Cookie Night? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my I never got to watch because, you know. I'm either All asleep right. or getting ready to start my own I'm thing. Out. I really I'm out. Night, everybody. I'll see you on Monday for game Thank clearing and Ape so Escape. Much, man. Hang on, I gotta Bye, say everybody. Hi uh, the maniacal good game night. Good